You got it locked on Rhodium Radio. Hey, Tony, drop that. What, please? I bet. Dr. Dre in the place to be. Co rocking shit with my homeboy Steve. After Rhodium, get stupid, son. Yo, don't think that you can get none of Dre. The motherfucking doctor. The bitch hop up, the sucker motherfucker stop up I'm fucked up so don't mind what I'm saying I'm just kicking it, but Steve, Tony, A.M. Yeah, yeah. Susan, yo, we can choose it Don't shit to put in a mix Know what I'm saying? We kick shit like And, and, and That's a fact And if your shit ain't in a mix, you know it's whack And that ain't no bullshit I'm kicking facts on a serious tip Word up, Dr. Dre's in full effect Doing serious damage, boy Tony A Tony A When you ready, go Welcome back, everybody, to Rodium Radio, episode 115. 115, that came around pretty fast. I still remember actually doing episode 15. But uh, you know what? I'm not going to take too long before I introduce my special guest. Uh, once again, I encourage everybody to buy an ad if you want to advertise your business, your album, you know, whatever you're doing. If you're running a dog kennel, whatever, uh, buy an ad from Rodium Radio. Hit us at documixery forward slash ads uh many of you have already bought ads and we're going to air them tonight so if you didn't buy one by by tonight guess what you're going to miss all the fucking views so and i told you guys i warned you guys uh this is a good way to get your name out there once again if it's a business you're selling something you're promoting something you got to buy an ad other than that if you want to buy once again uh the high c album that i produced 1991 uh go to documixture.com if you want to buy the the hard copies for those of you that are still into hard copies you can go to documixery.com and buy all the mixtapes there somebody asked me am i going to be coming out with more yes so you know what that's all i'm going to say but um let me go ahead and give a, a plug really fast to el jefe baja style because he provided the food for us today we were outside grubbing uh ceviche de camarón and just regular jaiva you know so uh much love much respect to him but get an ad homie so other than that uh without further ado Back by popular demand, please allow me to introduce this very special guest whom you guys want to hear. You guys requested him. He has the highest views on Rodium Radio, over 67,000 views. So once again, royalty is in the motherfucking building. Oh, man, what's going on? <laughs> well, it, it just seems like you were just here yesterday. Just yesterday, huh? You know, and I didn't tell you, I stopped drinking. You did? Since Why last, is that? So since last night, you know what I mean? I thought, oh, okay, you okay. Know what I, mean? I brought you a bottle, homie. We're going to start the show. I mean, it's going so fast, but I seen you been drinking little bottles, homie, and you love this yeah. tequila. I yeah. was going to bring you a shotgun, but like, no, homie loves this one, Oh, wow. Man. And wow. I love it. I drank two bottles this week. No shit? Yeah, man. You know oh, man? thank you, man. appreciate it. Let me put this man, motherfucker yeah, right yeah. here. You know, your son said he loves gin, and he don't know no one that drinks gin. And, right. You know, I, I stopped drinking soda. Okay. I'm very healthy now. <laughs> okay, you're juicing. Yeah, I'm juicing gin. You know what I mean? Okay. So I just drink water, uh, Red Bull, and a little bit of. Uh, okay. You know, okay. Man, man. Well, you know, let, let, let's go back to Halloween. Did you dress up for Halloween? How was your Halloween? I mean, look at this face. This is Halloween. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> hey, at least you're honest. You know so I mean? you didn't throw in like a white sheet. You weren't like Casper. Yeah, I or... put a wig on and let the chichis out. You know, they didn't know. For real? <laughs> Did you get a lot of candy? <laughs> a lot of candy on me. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. How, how was your Thanksgiving? Beautiful, homie. Uh, it was just immediate family, my kids, and uh, what do you call it, my grandkids. But I know my family, everyone stood at their own house, you know? All right, all right. That'll yeah, work. Yeah. Did you guys eat with the mask on or no? Well, they wanted me to just because of my looks, but you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, hey, before we get started, I'm going to show one my new baby royal. Okay, baby royal. And Mr. Night Owl, he influenced me. The Night Owl doll. Yeah, the, the Night Owl, the Night Owl doll. The infamous Night Owl doll. Go ahead. The, in the middle. We got to get it in. Homie. We got to get in. Even Baby Roy was on there. You know what I mean? This is my homie Night Owl doll. And then I got the Royal Tea doll. He does special greetings. You know what I mean? Let's see. Okay, go ahead. Oh, man. I'm right here with Tony A, the wizard. 
Kanelkins. You know what I mean? He says that stuff, so we'll have that on the website. But that was for you, Tony. Cool. You can keep it here. You could throw tomatoes at it. I could sleep with him. He could be my book buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, you could do other things. You know, if you get you know yeah. right female in the middle, you know. You know. <laughs> now, if that motherfucker starts walking in the middle of the night, I'm giving them back to you. All right. Freaky tales. Hey, you never know. That could be a scary movie right there, bro. <laughs> you never know. Baby so, Royal, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. So now, uh, today is Sunday. How has the weekend been going for you so far? Let's go back to Friday. Friday, my one of my artists flies in from Albuquerque. Okay. And we, uh, Miss Sancha's album, or another album, her single, Baddest Bitch in the Neighborhood, released. We're getting great response. Some people are like, why isn't the old school Miss Sancha? Mm -hmm. Meaning the music. Right. Because motherfucker, it's 2020. Shit and, changes. And, and Doja Cat took interest what brought the popularity by demand. I mean, Miss Doja Cat danced to our song, said Miss Sancha influenced her. She copied our song, Try Me, and made Freak Like Me. And we're actually going to do something with her. No we're, shit. We're, we're working on something. So this was a track Doja Cat heard. She liked it. And we talked, we took shots, or well, Miss Sancha took shots at all from Remy Ma. His name is Remy Ma, this is a shot of Patron, you know, she, right. and she lets us know, no, hey, you know, you might be a fast rapper, we make songs, you know what I mean? But right. everyone gets their flowers, they're all good, you know, but, um, so that released tonight at 7.30, um, well, we're on our first break. On our first break, yeah. The Miss Sancha video will release. And you will see her face, you dumb motherfuckers. Who, well, it is what well, it's a it's a mysterious thing. Yeah. And I wanted to make him it, Miss Sancho. When I tell you the next, when we take our break and I come back, I'm gonna tell you about Miss Sancho. She's a complete artist. She's been signed. She's as before as another artist. She's was worked with the Bobby Ross Avila. She was signed there. She the tour was JV. Okay. Um, she had other names. She was Brown Sugar back when she was well, 14. How old were you, girl? 14, 15 years old. Her brother's on a, with an American Idol. He's a big time artist. Um, she's, I mean, we're gonna get into that deep. I yeah, mean, yeah. She's been in movies, okay. big movies, from Training Day, End of the Watch, to Monday, and a bunch of other movies on all those pod, you know, all the Netflix and all that stuff. All so, the different platforms. Yeah, and, and I finally said, hey, I'll explain it to you, but it was, a, it was supposed to be a, one time off when we were working at Finger Studio and we were working and it blew up. But no, no shit. Okay. But oh. you know, before we go any further, because they're going to get mad. They're going to be like, Royal, you didn't answer no question. Tony, give me some fucking questions. Okay, but before we get to the question, I got to ask you about one thing about last night. Okay. What did you think about the fight last night? Because everybody's saying it looked like two tios fight, fighting at a carne asada barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would have paid regardless. I love them both. Right, right. You guys know I hate them and I love them. You know that. Of course, of course. <laughs> so I I enjoyed my night. I was drunk. I mean, I don't drink, but you know. Right, right. You know, and um, my little homie right here. I don't want to say his name, Sancho, in the building, but you know, he was like, "Royal, record me." I'm like, "Fool, I'm watching a fucking classic fight. We're not recording tonight. I give two fucks. I'm getting drunk. Two. Mike Tyson and Roy Jones could have took a shit and talked about their career." on the toilets and I would have paid to watch it. Right. Just because Mike Tyson was the only fighter, like my boy right here is a pain in the ass back here. He loves Mayweather, the fucking Olympic runner. Right, you know? right, right, right. I like battles and, and so Mike Tyson used to give me a fight. I've, I've loved La Jolla. I, I watched, I worked with James Tony. Yeah. I love boxing, but right. I, um, Mike Tyson used to give me a feeling on me like, you, you couldn't even breathe. You didn't know. Of you course. couldn't look away because you couldn't even take a drink because you didn't know how fast. He was our knock the motherfucker gonna, up. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, right. oh. And people would be like, ah, other people that didn't like boxing, but you're going to pay to watch, watch Mike Tyson knock someone out in a minute? Yes, I am. You know I mean? Of course. We all did. <laughs> I want to see a devastating fight. Yeah, we all did. I remember one time I think we paid like $79 to watch him fight a guy named Carl the Truth Williams. And I was over there fucking serving myself some enchiladas and I run back and the motherfucker was out. Like he knocked the dude out. <laughs> I and, think that happened to me for no joke. Yeah. I remember at my, I was at my mom's house and I ran down, you know, I'm fat. I ran down for some food. Okay. And we were watching the, in the, in the big 
the back then it was a big box TV, you know, the big old right, box. Right, right. And I think that happened. <laughs> and I waited for the replay because back then you didn't have DVRs. Or, right. So you're like, uh, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. waiting for the announcer. But yeah. So. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump butt naked right into it with the questions, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to set it up like this. You don't know what I'm talking about, so let me finish. The fans want to know, did you no. rob Little Rob <gasps> slash the barcodes? Let's talk about the barcodes. Barcodes. I told you about the robbing. You, everyone has lawyers. I told you that. Later. Right. So you can watch the last show and you're going to know. And if you're still stupid, then you're just fucking stupid. But you're going to help me out on this one because you worked at Swap Me. Right. I'm a Swap Me baby. Okay. And all you old school motherfuckers, I want you to pay attention and listen. You guys been to the Swap Me there? I'm, I'm watching you motherfuckers talk shit and live and blah, blah, blah. I'm watching. My eyes are on you, homie. But I'm watching this shit. So, have you guys been to the fucking Swap Me? Okay. Let's go back to 1999 and 2000. Okay. Was there any laptops with wireless internet at a fucking Swap Me? No. Maybe if someone was a genius. Maybe, but, but they, probably wouldn't, they probably wouldn't be at the Swami. Okay. <laughs> was there the AR, I mean, uh, what do they call that? The RA. They used to raid the Swami. You guys been to Swami when they would get raided? Mm -hmm. They would get, you've, you've seen them get raided, Of right? course, of course. Okay, I don't want to be like a liar of them getting raided. It was worse than the border patrol. No, if you sell bootlegs, yeah. oh, oh, you're going to get raided. Of course. So... Back then, I was the first one to get a deal in 97 with BMG, a major. What would you say in the back of that record? Okay. Uh, BMG. A a -A slash low profile record. Right. 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 Okay. What would you say? That's a royalty record. Okay. What's the back of that record? Okay. This one says uh, low profile records. Uh, Nothing. No, it doesn't have anything. But same, a barcode. Same exact record. Right. Okay. So, what I'm trying to tell you guys is... The RRA would, would take bootlegs. This is a bootleg. Okay. They would take bootleg CDs. If they would come to swap me, and they would take people's shit. And if they didn't have a barcode, they would take it. So when I made a deal with BMG, we were just happy. I had the worst deal. Me and Little Rob's first deal with BMG was the worst. But we were in every swap me, but we weren't in real stores. We weren't in warehouse records. Right. And Chicano Rap, we, we, dream, we thought it was just... We thought it was the top of the iceberg to be in a major store, to walk in the store and be like, wow. Like like Music Plus, Warehouse, Tower Records. Tower Records, Sam uh, Goodies. Sam Goodies, yeah. Arino okay. Latino. We were uh, uh, Virgin Records. We were exciting to be excited. Yeah. And we would talk about That was the reason why Familia Records got that record, uh, the crazy life when we, we had it released. But he came to Little Rob's house at night. And we were all young. Who's he? Murray Brownfield. Okay, Murray. What you guys don't understand is that we were... Do you guys know how old me and Little Rob were? Me and Little Rob started working together since we were like 19 years old. When we broke up, we weren't even 25 years old. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. So, we were young entrepreneurs because we come from the era of no internet. We were... I was a man at 15. I lived on my own. I had my son at 17 years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, we, we, we were... I didn't have no... I had my own apartment. I I was at the swap meet. I was a hustler. So we didn't. Uh, all right, let me get let me get back so they get if they don't get mad. Okay. So the swap meet, they would confiscate your shit if you didn't have barcodes. Now, so the bootlegs would get barcodes. So this is a bootleg. Okay. So when they would come, I told BMG. This is what I told BMG. I said BMG, they gave me a. I'm gonna tell you the honest deal. Our deal was two dollars and twenty five cents, and I had a manufacturer. They didn't give a fuck about Chicano rap. It wasn't even called Chicano rap. It was called Latin. No, it was called lowrider music. It was, we didn't even think about that word. We thought about that word. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But it wasn't a, a movement. You know, they didn't. There wasn't a section. Kid Froth, all them, did not make a section at the warehouse or anything. It was just music. You put it in the store. Right. If it sold, it sold. Just like the high C, you know? It'd be in the rap section. Okay. So, I told them, hey, homies. I gotta keep the streets. And we made that deal when I first got my deal. That I could keep the swap meets, but I could not, these two CDs, you cannot keep the same barcode because. These two right here. Yeah, you cannot keep the same barcodes that the distributor. The distributor makes $9.34. 
Okay. Meaning, if you have the warehouse record, they were paying nine dollars thirty four cents. Right. When we sounded the swap meets, it was four to five dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's how the swap meets were. They wouldn't pay us more. But some of these guys bought real records to be at a swap meet, even though they had your mixtapes, right? Which would be good. And I don't mean to put that on you. No bootlegs. But it would be called bootlegs. Yeah, they, like, they were. Tony is a bootlegger. Now I'm joking. Those are classics. I, you know, in my cores, I bump your shit. Only thing, I liked that how you guys remastered them because the bass hits a little hard. Yeah. And I, I, I liked it that I was showing some people. Thank you. But anyway, so those would be considered bootlegs. So, I. Uh, back to but let's get to simple. So I had to have a, a barcode, but it didn't matter because they weren't going to scan it. They just needed when the man came, he was going to be like, Oh, there's a barcode. Barcode. So, so this is a bootleg. Let's, let's read the songs on there. All right. That's a fucking lot of songs right here. <laughs> There's two CDs. Yeah, I need my reading glasses on this motherfucker. A lot uh, of old school. Free. Uh, okay. Fucking for Jamaica. Fuck your town. Uh, genius of love. Get on down. Get on it. Get on it. Get on life. Blah, blah, blah. Happy. Do you think any of those guys licensed that song, that, that album? No, no. But look at, is there a barcode on there? Yeah. Down here at the bottom. So they don't get, so they don't get confiscated. Right. Okay. So I told BMJ, I still have to swap me though. We're going to lose our whole vibe from the streets and everything that we do. Uh -huh. And they agreed, but they said, Royal, this was genius. Like, uh, even your best BIU guy. Yeah, I, I, and I love those guys. We got a homie right here. I, but we, we Flaco, shout out to Flaco, shout out to Omar Cruz and, and the man over there. But I just, I saw people giving them love and I'm, I'm, I'm a little jealous, you know, sometimes, but I'm like, Motherfucker, look at the fucking genius, the ugly fucking genius. I sat down at fucking 19 years old and got a multi-million dollar, with a multi-million, but it came. A uh, was BMG. Fat fucking Mexican left school at, at, at ninth grade. No shit. Ninth grade, and I'm sitting there and fucking all these Jews and a mother. No, no disrespect. I'm just saying they call me a Mexican. No, that was This fat funny. Mexican came here. Oh, right, right, right. you fucking Jews, you know? Right. So, and I made them believe in Two fucking kids from San Diego. You and Little Rob. Me and Little Rob. I made them believe that they could put money into us. Remember you talk about putting money into someone and right. hopefully they don't go to jail. Me and Little Rob, believe it or not, both of us. And I'm saying, I hate him, but I love him. <laughs> he actually, By the way, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, he, uh, that's what she said. But anyways, uh, but uh, I told them, I made them believe in us. And they, they, they got us. We, we started doing it. But the deal was so whack. We knew it right, was whack. Right, 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 right. But I was making so much money. I, I was the first Chicano, uh, besides you working with uh, Swap Me. Right. I've been doing Swap Me since 94. Okay. An old black man got me, Mr. Ken Harris, who, thank God for him, and rest in peace, Ken Harris. Right. He showed me the Swap Meets. But anyways. You, you, you know, uh, uh, let, let me interject really quick. Yeah. What? Why do people think... Uh, it, that you robbed little Rob through the barcodes. Like, okay. That's kind of like yeah, the main let, question. Let me get the thing. So the barcode, so we got the deal to put a separate barcode because these shitties, not, not all swap me booths are, are right. thieves, but they're selling bootlegs. Right. If they bought for me $4 and they had to go to, what was the Abbey Road? Remember Abbey right, Road? Right, a right. distributor in LA where they sell to every swap me. If they went there, they had to pay $9.34. And they had to have real ones so the, so the RA wouldn't confiscate their shit so it looked like a real store. Right. They had all their mixtapes and bootlegs here and back of here was all the real shit, right? So if I would have, they would have told me, Royal, we'll buy 10,000 of your, Steve Yano would have told me, Royal, I'll buy 10,000, but give them to me for $3. I would have said, 10,000, three, yeah, fuck yeah. I'll pay 30 grand, right? Yeah, of course. And he would have took them back to Abbey Rose and returned them and got $9.34 because they would have had the same barcode as my major company. They would have called me and said, you stupid motherfucker, you're out of here. We're, you, you bootlegging our fucking product. Right, right. Because they own the rights. Once, just like Spotify, you know, you know, Apple, they own the rights once you give them the, grant them the rights, you know? Right. So I made up, I didn't know shit about barcodes, but I knew I had to have one because the first I came was no barcodes, none. And the guy said, I can't buy them. You know, little pies out the thing. I can't buy them because it has no barcode. They're going to take them. And they didn't know Chicano rap, but right. they knew. They didn't know it yet. But they, so they didn't want to take a chance on their whole stand getting taken because one fucking thing have a good. So I said, fuck, I called. And I got a fucking, um, I called to find, but how do I buy a, a 
This is no computer age where you could go on Google like you lazy motherfuckers right now. Could go on Google and be like, oh, I need a, I need a something. And you find it. Right. I had to find a fucking barcode. What the fuck's a Mexican kid gonna find a barcode? 19 years? I fucking make a call. I f- call BMG. Oh, where can I go buy a car? I buy one. It's $750. At this time, I had no money. I had swap me money. But $750 for one item? Right. We are buying beef for $40, and that was expensive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, Tony. <laughs> I'm saying this is way back Yeah, then, yeah. You know? So I buy the barcode. Now, I didn't know how to change. There's a, the barcode is a whole dynamic changing of the, you got to, you can make one barcode into a hundred barcodes. Okay. Okay. But I didn't know that then. I thought you had to pay 750 for each album. Okay. So I. But let's narrow it down. Yeah, I'm, I'm bring, this is the narrow. This is, okay, I'm go ahead, go ahead. So, I bought one fucking barcode, and I put that barcode on Royal T's record, Little Rob's record, uh, Proper Dose record, and the Rustling Jams. Well, we didn't Rustling Jams, but I'm probably writers one. Okay. Say probably next seven albums after that for the streets. For the streets. Those are two street royalty records. Oh, well, one's a major store. Okay. One says BMG, different barcode, and one's that same barcode that's on Little Rob CDs. Okay. At that time, just for the streets, but not for the major, the ones that got sound scanned, the ones that counted. These were ones, and Little Rob was invited every time to go pick up CDs with me at Rainbow Records. You know, Rainbow Records just closed down four months ago. Really? They, they All their CD, all their thing polluted the ground in Santa Monica, and they just moved out because it would cost them multi-millions. To change. Wow, wow. I just found it out because I was looking for vinyl. But but back to that. Um, so we... we, we uh, how you say? I, Little Rob was invited every time I drive by his house because he he lived in Del Mar. I'm in Dago. I'm Pathy by going to Santa Monica, pick up these our CDs, and he well, sometimes he would come, sometimes he'd be like, nah, now when he would come, w- would you break him off with money? I guess no. We we were partners. Oh, okay, okay. We we, we, we were we were partners. So, so he knew you were doing the barcode thing. Yeah, everyone knew. Okay, it, it, it wasn't a secret of uh, did he come that much to the studio. Uh, all the time? No, I paid him to come all the time. I paid him salary weekly. Okay, then, then w- why are people making such a big deal? Because out of they know because his cousin. No, 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 you're perfect. His cousin went on a DVD that me and him called uh, Money, Power, Respect. Okay. And his cousin, who ended up robbing Little Rob's whole family, put you had a guest here, Queenie. Yeah. Queenie went to prison because Little Rob's family. Uh, Bla- Little Blackie, his brother went to prison for Little Blackie's, f- for Little Rob's family. A um, big monster, I'm a homie in Dago, went to prison for 10 years for, because of fucking Charlie was a sturdy fucking snake and he went to prison. And Little Rob's family lost all their stuff because of this fucking piece of shit. This guy said, let me tell you what happened. I was on Brown Pride at AC, the promoter, all these guys working at my office. We had seven computers. Back then, me- meaning this is not computers like Google today. Your email would then go to your phone. Right. But the email went there. And when your thing went there, you used to go on Brown Pride. Remember Brown Pride? Yeah, of course. One of the greatest Chicano thing. And they had a contest one time. It said, who's number one Chicano rapper? Cypress Hill, Kid Frost, and we got his name there, Little Rob. Not Little Rob got his name there. Royal T, but my promotion got him there. So we had, sorry, sorry, motherfucking John Elkins. <laughs> he told me to hit the desk because I pounded the thing. He, um, back to, uh, I mean, I can't even drink gin. But <laughs> gin, gin put you that thing. Throw me where I'm at, Tony. Okay, his uh, cousin. Okay, his cousin. His cousin. So his cousin goes on the thing and he says, his cousin, oh, I started having AC. I didn't even know how to work a computer. I didn't know how to, te- there was no texting, but I, I didn't know how to type. So I would hire AC the promoter to do my live chat. If people remember my old school chat room, people have been married from there. It was a crazy chat and I had no restrictions. Right. And he would type for me. And little Rob would come and we would tell AC what to say. And he would just type. He was just looking for pussy. Right, so right, right. He would just type all day. Right, So right. as we're, we're doing that. Um, His cousin. Yeah. Well, AC every day I would have him back then. You know, today the technology is incredible. You push, you likes, uh, you push, you like, you can never like again. Right. Back then, there was no such thing. You can la, 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 like Mike's, and you're, wow, he's famous, right? 
So I was against Cypress Hill and Kid Frost, which in your world is major back yeah. then. Right. And they were. We were nobodies as that world. So boom, 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 boom. <laughs> we're, we're hitting all these fucking ACs like ding, 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 ding. So we became number one. Because mm. the fans, the, that, that's going to go to your fake number question. Because no, fans go, wow, look how many people like them. I should like them because everyone likes them. Yeah. They have no fucking opinions. They're fucking worthless. Cocksuckers. Anyways. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, okay. I, don't, I don't like cocksucking. No, I mean, just, you know what the fuck I mean. <laughs> I'm just fucking okay, with so back so anyways, to his cousin. So his cousin, when we got sued for natural high. Now, let me tell you, I, I think I explained this already. Right, right. I explained that or should I go it, Pretty much. It, it, let me sum Basically, it up. Basically, we got sued for natural high. Oh, go ahead. Do you think his cousin manipulated him? A lot. I'm going to tell you why. His, okay. grandma, his, gra his cousin was a real estate guy. Uh, his grandma and Nana died. Rob's family is a beautiful family. Yeah. They have deep ties. I mean, he's Mexican to the bone, but he lives in Del Mar. But he didn't live. He lived in the... Like, you know, Del Mar is rich. It's like, it's like uh, La Jolla, like Beverly Hills. Okay. But not where little Rob lived, but they're all... Matt, Janet Jackson has a $20 million house. We have the horse races there. It's a beautiful spot. But they all need people to work for them. All these rich people. Right. So they put the Mexicans right here in a small spot where little Rob's from. Okay. And his tata was a hell of a man. He, I know, from what I know, little Rob is like the only dude who has a, a chain... It has an original Del Mar, a Del Mar, from when I'm, I'm, not, I'm not clear, Rob is watching, because Rob watched, watched last time, I've heard from him, okay? And, but I know his doctor had like, there's only a four plaques that when you could go to the Del Mar racetrack, you could go to the Del Mar fair, yeah. and his doctor owned them. Okay. He was such a hell of a man working for the man that they gave him these for life. You. So little Rob, I know, would go to the, he goes to go to the fair every year. You know, it's little Rob, because he could go. He has that, that okay. charm that says that's the family. Okay. You know? So. So it's safe to say that it was his cousin that manipulated him. Yeah, and that, that's what well, the whole his grandma died and left him five properties. Each property in Del Mar, because they're $20 million houses, this is the Mexican area, they're worth a million. You understand? His cousin said, hey, we could borrow of one and we don't need Royal no more. We. We, we don't need Royal no more. We can make signature records. That was his label. And because look at, look how big you are, Rob. This is after we got sued and I was no longer putting, put out, can't keep a good man down yet because my label said, Royal, this is when I got smart. When I got sued, I got smart. We got sued for natural high because Bloodstone sued Anheuser-Busch for $10 million when, you know, the horses for Christmas, right. the, the Clydesdales. And they played, say, to the sky in the natural eye, right? They didn't clear that. And they got sued for $10 because Bloodstone went into that and said, our, our friends from the 70s and 60s sued, I mean, died for drug overdose and drinking. So they're promoting alcohol, and right. we made a natural high song, $10 million. Anheuser-Busch, the richest fuck, no big deal, right? So they're looking around. I just got a deal with BMG. BMG's... May, that's what you used to buy you old old school motherfucker not you young little assholes you old school motherfuckers where you guys used to buy a quarter for remember you buy a 20 tapes for a quarter each right and they send them in the mail BMG's humongous so BMG they went after BMG because they saw natural high well I'm the photographer I took the picture of little Rob smoking a joint right in his neighborhood by a nice beautiful statue he's smoking a joint we cleared it through fo the Harry Fox agency Remember the Harry, Harry, if you guys old school motherfucker in the music business, Harry Fox used to clear samples. You probably know from mm -hmm. I'm Not Your Puppet. So we cleared it, five grand. And Steve Vicious, VMF, we played the song. We didn't even sample it. And my boy Biz sang that beautiful hook. We didn't ask for them, but we cleared it. Well, they came and got us for the weed mm -hmm. and said that we never heard the song. That, back to the game. Because of this, this, and that, our people died. We're going to sue you. Um, BMG being so big, they went and paid out $246,000. So I'm going to pick up a check for me, little Rob. I like, I've already told this story. Right. And I'm, I'm going to pick up a check, and I get to the office, and they go, Royal, 
which is Luis Pisterman, my man, one of my main dudes, even though we've had differences, without him, I would have never been shit. Okay. Brain, human brain. Okay. Man, but he, he, um, Roy, you, you didn't read your email. We've been sued. 246,000 plus, or 296,000 plus 46,000 in lawyer fees. And I'm going to pick up a check for 140 grand. Frank V, the wrestling, I already told And I made that motherfucker wait to two in the morning. From two in the afternoon, I was young and a maniac. And I, I made him write me a check to pay these guys. That goes to the checks thing that we were right, clear right. on. But okay. let's get back to the barcode. Okay, let's wrap it up because I want to get one more question. We're running out of time, but I'm going to add 10 more minutes to, before we go to break, okay? But um, Some of these guys in there only need two minutes. It's okay. Yeah, I met their girls. Not yeah. <laughs> no, no, but, but clear the barcode because... Uh, uh, oh, so so the barcode, you know, yeah, you want me to clear Charlie, I cleared the barcode. Okay, no, the barcode, explain as, far, the barcode. We, as far as... We his, explain that you can't have a... You can't have the same one the distributor has at the swap meet. The stores pay $9 and the okay. swap meets pay 4 to $5. So Rob knew this. So, yeah, you can't... Okay, any man, you know that, right? Right. No, and I'm telling you, do you know that, Tony? Do, as, I, as far as what? If, do you know the swap meet that those are bootlegs and you can't, you have to have a barcode in yeah, the back of course. Okay. You have to. You have so, to. Does, to you, I'm going to use you as the judge of that. Does that sound, that makes sense or no? No, of course. You In every CD, you have to have a barcode. Yeah. In every CD. Uh, um, even if you sell it at the Swami, you have to have a barcode. And and, and, and they don't have sound scan at the Swami, bro. They don't have sound scan. No. So, so when they're saying, Royal, every time they would sound scan Royals, this is his cousin said. We're, gonna, we're talking about Charlie. Okay, that is. Yeah, every time they sound scan Royal, uh, a little Rob's, Royals come at, that's a lie. Cause no they one because they don't just, sound scan at the swamp meets. They don't sound scan. There's no computers. There's no fucking. You don't see a wire hanging. Maybe now and maybe two, 2020, but I doubt it. Maybe call Jimmy yeah. Irving Keen and ask right. him, but I doubt at the it. Swamp meet at the indoors and at the car shows. There's no, no sound scan. No. Okay. Only at the big stores that are closed down. Now. Okay. But so to his cousin Charlie, you talking about hating? Mm -hmm. His cousin Charlie said so. When they told me I got sued, the guy said, "Royo, I was pissed." Right. He said, your next record, because they're making a lot of money. Right. I had a terrible fucking deal. I'm not going to lie to nobody. I, but I, at that, I wasn't going to, I'm prideful, homie. I was happy. I made my money on the street to swap meets with my CDs, all my stores. I used to make 90 grand a month just on the fucking swap meets, just hustling. Right. So, right. so as far as that goes, I wasn't worried that the, I was uh -huh. just happy to be in the big stores that we were becoming major. There's a stepping stone to every fucking part of life. You don't go from, like I said, here to here, which is jump. Fuck that. So back to, oh uh, man, I, I'm so fucking faded. It's, right? it's, it's okay. It's okay. No, but no, no, well, let's just stay on this. So that's when I got so smart because Luis and them knew that my deal was such a piece of shit that they could give me a dollar more, a quarter more, five dollars more. No, not three, four dollars, you know, more. So he goes, Royal, I was so pissed. I thought, when your new little Rob comes out, I'm going to give you, I think it was four dollars. Me and little Rob were going to leave with like 150 grand because our pre-order was going to be, now these new orders are nothing about pre-orders. Right. It was going to be like over 100,000 right. because the hype was built. Right. And he goes, but you need to pay back the money first. Of course. So I never got paid. So when I asked when I became a fucking genius, that's when I go, I'm Mr. Sancho, a Spanish fly in my cup. So I said, okay. I started looking for a Mr. Sancho artist. Meaning, I started looking for the perfect artist I could name, my name. I started looking at my chat room and going, look like this chat room. Hey, what names are popping? What's cracking? You got to study your craft, what I'm doing. So I, I told Little Rob, let's hold on, homie. We're going to make some money. We're going to blow the fuck up. That was my main ace. And me and Little Rob to this day have never had an argument. Never, ever, ever. So he was my ace in the hole. And I said, Rob, just hold on. And, and and you guys were young. You, you guys were young, young, young as fuck. Okay. So so everyone's mind okay. isn't fully developed. I want to ask you something about last. Well, I was gonna get the chart. I was gonna tell you. Okay. So that's when I got so smart. I started going little Rob. I made. I mean, Mr. Sana, Chokalifa, the little band. I these are guys worked at my swap meets, and they all, all right. kind of rapped. And I started going OFI. I started going boom boom. Let's get into the studio. I started making these records, not because I I, I really um how you say. It was like my whole heart, my whole heart with me, Little Robin, prop new Frank, new guy to my label, Frank V. Yeah. That was my, that was our whole tour. Yeah. It was us. And I started making all my guys, Khalifa Thugs and all the groups, and I started putting out albums. 
just to pay back this debt. This debt you had two dollars and twenty five cents. Very smart. So, could I? To me, they weren't a big record. They weren't a big deal. It was like this is my money. These are my homies. Uh uh. And they're trying to make me a genius mind. I didn't. That never was. I never meant to make a catalog like all these other. I it just became a catalog. I never meant to be just the CEO producer. I was a royalty. You know what I mean? Right. It just became. So that's why I think I got so successful more than the other guys that studied me, other other labels in Chicano rap, that said, I got to have a catalog. I got to have this image. I got to have this. Hey, homie, I'm Chicano from the earth, from the ground, dirt up. Uh, there's no chiffering about me. I can't lie to you who I am, you know? Right. And I just, it just became that. And then. It just, it was a natural, organic thing. It wasn't buying fake views. It wasn't all this nonsense, like these new guys. So um, so what happened was Little Rob was tired of waiting. He was waiting and waiting, but I was paying. I said, come and write this, write this album. And I, and I ain't gonna lie, I paid him 500 bucks a week. Uh, we, we, we were talking about a 22 year old, 23 year old person, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And we're talking about 2000. 500 bucks a week to sit home and write some raps and show up at the studio two times a week. And I said, bro, and we had no money. We were just sued for everything we had. But I paid him. He was had money, but not me. He spent his money on vehicles. 66, Fleetwood, all that shit. So it's kind of Charlie starts seeing all this voting because that, that's now all that stuff I told you earlier. Right. AC's on there. He's number one, number one. So his cousin Charlie catches when the grandma dies, all the money, they have money now. He knows how to refinance a property. Right. And he says, we don't need royalty, man. We could do it ourselves. Ro royalty, man, he's burning. You look, he's driving a brand new Navigator. He's just, remember I had Swami, that was right. his favorite. So uh, they end up trying to do their own record and uh, quick story short, uh, what, 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 what do they say for you don't get sued? What do they say, uh, that word, um, what do they say on Wendy Williams? You guys know what they say all the time? Uh, they always say something. I don't watch E.T. Oh, I mean, right. Wendy Williams. <laughs> well, it's because, you know, I thought you were wigs. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> but anyways, uh, uh, allegedly. Allegedly, okay. Allegedly, he borrowed money out the cookie jar to one of the properties, around 250 grand, and tried to cross 250 grand of cocaine uh, across the border. Oh, no, because these people went to prison. Good friends of mine. Cause that fucking Charlie snitched on them, and they all end up going to prison. And you know, you mix good money with bad money. What happened? The, the feds take all that money. Right, right, right. And, so and you got the blame for pretty much. Uh, that's where in the room no, started. Get, no, no, I know, no. That's that's the karma that happened. Okay. I believe in karma before religion. Karma will come get you, my brother. You know why my life has been beautiful? I, and I put on I'm, on on God. I don't care. I don't care what what you guys think and what happens. My grandkids love me, like your grandkids love me. You guys see me on my IG, me and my, my, my Isabelle, the smelly, the welly, welly, the boop, boop. That's my little granddaughter. I make her little songs every day. And my little mister, they love me. That's all that matters. I don't give a fuck about anything. So I believe in karma. Like, if I treated someone bad on me, if I really did bad, would I be here, Tony? Right. No, you I, know, I'm I, being honest with you. No, you're, you're right. And look what happened to someone's family. Little Rob, what I'm telling you, I don't make stories. Go listen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you guys making Little Rob some money right now. He did 12 to 18 part two after Summer Nights. After Fingers the Great did the Summer Nights. Right? And uh, he, um, he, uh, he did 12 18 part two. And there's a song. They disses the shit out of his cousin for fucking his whole family. No shit. He fuck yeah. Go listen to twelve eighty part two. He disses the fuck out of his cousin for being a fucking piece of shit thief, okay. and he put a lot of good men in prison. Okay, we're gonna go, go ahead and press oh, pause right there's there. There's all your shit. Thank you. We're oh, gonna, no, we're not. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press pause right there. We're gonna Tony, go ahead and take who a break. Can put pause on a conversation like this. I can. Oh, so check this out. Haters in the building. Hey, enjoy your drink. Push pause. Let me take this drink. Gotta okay. make a space scanners. Where you at? Oh, okay. <laughs> I love this guy. You know, okay, here's what I I'm hate gonna, him, but I love him. You know what yes, I mean? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back... Is there any women in the building, Tony? Li listen, when we come back... Are we're we going to go fuck some women? What are we going to do, Tony? I mean, we're, we're taking a break. You got condoms? That when we come back, we're going to take some phone calls. Okay. okay. Take the phone hey, calls. Hey, uh, Johnny boy, go ahead and uh, put that up on the screen. Okay, check this out, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, take some phone calls. Hold on, I love you. Hey, you didn't ask me who called me today. Uh, uh, hold on. When we come back... Oh! 
Okay. I can tell you real quick. When we come back, put the school. number on the screen, Johnny boy. <laughs> and when we come back, I'm going to ask him one question, and then we're going to take some phone calls. We're going to take two phone calls, okay? But here's what it's got to be. It's got to be a question. It can't be no more than, like, you know, two minutes okay question this is not a conversation you cannot pour your feelings out to royalty you cannot call and talk shit if you call and talk shit you know we're gonna hang up and block your number okay Benjamin, so, why are you telling that's me all up? i'm saying the call the question has to pertain to music if you have a question about music about an artist about his record label whatever call and ask after you ask your question we're gonna hang up so there's the number when we come back from break and i say start calling that's when you call you call to talk shit, believe me, you're going to get blocked, all right? So, And you won't uh, be able to call in again to any of his guests. Exactly. And so, you know who will probably beat me? I don't want to say, but, you know, it might be a Cuban. But anyways. Anyways, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and take a break. Oh, so, shout out to Alonzo, one of the Night House homies, one of my homies. Yes. Good dude out there. He's a, he's a solid, yeah. solid fan of you, Tony. Okay, check it out. Thank you. Uh, so make sure you call somebody, text somebody, slap the shit out of somebody, let them know that Royal Tits is in the ah, motherfucking building. Let me give you a quick Let's credit. go to break. Ah! is back baby with miss sacha's new single titled the baddest bitch in the neighborhood available on all digital platforms and don't forget to pick up her classics like doggy style miss sacha live.com and now the kings of chicano raps classics are on digital platform like mr sacho true player little rob high to i die og spanish fly Back from the dead, proper dose, overdose. Oh man, we also got royalties, coast to coast. And Mr. Night Owl, King of the West. You know what we do it, baby. Don't forget the Brown Pride Riders collection was volume five and the rest of them. And we also got Kid Frost to the wheel fall off, baby. And don't forget the Chronica 2013 collection and the best of Light and Shade of Brown, ODM and Double TX, Low Profile Records. We got over 100 CDs now on all platforms. Follow us at LowProfileRecords.com. Hey, what's up? It's Doughboy Tony. Make sure you go ahead and tap in with my brand, Seeking New Money. You can follow on Instagram, at Seeking New Money. Also, make sure you tap in with my music. You can follow me on Instagram, at Doughboy.Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rick from Rick's Custom, the number one manufacturer of custom hat racks located in the 805, serving up people nationwide. You're going to get it me, Rick from Rick's Custom, for all your custom hat rack needs. Ladies and gentlemen, here's my flagship product. This one right here holds 10 hats, five hats on each column, okay? The way you hang your hat is you fold it in like so, and you hang it in the hook just like that. Again, you get to choose the logo. You get to choose the color of the rack. 
And uh, I mean, this is great. You get to have a little top shelf. Uh, I like to put my lotions, colognes, and a couple other accessories. Uh, comes with nice, beautiful lights. The lights change 16 different colors. I mean, you get total freedom and customization on this. I mean, you just can't go wrong with Rick's Custom. Also, we utilize all of the social media platforms. No restrictions. We use all the apps to take payments. We use all of the postal services. You're going to get me, Rick from Rick's Custom, for all your custom hat rep needs. Yeah, that's right. Rick from Rick's Custom. Havana Wines, that mellow mellow, or that mellow Moscato, can't forget that, Cabernet Sauvignon, 1973, uh, yeah, at Havana Wines, we provide the wine, you provide the vibes. And whether you chilling with her or a party of a thousand, just pop the cork and let the magic happen. Havana wines. Drink responsibly. Shout. If you are looking to upgrade your backyard or place of business, give us a call. We here at Top Notch Palapas specialize in high quality palapas and custom bars. From a single post to an 18 by 30, we can build the size you need. We apply a double layer of palm leaf thatching to give you that extra shade. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call today and make your backyard come to life. Top Notch Palapas, 310-483-3750. TopNotchPalapas.com and you can also follow us on Instagram at Top Notch Palapas.
Yo, call somebody, text somebody, slap the shit out of somebody. Let them know that Rodian Radio is live up in this beat. This is your Theo on Rhodium Radio. The panties are popping and it's non stopping. Tony A. the Wizard. You're back now with the Jack Off Hour, and it says Tony A. the Wizard with the podcast of Slap Record, the Fat Ass with a Fat Ass Dick. And you know when Rhodium Radio is popping, the panties are dropping. It's time to give up them hips and show me them lips. All right, oh, check this out. Uh, royalties back in the motherfucking building. Hell yeah. I love that dance, bro. Uh, you need to patent that dance. That's the new dance, the new Chicano Hold dance. Up. It's not lean like a cholo. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I didn't know you. I didn't know you had moves. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> hey, you know what? I wanted to ask you something really quick. For the people that just watched your ad, they watched my boy Seven's ad. Whew. You know, they watched uh, um, Melo's ad. Why is it important to buy ads, bro? Because if you don't get ads, you're a fucking amateur. I mean, that's just no. Seriously, we've always had ads and commercials. Tony A has the greatest platform right now in the whole business. Let's not lie to ourselves and not change the story. But if you want to make, look at it. Say, people say Royalty got nice tits. If I didn't do ads, I wouldn't make no money and be able to give presents out like my tits. Right. Here, Tony's a present. My, don't ever forget me though, than my tits. Thank you. Ads make money and give you tits. They're beautiful. You got nice tits, Royalty. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean? And you threw your, your, <laughs> the trash. your Kleenex that you sneezed in. <laughs> And you left the price down at the bottom. Oh my God, your, cheap has better. Your tits are cheap. So. <laughs> but ads promote your business and you buying fake likes. These, we're gonna get into that, but all these artists buying fake likes, fake views. I don't give a shit. One person buys my shit or one person watch. That's more money than I had yesterday. Right. So right. the ads will promote you. It puts you on a platform that will be here forever. That, yeah. Meaning that these will never go away. These are, these are history. Yes. And your ad will be there when they want to, not just me, Cubans or whatever kind of artists or people that come in here next. Um, <laughs> those ads are very important. Right. My El Jefe is going to get ad. And I'm going to tell you, El Jefe had nothing but love, your family, your wife. I, I'm sorry about your tata today. That's why he didn't come actually right, make the right, food. Right. He sent us the platters. Yeah. His tata had a stroke and a heart attack, and they're, they're going to take him off the machine tonight. My homie Abel. Uh, and uh, Dabba, big ass companies in, in, in my weed business world. Yeah. And uh, so uh, he's going to get ads to see, you know, he's, he was going to come today to talk to you about it, but no. ads are very important. If you want to get to the next level, you need to invest in yourself. You need to promote yourself. You and, know? and you've talked about a lot. Yeah. I, I'm very excited about that. Promote yourself until it pays off. Be before we go into something, can, I, can I, uh, we get into, get into that question I asked you to ask me. <laughs> uh, I mean, there were several of them. Okay, I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, about artists being lazy. Right, I understand that, but right. I want to take one call. Okay. I promised them we want to take one call. So Johnny, throw the number up. I gotta put the headphone on. Yeah. Uh, uh, when when we get a call, I'm um, look at. Please, I don't want to hear your diary. Don't pour out your problems. Just just call and ask a, I, a question to royalty pertaining to music, pertaining to an artist, pertaining to his record label. Yes, okay? it's nice, ladies. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Put it on. Six one nine. Okay, turn it up right here. Yo, 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 What's yo. What's up? I can't, I can't hear anything. Yo. Test, test. Hey, how you doing? I got a I can't hear nothing. Do you anything, Johnny boy? Hold on one second. I, I heard a little something, but it's yo. You there? Hold on one second. Hello? We're having difficult Hold taking on. a look. I hear him great on my side, so. Okay, let me just turn them no, up. Just in my, it, it. No. Test, test. Okay, I can hear myself now. Color. Color, color. My record is in your ear. How you doing, man? Go ahead, go ahead. Royal T, bro. Hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, I got a question for Royal T. What's going down, uh, homie? Out of all the albums that you put out uh, from uh, Talifa Thug, and uh, which one is your favorite one out of all the years from Southside or Smoke Out? Man, that's a beautiful right, cool, question. And people, Sorry. what's your name, homie? What's your name? After he says his name, Eddie. Oh. Eddie, what's up, Eddie? Thank so, you for calling, Eddie. Yeah, and um, check this is the first call. You're the first caller ever on Tony A's show, and me hearing you on Tony A's show, so that's beautiful. But my, I've had a hard time with that question 
Because people have asked me all the time, and I'm going to tell you, every time I'm recording, it could be Miss Sancho's album, it could be Kush Boy's album, it could be Mr. Sancho's album, it could be any of my artists. And I really, when I get into the deep in the zone, and I, I just don't, these people will tell you, they, 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 they I'm, as, as long as I talk, as long as I record, meaning I like a vibe. I need to feel your day. I need to, I need to feel what we're doing so I can understand you to give you what I like. So every album I actually love. Like each album I go into a, a thought of, a, you, you know the old stuff we used to have, Tony, where you believed in all these right. musical dreams? So you're saying you don't have a favorite one pretty much? They're all my favorites. Okay, because they're all I, your favorites. You know, and cool. I, I have a fun time listening to oh, Okay, you know, Caller, are you still there? <laughs> okay, yeah. Tony. Okay, let, oh, let, me there, ask, let me ask you this question: Which one is your favorite? Uh, it's it's gonna be the uh, Chronica 2013 uh, part part two when part two. Uh, when he had Kid Frost. So so that was part three. Kid Frost was on there. Part three. Okay. Oh, cool. part three. Yes, part yeah. three. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and we, we did that. Kid Frost on there and, uh, and Frank V. And we, we had a we yeah. did a whole song with all of us. We did. It was like uh, we got to the studio of Fingers, I, I, and I remember every recording. That's that's wow. one talent I do have. Like, I don't know if it's a talent, but I just, people go, oh, and I remember. We were at Fingers Studio. I remember Frank V came late, like always. <laughs> Tony knows that stuff. And uh, Frost, we drove Frost over there, and everyone saw each other, and we, and Fingers, we just told Fingers, man, let's do a track with all of us, and we did. I was been around the world and back, and I ain't never mother motherfucking like yeah. that. I can't sing it right there without a singer singing it. But uh, riding six foes, gangsters and hoes. And it was, we had a beautiful time. Dope, dope. You know? Okay, brother, thank you for calling. Thanks, homie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get to the next caller. Go ahead. Ain't no problem. Gracias. Okay, uh, next caller. So we're going to go ahead and wait for somebody to call. Remember, no, don't call and crank call or, you know. Hello, darling. Let's go, Johnny. <laughs> Yo. I like the order Chinese food. Yo, call her, call her. Yo. I love it. It's Royal Key. What's up, homie? What's, what's going down? Tea? What's going down? Hey, what's up, man? Right hey, here. um, are you gonna do a, a are you gonna do a song with um Charlie Rocampo? Campo? Anytime. You know, I reached out to them to a long time ago when I used to do my LPG radio show. And um Yeah. I think they were that's when uh Chino and stuff were because you, you you guys might not know, but I took Wicked Mind with Chino. Chino was there on their first tour in the Rasa tour. We with me, Little Rob, proper dose tour, and we went from Phoenix, Tucson, yeah. and, and rest in peace, Rick from Wicked Minds was on that tour, and we had a a very great time. We we you know, so I would never have a problem doing a track with pretty much anyone on me. Dope, dope. Yeah. So um, there's your answer. All right. All right. Gracias, Karina. Thank you. All right. Hey, Tony, hey, you're, you're doing a good job, man. Hey, good luck. Hey, brother. Thank you very much, thank man. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Johnny, let's take one more, and then we're going to jump back to some okay. questions. No problem. One more call, just like we promised you, royalty in the motherfucking building. Oh, man. Caller, who's this? Uh, this parties. What's up, homie? What's going down? I, I just, my question was, how many um, songs in total are there for the... Uh, under like the catalog for low profile records, probably around twenty two hundred songs. You know, what I mean, probably around twenty two. Man, that's a lot of songs. A lot of fucking songs. A lot of, but beautiful times, only I mean, I'm drunk every fucking recording. <laughs> you exactly. know, so you know, and yeah, uh, so bring me a bottle. Sometimes you want to record a new song? You know, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, guess bring Tony Gibbs because that motherfucker shares with everybody. I I've tasted all kind of other shit here, so bring some more shit when you yeah. come to my studio. But um. Oh, what city are you from, homie? I'm from Artesia, Artesia, New Mexico. Oh, that's what's up. I got my homie right here from Albuquerque right in the building. Oh, man. All right. Shout out to Juan Gambino hey, out well, there. Shout out, shout out to you guys, man. Shout out to you guys doing it tonight. That's what's up. Much Thank love you, homie. Respect. Thank you. All good, Thank bro. You. All good. Muchas gracias, bro. Have a blessed night, homie. Hey, the green chili. The homie brought me some beef jerky with the That's it, Johnny. Albuquerque green chili. Uh -huh. And bam. I mean, okay. I, I, I made sure I cut in small pieces. I don't like right. any chili long around me. You don't like long chili? Oh, you might, but not me, Tony. <laughs> you like, so you hold on, like you have that quote. You like long chili, do you? Me too. I like pupusas. You rub it on your face. She, she made pupusas, okay? <laughs> so. You did it like that? <laughs> okay. All right, check it out. Since the last interview, since the last interview, yes. great, great interview. Thank you, bro. Okay. Almost what, a couple of minutes uh, uh, short of six hours. Or it's fucking time. Right. Time. 
go through the hourglass. Oh shit, Frost. Can you do that one more time? Time go through the hourglass. Hell yeah, that's dope. You. you know, a fact, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Who wrote that song? You know what? It doesn't matter because nobody ever would have delivered it. Right. But ALT wrote that. But maybe, I don't even know. But no one would ever deliver it like Kid Frost. Yeah, his delivery, his mic presence. And you guys wanna know, I'm gonna tell you something. I t had the pleasure, and we've had our differences, but when it comes to death or anyone not feeling good. Of course. And I worked with them, and not, even if I had drama, when we worked together, I've never worked with anyone I hated. Even from Little Rob to anybody, we had a beautiful connection. We were friends. Even my worst enemy, if I worked with you, music, I, um, this guy will tell you, I, my uh, artists come in from me. I've worked with him for 10 years. I've been doing shows there. But now we're connected. Mr. Mr. One, Kush Boy, since Bayaso, I mean, talking about from Idaho, when we did shows in Idaho and he was with another label, he was just a very respectful person. Everyone I've worked with has been good people. I don't know, oh, he's hard, he's gangster, he's this. So, who is that man? I want to know who the fuck he is. I want to know where his heart's at because I don't want to bring you into, my, my world is a family world. So I bring you in, I, I, I want to know who you are and I want to say, hey, I want to grow with you. Right. Because I don't work with people I don't want to make money. I, I try to make a lot of people money though. I don't care about like, uh, oh, hey homie, you, 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 heard, you heard a bunch of records that I showed you that I never released, right or wrong? Yeah. Album, because people think, oh, Royal, he wants, if I, I mean, I got off $350,000 worth of tracks. I got Sancho's, all these things, but they were my brothers. It wasn't like, I could have put this record and make some money. Isn't that satisfying? Right. I wanted to travel the world with my boys. Right, right. So I, I have no full desire to release, or I would have released it. It's not, right, because they're just no, sitting there. No one works harder than I do. So if I was really, ah, I want to make some money, fuck these motherfuckers. I just put out these records. Yeah. That's not satisfying. And it's all yours. It okay. was all, but that's not the point. I know, I know what you mean. I, I, I've reached out to certain, oh, so back to your thing of people. I've talked to Frost. We okay. had differences. And I heard he was sick, was Cobra. He really was in the hospital. I talked to Bad Boy. Yeah. Uh, in fact, Capone texted me today. So even back, when I left your show, back to when I left that day. That was my question man, next. Yeah. Everyone called me, man. Every, every one of my enemies that were, had their own, people were mad at me sometimes for their own life. Right, right. Because right. they can't go tell their friends, you know, oh, why are you broke? Oh, because I didn't show up to the studio. Oh, because I didn't do this. Oh, because I didn't fulfill that. Oh, because I didn't want to sign the paperwork. So what they say, oh, that fat motherfucker robbed me. It's easier if he to be in the hood and say, and they're never going to see me or meet me. So it's easier to tell some worthless motherfucker that that guy's a piece of shit. Because right. no man has the balls of, or the pride to say, oh, man, I was fucking lazy. Or I have a jealous ass bitch who won't let me go hang out with royalty because she says, you're going to fuck somebody. How? Did, how? You're going to fuck somebody. <laughs> I mean, we had a girl. Look, at wherever Miss Sancha goes, wherever Miss Sancha goes, pussy follows. What? Yeah, they, they they smell pussy. They smell they smell it. It's in we, the air. We had a woman. Did we bring more girls today than regular? You brought more girls. Yes. No, I'm not saying you. <laughs> we brought more girls. You, I didn't because Miss Sancha brought right, girls. Right, right, right. So we had a girl here today. Her man came all the way from New Mexico, I think. Okay. Drove his chopper to come pick her up outside because she was in the building. Nobody was gonna do nothing. But I don't know how she left her man at the house, but you know, I heard Tony A was here, you know what I mean? And careless whispers, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and you actually have a great voice. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta say thank you very much. But uh, thank you very much. Okay, but, okay. Um, okay. but so people call me, people say, man, I thought you were an asshole. I didn't know the real story because I couldn't tell always real story. I didn't want to shit on artists all the time. And, and not have you buy that shit. I had money invested. I didn't want to fucking ruin records. So everyone called me and said, man, man, Royal, man, I wish we could do it again, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you. Right. I, and, and I love most of these people, so I get fooled. Now, but, was the response beautiful? Greater than it was bad? On a, a scale of one to ten. Look did, at your did, comments on here. I, you I, can I read understand. Them. No, no, I mean, beautiful. Right. Because 
they finally know the man behind the scenes, the Wizard of Oz pulling yes. the strings, yeah. is not a piece of shit asshole. Okay. I'm a regular Mexican dude who started from zero, had a little bit of money, said, hey, homie, you want, I can help you. Let's move forward. And there's a lot of lazy, and we're going to talk about lazy new artists. But right. So I had a beautiful response. I, homie, I lost my voice because, you know me, I talk a lot. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I called Tony, like, come on, Roy, how long is this going to take? Hold on, Tony. Oh, I got to go. You know, and I called back. Okay. The, but yeah. anyway, they start calling me from... Every part of this, everywhere I've been from Oklahoma. So from, they embraced it. Embraced it. It was so beautiful. I just redid the Low Profile Records website. Yes, you showed I me. Got, that was nice. Yeah, I got the radio show about to go off. I got the um, uh, back to radio show. I got my podcast, which is not going to ever compete with your podcast because this is the number one. I'm just going, I, I'm going to be talking to uh, Miss, me and Miss Sanchez. I got an OnlyFans about to go off. Uh, we, you're gonna have only fans i got a nice dick on it oops right. <laughs> it's about time they see it it's about time bro. Yeah, why right not now, right now why, you, why would you want to hold that back no, in the world there's no reason no fucking reason exactly topless you know? pictures and all Top, that i'm gonna show my tits everything centerfold looking like burt reynolds and everything I mean, you know what i mean we, we're gonna i'm bringing miss sancha miss sancha eats a lot of pussy and gets fucked a lot so we got oops uh in a nice a respectful way right you know so we're gonna bring but the, our only fans gonna be like different <laughs> <laughs> Where do I subscribe? <laughs> so we're gonna set the OnlyFans up, and we're gonna have a show. We're gonna bring you on there, Tony, because this show is not all about fucking. It's about music, independent artists. Oh, no, this one. This oh, one. this one. This one. But our our our, our OnlyFans is gonna be on our table. We're gonna put women on here so we could Miss Sancha and me can inspect them, have conversations with swingers, people fuck. Uh, regular Mid people. Midgets, whatever. Midgets. We're going to do all kind of crazy shit. No, I got two mid mid Bridget the Midget. I'm going to bring her. And we're going to show a lot of my DVD, which you saw. I got a lot of fucking on the DVD. Right. Because I didn't want to show ever our low pro DVD. And the reason I didn't put it out is because DVDs don't sell. Right. So I'm going to put on OnlyFans, break it up on there. They could watch it finally. My DVD never was the show that, hey, homie, we're the hardest motherfuckers in the Fuck all that fake shit. There's hard motherfuckers in every neighborhood. I wanted to show, hey, we real fucking rock stars. Right. We travel the fucking world. Yeah. We've been every fucking where, and when we go, we fuck, we party, we drink. There it is you there. Know? And that's why, did you see some of it, Tony? Yes, of course. And did you see Nick I saw, I saw sucking? You, I, I saw you uh, wearing a G-string. Oh, my God. Wearing a blonde wig. Saying. That was nice. <laughs> that but ain't now, true. <laughs> but now the world's going to have to pay to see it. <laughs> but that's what we have on there. I wanted to show that we like Led Zeppelin, homie. We, yeah. we your Motley crew. We... We party. We, we, we didn't do this shit just to be fucking, oh, we're complete artists. We're, yeah, fuck out. We came to party. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, right. so the response here was most beautiful. Any of you artists, and this goes to what I've been wanting to say, lazy fucking artists. Yeah. When you get a fucking opportunity from Tony or anybody, but especially Tony, you better not cancel your day and say, I'm waiting for a special day. I'm waiting for this certain miracle to happen. It, it happens. This is the miracle. There's no such thing a miracle. Miracles is hard work, sweat on your balls, handling business. Right. You know, I mean? hopefully it's, your balls are smacking yourself. Right Draw there. sticking <laughs> to your ass. I know. You know? Okay. So that was a beautiful thing. Thank you for your show, Tony. Thank you, brother. Thank go you. Ahead. I go greatly give me appreciate it. Uh, my next question was this, because I know after you left, we talked on the phone a couple of times, and you had mentioned about getting the Raza United. Not phone sex. No, 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 no. That, that, that came later. Okay. But uh, <laughs> it was like around 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But the, you're talking about, you were constantly talking about Raza United. You told me you contacted Mr. D and Capone. Mm -hmm. uh, did that, this was after the first interview. Yes. Uh, how was that going? Is that coming to fruition? Uh, is that moving along? You know, I was so busy after this. this. Like I'm telling you, you guys are seeing me running at half speed. Not, not even half. I'm, I'm a quarter of half. Right. When I was young, you got to remember all this shit, all these records that we released, 150 albums, I recorded all that stuff. I was a maniac. This is nothing. <laughs> so you guys turned me on again. It, it made me say, hey, because I'm full throttle on the fat wonka. Oops, oops, I knocked over easy. I'm sorry about that easy. You know I'm easy, I got some. But anyways, so I started my Fat Wonka, my Fat Wonka edibles, and... How's I, that doing? Beautiful. It always is beautiful. That, that's just, 
And right now we just switched everything to CBD. So when we start our podcast, and I'll send you some products so you can put to the donations. But our CBD is uncut, straight raw. So when you get a thousand milligrams, you get a real thousand milligram of CBD. And we're gonna have all kind of T-shirts and and smoke pins of all all CBD. We have the THC, but online you'll be able to buy CBD because it's legal in all states. And we're gonna have it um, candies, creams, all kind of stuff. And we're gonna be selling on on, on my website and stuff. So oh, so oh. Um, back to the u- unity. Remember? Okay, unity. So when I left this show, believe it or not, Mr. D called me. Okay. And he said, "Hey, Royal, a homie called me." Someone up in, uh, in in a higher place, and um, and I'm not talking about bad places. I'm talking about beautiful places. Called and said, "Hey, I really really like this," and he said, um, "I would like to do a record with," he said, Capone, Mr. D, and Low Pro. And I wasn't excited, and they weren't excited. We're like, eh. and then I came to my mind, and I said, "You know, homie, I'll do that record." I said, but we're going to do 12 songs, six videos. And when we do these 12 songs, we're going to, we're going to mix them up. Like he produces four, I produce four, you know? And I said, I don't want to do this just to do a fucking record. Just to do it. Yeah. It's got to mean something. That's, yeah. It got to mean something because we're three different. You guys could look and your favorite rappers, this guy favorite. Maybe we're not your favorite rappers, but we're the most powerful influence of Chicano rap history. There's no waves that if you like Capone, you hated me. If you like Low Pro, you hated Capone and Mr. D. Vice versa all the way around. Yeah. And you got LA, IE, and San Diego. Boom. Tidal waves. Drama. And we were going to say, you know, I said, let's do the last song like Easy E did. Mr. Easy right here. We're all in the same gang and let's bring a Raza Unite. Let's make this worth something. Not just some gangster bullshit. Let's, we're older, I mean, let, let's make something positive right. and let's bring the Rasa together. Positive, unity for the culture, uh, 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 uni, you know, un, unity, unity. Uh, like it's got to mean something. Of course. And this is what we mean. You talk, talked about Mr. D even talked to you about Mr. D was on the second interview, which you guys could go back and check him out. Um, he said, man, you're going to be my DJ. Because we wanted, we're thinking when we do this, we could do a tour. We could do, and I'm not talking about just us. I'm talking about the whole right. people. I'm not People that hate each other, we want to sit everyone down and say, why you hate that dude? Because he said, he, he, he rapped about a hood you're not from, or what's in your business, or, you know, like, right, right, right. who are you really? And You can put your differences aside. Let's move forward, like the black artists unite. So, Capone, no, we all have our differences, homie. We have real differences, and we have, there's, we have certain enemies, and there's real stuff behind the scenes. And I was willing, and Mr. D was willing to say, you know what? Let's handle it. And Capone kind of, uh, you know? And I said, let's sit down. He goes, oh, royalty's going to talk shit. Because I used to, me, Capone, and Mr. D were all friends before. Okay. <laughs> and I'm the one that found he was Pakistani, which it's not a big deal. It's a beautiful thing. You got to embrace what you are, you know? So today, Capone reached out finally. But my idea was let's do like a song, we're all in the same gang, where we bring every rapper in Chicago, from King Little G, Little Rob, Kid Frost, uh, Mallow Mac, uh, Criminal, Little One, Mr. Shadow, Mr. Night Owl. We bring everyone together. We do like, we're all, look it up, we're all in the same gang. Or headed for self-destruction, and we finally do something positive than dumbass shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. Finally, do something for our raza, so we could finally get. You guys talk about breaking down barriers. You talk about mainstream and all this shit. Well, it starts. You have to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. Positive. Yeah. Absolutely. So we wanted you to be the voice of it. We wanted you to be, boom. We wanted it to be bigger than us. In fact, we didn't even want to own it. That was me and me and Mr. D came with like, I don't want to own it. So we have no problems. No. Not about money. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was like, hey, let's just make it where we, we do something positive. So my idea was we're all in the same gang, and I was going to have a speech. In the beginning of the speech, I wanted to do it in L.A. I bought rasaunite.org.com, and I wanted to do like a fist or the mural and put us on a thing and take a picture of all, oh, have you in the front, Tony, and everyone back. Like Kind of like when Big Pun and they did that, Cypress Hill and all them did that big old Latin 
thing, you know? Right, right, right. I want to do it in L.A. That's, and I want it, Tony G. Tony G knows. Yeah. And I love you, Tony G, and I love you, uh, Rich Garcia, Evelyn. I went to the practice, beautiful artist. And I and ALT, I said, man, I want, I got producers, I produce, I got a lot of people. I said, no, I want the man who started the game. On Chicano, yeah. it wasn't Chicano rap, but right. uh, Raza song. The movement, the foundation. Yes. I said, Raza, I wanted Tony G to make this beat so it's fucking classic. Yeah. To me, there's no one that, I got guys that you could, people could say, he's better, he's better. But when it comes to this, bam, that's the man, right? And I said, I need Rich motherfucking G, Rich Garcia, because... That's the voice, family yeah. affair. You know what of I mean? Course, of course. He's the man. I said, I need his voice to do the hook, and I need an ALT to help write the yeah. hook. It's almost like, uh, what was that Michael Jackson big thing? Uh, we are the world. We are the world. But not that corny. Of course. We weren't going to make it, hey, guys, just be friends. No. You're right. We were like, motherfucker, we're Chicano fucking. And we're here. We're here, motherfuckers. Fuck you guys. You know? Right. We want right. you to hear us. It sounds negative, but it's in a positive movement. Of course. You gotta make people hear you. Of course. It was like, we come together and motherfuckers listen. So my thing was bring all the food vendors, all the bullshit that's been happening with food vendors, all the disrespect. Yes, yes. And I wanted black people to be there. I wanted white people to be there. And I want us to all be in that. This, this is my, this is, again, going into music, going into the fantasy of the thought. Does it mean it's gonna happen? I'm trying to work hard. I know you're down with it. I know I got a nice phone call today. Kid Frost said he's down with it. So we need everyone to bring everyone together. Like Little Rob might not come because Royal T. But Little Rob has noticed and he knows I love him. But that's just shit. And he, he likes me too. He, you could you you he could be sitting at home going, and he goes, We did have some great times. You know what I'm saying? Right. We did travel to places no one knows the days that we all shared one fucking hotel room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? And there's still just like you and High C. You yeah, had beautiful times. So my 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 plan on my speech of that thing, I'm gonna tell you guys, and I tell everyone this shit. Okay, after this, we're gonna take a phone call. Okay. okay. So my put, thing was this. Put up that number, Johnny. I was gonna be like, Rasa! And the before the song, I have like all the I'm gonna have me, Capone, Mr. D Tony, we're all right here. And we have all the food vendors and all the Chicano rappers from everyone right here, right? Okay. Cameras everywhere. And we have the big you know, Rasa Unite on the wall. And I was like, Rasa! You know the difference between us and Black Lives Matter? Like, I go, when other people try to help them, they embrace it. All we do is talk shit. We need to have other people help us. I go, look at Mr. D. He's half white. You guys say, he's not a Chicano. He's not all Chicano. Look at Capone. He's Pakistani. You guys say, he's not Chicano. Me, Royal T, 100% Chicano. The Paisa say, he's a fucking pocho. You know what I'm saying? But us three, and Tony, we've put it down for the Raza more than anyone for the last 25 years. You know, no matter what angle. He's Pakistani, but you know what? He's down to die right. for Chicano. Not that I agree with him. Right. Or he agrees with me. Right. Same thing with Mr. D. Like, we, if, if, if we die tomorrow, all of us, what are they going to say Capone was? Oh, he rapped for the Chicano rap. Right. His Pakistani, oh, that guy right there is Chicano. A rapper. <laughs> the guy told me that before. That's how I found that he was Pakistani. It's another story. But a Pakistani said, hey, that guy is the same name as me. And he was a big time buyer of Chicano rap in Salt Lake City. No shit. Yeah. Okay. So, so you got to respect other people that help our culture. We, No one's fucking perfect. I mean, we come from a raped fucking thing. I mean, you could go into a piece of shit, Spaniards. That's right. why I hate the word Latino. We're not Latino. We're Chicano. We're Mexicans. Uh, Puerto Ricans, I have no problem with any race. But they don't have our same struggle. They're American citizens. Cubans, they used to be able to swim across the ocean and become Americans. They might have changed it now, but hey, if they told Mexicans, hey, you all got to just cross the ocean, we'd build a fucking bridge with a taco shop on the motherfucker. Right. I'd be eating, you know? Exactly. So, we don't have, you know... They let South Americans come here and they could kill people and everything and still keep them here. Mexicans, we come, they stole our land. They fucking left out of the history books. We come take care of the kids, cut the grass, build the fucking houses. And they said, no. We could even go to the military. And they said, nah, 
you guys can't stay in your land. Yeah. So we don't have the, the problem as Latinos. Right. So when another race helps us, what do you look at Black Lives Matter? All I see in the parades are white people. Right? I'll see three or four black brothers looting. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, but, you, you know what? But, I, I have... So why can't we use other people to help bring our cause forward? And I'm not against any Black Lives Matter. I'm not against white people. I'm not against anything. I'm only going to stand for what the fuck I am. Yeah. Yeah. I can say, hey, I respect that. I respect that. Yeah. I wish our people were more organized. I wish that. But I can't. So when you people go, oh, you're, you sound racist. No, motherfucker, I'm Chicano. You're racist. Look at the history books. They right. left us the fuck out. Right. They put blacks, Indians, and whites, but left Chicanos, they left Mexicans out. This is right. our fucking land. <laughs> let's, take a, let's take a call. Okay, let's take a call. Uh, Johnny Boy, uh, whenever you're ready, let me know. Oh, man. Whenever somebody reads your I hope your you motherfuckers are drinking. Yo, yo, caller, you there? Yep, I'm on. Turn us on, yes, Tony. Sir. Hey, Tony, level. can I smoke right here or what? No, no, hell no. Oh, uh, man, that's a good indoor masters, my homie right here. Hold on, he caller. some on. of the best pre-rolls in the goddamn building. Caller, you there? What's the name? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name, bro? Where you calling from? Hey, what's going on, Tony? This is Wise. What's up, I'm Wise? from uh, Oceanside. Oh, Oceanside. man, Oceanside, Oceanside in the building. Go for it. That's right, brother. That's right. Seven six zero. I uh, I wanted to ask you. So I uh, I got I heard that uh, back in the nineties you were shopping around that uh, GPA and Brown uh, tape, and I just wanted to see whatever became of that. You talking to me or Tony? Are you? Oh, uh, talking to Royal. Yeah. Okay. Um. No, I never shopped the, the, that album. I've um, I've sold. Uh, I had my record store, so I had everyone's CD. And GPA was always a great artist, and I was introduced to him by Mr. Little One. And I would, right. I never met him. I don't know if he had a family. Like, I really never met him. I might have met him, maybe at my store one time, but, and we were so close. He was in Paradise Hills, and my store was in National City, and my, my other store was in Spring Valley. So it's just, I don't know if he was a family man, young, but I really met him just through Little One. But okay. his music was great, and I seen him doing some podcasts now, and, uh, Nothing but nothing but love. All good, homie. All, All good. All right, that's cool, man. Hey, Tony, I gotta ask you, man. When are you gonna bring that homie on? What homie is this? GPA, man. Who else? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I thought you were still talking to Royal, but oh. as far as GPA, look. Um, if I remember, I tell everybody to submit their music. Okay, I don't do the bookings anymore. The people who look uh, or a part of my team who look at the music, here's what they require. Uh, not only music, but if you have a video, submit a video. If you have a bio, submit a short bio. That way we know what we're going to talk about. Um, what I did, I asked around about GPA, and somebody told me that he only had one song. I don't know if that's true or not. So the thing is, oh, man. Not, not just with him, but with any artist. I just cannot interview somebody that has one song. But, but it sounds like, obviously, he has more. Let me, so he, he had a few songs. He's been on, Tony, on a, lot of, lot of little ones, projects. Okay. And Brown, I, I, I just refreshed my ears, brother. Um, I refreshed mm -hmm. my drink. I refreshed my... It <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll um, go hand in hand. <laughs> my cheeks. But um, Brown is an incredible drawer. He's drawn some of Night House covers, drawn some of my covers. And he was a rapper. That's right. But he also... What was the company he worked for that did a lot of t-shirts? Tribal. Tribal. You heard of Tribal? Mm -mm. Oh, Tribal is one of the biggest... Lot, I hate the word Latin. Mexican clothing thing. I mean, they've been in all the Las Vegas things. They're a big store. Tribal. Look okay. at Tribal. That's right. On Logan Avenue. Yep. They have an actual store and they're actually worldwide. They're, they've been okay. in, they've been in uh, Walmarts. They've been in a they major, for like 25 years. As long as, um, what's the big guy in LA? Your, your homie. Uh, cartoon. Cartoon. Just okay. the same level. And. I mean, major sales, Mi okay. multi-million. But look, bro, I I, I don't know uh, if you want to submit it, bro. Go ahead and submit it to rodeoradio@gmail.com, bro, uh, and have him or you submit uh, maybe some of his videos or some of his music and a short bio, and then we'll get to it, man. But just keep in mind that we're always booked right, between sure. a month and a half to two months ahead of time, bro. And the only time you may see somebody right. as like a surprise guest is because somebody canceled. So. But other than that, thank you, brother. All right. All right. Thank you, brother. Okay. Ocean side, homie. Hey, stay I appreciate up. you guys taking the time to answer this question, thank, man. Thank you, brother. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. And one okay. other thing I want to tell everyone, on the next break, go check out, if you're not checking out Tony's commercial, you check them out all month, the Miss Sancha new 
Baddest bitch in the neighborhood video just hit on my YouTube page, official little pro. No fake numbers, okay. no this. Real shit. Make sure you check out the video. One more call, tonight. Johnny, and then we're going to go to break. Go. Caller, how you doing? Caller, what you, what's your name and where you calling from? Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Randy Mendoza from uh, East Arizona. Man, you sound excited for Tony Naked. What's going on, homie? <laughs> hey, no, no. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Royal. Hey, what up, dog? Hey, hey. What's I, up, I, homie? I love Royal Pro Proud, dog. I, 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 <clears throat> sorry. That's I, what's I, up. I missed your record to know. Yeah. You know, the, the best one I, I thought was the, was the Lil Rob, Mr. Sancho. Uh, uh, oh, the mix. The mix uh, tape. AKL, oh, man. That's, oh, that's tight. That's tight. Oh, my God, man. That was the best. <laughs> no, <laughs> Thank and, you, homie. And, uh, t t and uh, I've been, I've, <laughs> I've been to, to the radio show, too. Hey, hey, Tony, hey, hey, I, I hope you get on, on that, that royalty for Tony and Mr. D. Um, be the DJ man to do for their retirement. That's it. I'm, I'm waiting for that. Oh, well, man. Well, well, we're down for that, bro. And if that ever happens, I know we'll tour everywhere. So we'll most likely hit AZ. Oh, yeah. Definitely, homie. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely, hell, hell yeah, man. So we, and, we, and it won't just yeah. be us. We're going to bring a whole tour with that. If that uh, I'm, look, at Capone invited me tonight to go to L.A. after the show oh. have dinner. I told him, yeah. I'm going to be faded. Right. I'm in, I, I said, let's set up this week and let's have a sit down. And, right. we could, and we'll bring Mr. D and we'll chop it up and then we'll come to you and we'll see where we go. And I, I you know who I want? Who's that? And I was talking to um, the homie right here, your, your homie right here. Um, yeah. I, I would definitely want a solo track. Not because you know why? I, I At first I never heard of him. So when you guys were talking about him, we had a... And then I had to go check into the guy is working hard. Right. And I love that. Because okay. that's mm -hmm. what I've been telling you about. So, Lazy artists, that man. I'm seeing him everywhere. Right. I'm like, damn. Yeah. That motherfucker's getting this. All right, brother. Thank you, man, for the call. We greatly appreciate it, bro. Stay tuned, bro. Oh, thank, thank, hey, thank you, man. I love you thank guys, you, man. Man. All right, thank brother. You, thank oh, you. Thank man. You. Tell oh, your girl. Say what's up. Let's take one more. <laughs> okay. Uh, one like more. Like uh, we're good. waiting for anybody to call. There it is right there. Uh, color, color, my vertigas in your ear. Can I help you? Bang, 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 bang. Hello. Hello, hello. What's your name and where are you calling from? I don't know. Someone said I'm a bootleg sugar night. No, homie, I'm still in business. Yeah. Sorry. Caller. He wish he could bootleg okay, something to make some money. Hello, caller. What's up? What's hey. up, brother? What's your name and where are you calling from, bro? My name is Harvey G. I'm from Colorado. Colorado, Colorado. where all the ladies swallow. Okay, go ahead. What's up, homie? <laughs> That's, I love Colorado. What's going down, homie? Hell yeah. Give me a question. Just Give me a question. To, uh -huh. I want to know if, how, if you know him being from San Diego and stuff. Is he ever going to work with Stalker Loco or Save Yourself or Mister Little or Little Mystery from Fucking Fools Gone Wild? Well, Little Mystery, uh, we we would I would definitely mm -hmm. love to work with him. And Stalker, he's worked with us before and, and um, on an OG Spanish Fly album, remember? and he, he's a solid motherfucker and he's been doing it for a city, and um, you know. That's what I got. Every every time I heard the dude, he was solid. So, so that, there's your there's oh, your yeah, answer. That, that shit, that shit's fire from the MT and stuff like that. But big up to everybody doing what they're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gracias, homie. Most definitely, most definitely, brother. Thank you for the call, bro. Truly appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. We're gonna okay. take one more. No, 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 we're good. You wanna we'll, take one more? When we come back. Okay. Here's what we're but gonna before do, we bro. go, now, now, now let me. I, I gotta go with my notes real quick. Okay, we got a lot of stuff I'm going to tell you guys. I know, but who, who are we going to bring? We're going to bring up Miss Sancho right now. And, and, and I want to I wanna, I wanna bring up some stuff right now. Oh, Miss Sancho, we're sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, tell her to come inside. I need, I need to uh, quote some things real quick. But um, so Miss Sancho, and, and I'm going to tell you guys in a minute. She, we're going to bring her out. And we're going to explain everything because people have never seen Miss Sancha. They never heard of her. But her records are sold most than, more than any Chicano rapper, pretty much. Really? Like, our first record was for fun. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you guys, because we're going to bring her out, but I'm going to tell you guys a story. I wanted a girl rapper for the Mr. Sancho record to do a song with Miss. So I made a name Miss Sancha. I made, I made a name Miss Sancha. And I had a couple girls try to rap, and they couldn't do it. And then I went to a studio, and this girl was spitting fire. They called her the West Coast Queen. And I said, hey, girl, can you rap this? 
like try this rap. I I have some nasty rap. She's nah. I rap my own, I rap my own shit, and she's. I was like, yeah, but can you rap like what I'm talking about? You know, and she's like, uh, she, she was a little difficult. She was she was famous. I mean, she was she had money. You know, she she had more money than us. I think at the time. You know, she had a tour bus, her picture all over the fucking thing, and she looked at us. She was cocky. You know, she'd come in there and just look at us like we were like, like we were Chicano rap and we were. We were chopped liver, and she was, and she was. So she was spinning fire, right? And um, I, I, I made so many jokes. You know, when I make jokes, I mean, I, 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 you hate me, Tony, and I make you love me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just joking. But uh, so, so she said, you know, I'll try it, and it sounded great. And I'm gonna tell. We have no lies in Low Pro. I told her, change your voice a little bit. Just a little bit, because I don't want him to think it's you. I want it to be this. And we did one song. And everyone fucking loved it. Yeah. They went crazy. So I said, what's up, girl? You want to do an album? She said, Roy, I'm signed. I got $300,000 advance. I got a fucking tour bus. I just went on tour to New York everywhere. I mean, she was the snow, the product of that time, meaning, meaning everyone was loving her. Yeah, yeah. And I said, you know, let's try it. She's like... Nah, she goes, I go, well, I could give you some cash if you want. She goes, well, I'm my deal. And I said, and she came in one day and said, you know what? I'll do it for this amount if you want to try it. And I was like, okay. And so I did it. Me and Fingers, her, we came with, I, I, I'm the net. She writes all the shit. I come with nasty concepts. Right, and, right. And this and that. And then as we were talking, she was a stripper. Her dad's for. From L.A. What was he from, girl? He's actually from Born in Whittier. Her pops. And so we did Daddy's Little Girl. You know, all the songs became true life in the hood. And she ended up loving it because she started writing about stuff that she wasn't doing for her mainstream product. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And so she was like, bro, you... I, I, like, she started calling me because she started feeling it like, this is my life. This is my life. You don't know my life. You know And I'm like? Damn. And she did the tribute songs to her pops. And the girls went bananas. Like, you know who I call the new Miss Sancho is? It's two people. Not Miss Crazy became a phenomenon for the women. And Miss Sancho at first was the biggest phenomenon. Girls, like, every, every guy... Sorry, ladies. You guys know, I, I know ladies so much from the music business teaches you a lot of things. Fakeness and girls are more aggressive than any guy. All these girls, the guy's going to cheat. Most of these guys are, my, you know, and uh, I don't want to say anything. You might get banned, but, you know, they're my, and, and, the, and the girls are aggressive. I mean, girls could fuck more than guys. They do. You know, guys be like, my girl's at her sister's house. Yeah, homie, I got three homies training both of them. I mean, this shit really happens, but guys don't want to believe this shit. It's and the it, truth. I mean, I don't want to put you on the spot, but, Tony, but how many girls are, are Mr. One? We'll, we'll tell you, Tony. We'll, we'll go to other people. This ain't your real life. I'm never, how many guys have fucked girls at their pad where the kid was sleeping or the, or the man of the house was at work? I mean, Mr. One, tell us. We can smell Mr. One's fingers from earlier. I mean, these, <laughs> these things happen. And it's all because the girls made it happen. Guys can't, they can't say, I'm willing to fuck. We know guys are willing to fuck. Of course. They're on the street corner, I'm willing to fuck. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a Girls fuck. Girls say, I'm willing to fuck. I'm, like, hey, I'm there. You know? You got Mr. One jumping through windows and shit. Is your husband outside? You know? The husband, he's a killer. He's from the gang of gangs. He's, he's going to come murder you. Okay, let me get a few pumps in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's still willing to try. We talked about a beautiful boxer I met in Albuquerque. Yeah. Uh, what was his name, homie? Johnny Tapio? No, no, Johnny Tapio, that's his family, but Asito, he ended up dying over fucking pussy. Oh, yeah, so we talked about that, yeah. Yeah, he, he ended up getting uh, killed, if, if I'm correct, what yes. you told me, and over some, some panocha. Yeah. Over <laughs> some panocha. So, so anyways, so they all, they had girls embrace, like they're talking about my life, because girls, everyone puts them as a little princess. Right, 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 right. But it, that ain't real life. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Every, guys and girls are the same. And girls, look, at, I, I told people like this. I, I hate to tell all my secrets of life why I can fuck anyone's wife or any girl, you know, married. No, 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 no. 
No, it's not, I don't just talking shit. Of know? course, of course. Go ahead. But how many of you ever heard any guy crying over a girl artist? Oh, my God, I need to marry her. <laughs> Never. But girls that say I know one. I know one dude, oh, but maybe. go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's your personal fan. But anyways. <laughs> but any girl from seven, eight years old, their parents are like, they, he, she loves Justin Bieber. Yes, mama, I love Justin Bieber. She would want to marry him. She wants to have his baby. You know, the girl knows nothing about sex. Just the thought. You never hear a guy talking like that. Right, right, right. How many girls would cry over Michael Jackson? Oh, my God. We would sing, we go do tour, me and Sancho would do Meant to Be. His song, girls are crying in the front row like, oh, poor Sancho. His girl died. You know, and it's a fake song I made up. But it's, right, you know, right, right. And, and, and it's like they cry. So, so what I'm trying to tell you, girls have always been <laughs> more than any guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, we used to be on tour. You saw some of my tour shit. Yeah. And I'm not going to say names. I'm just going to say we'd be in Tucson, Phoenix, all these small towns. And back then, they don't have big, big hotels. It's like two stories. So you can see out the balcony. You can see. And guys would prove, hey, bro. You'd be like, what's up, homie? Like, can you sign my girl's poster? Because we draw posters, you know? Yeah, homie, send her up. All right, dog. And I'm talking to the dude on there. And he'll be out there waiting for two hours. And the girls just come. There's a go, 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 just sucking cock. One after another artist. Oh, she's coming right now, homie. The last homie signing her autograph. Big old go, nut go, on go, the go, face. Go, 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 boom, boom, boom. Send him home. And the dude's like, hey, thank you, guys. We're like, no, thank you. <laughs> but, and the girls acting all innocent. And they even might hit us up. I mean, I used to do my radio show. If people know my radio show, I used to talk a lot of shit, and girls used to call, and I would always go, hey, you guys want, you know, we used to have fuck parties. I mean, this is when we're famous. We're not famous, whatever. And girls would call and be like, um, oh, my sons are watching. Just joking. But anyways, so so artists would call. <laughs> he's just playing. Just playing. You know, you know dad, he's crazy. But anyways, uh, um, we would have... Uh, Girls would call in and want to bang all my artists, you know? Really? Just on the, just in two minutes, from MySpace days to now, two minutes you can know where the girl's mind wants to go. When you're an artist, you can just see different things. Because they tell you, they think you're special. They forget that we're just dirty motherfuckers, you know what I mean? That could do some rap, you know? Right, right, right. And they, they think, wow, he must be educated, you know? <laughs> educated. Yeah. yeah, so... They tell us things, and they're like, hey, my man's at work, he's boring, he's this, he's that. All the same, oh, yeah, girl? Yeah, he don't even fuck me. You know, they always lie, but like, of course. you know. And, and, like, and, and for some, that probably is true, though. We it believe pro that. It probably you know? is true. <laughs> so you know, Why else like, would they be calling? Yeah, and I'm like, whoa, you want to come and hick hick with the homies and shit? You know, we pull trains and make people chew bubble gum, no hands, you know? All kind of shit. So, these the, so I had this one, it was a big radio show I had, and I'm going to play all the old ones, but this guy would, was a fan too, and I'd be like, hey, homie, you, and we didn't do nothing with this girl, first of all. Did it just mainly, we just go, wow. We, we, the, everything, is, it's just funny to hear this shit, you know? Right, right, right. We're sitting there going, boom, our wife's in the background going, yeah, right, motherfucking, you said dumb, dirty bitch, you know? So we're right here, and this, uh, this guy told me, homie, oh, my girl's a good girl. I go, homie, your girl's been calling. She's down to fuck the homie. Not my girl, homie. I go, okay, watch this. And I did this on the radio show live. Brr, what's up, girl? What's up? Hey, you want to fuck the homies this week? We're going to party, girl. You want to? Hell yeah. And I'm like, what's up, homie? You hear that? So fuck you, bitch. Blah, 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 blah. And they started finding out. It's a classic thing on my radio show. No shit. We used to do that shit. Like some stations do with the give right. fake roses. You know, I want to give it to my favorite girlfriend. It's not their wife. Right. And, and we just, it was the opposite, though. So uh -huh. it was just funny. So we learned a lot of shit being on tour. So these girls... Love Miss Sanchez. She was like the first too short. Nasty. Well, we're about to bring her out. Well, 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 let me tell you things about her real quick. Okay. She's been in movies. I told you that earlier. Right. She's been in End of Watch, Monday. She's been in Training Day stuff. She's she's a fool. In fact, her new stuff, and this is crazy for me. She knows I'm pissed off. Right. I got drunk and I had to confess my feelings. Okay. <laughs> because I'm a... I'm a maniac. I handle my shit. I get the album covers done. I do the pictures. I get all this shit done. And I get I get the mixing and mastering done. And I went and got everything done. She said, no, no. I'm doing it. I'm like, huh? 
And then she wasn't doing it the way I wanted it. And I she wasn't doing I wasn't doing it the way she wanted because she's an actual producer. Okay. She's produced a lot of some of the Chicano rappers. She's produced a lot of famous people. Eric B and Rakim. I mean, she's she's producing uh some of their artists, singing artists, right, girl? Yeah. And and she's also uh let me give you what else she she also used to go by Brown Sugar. That was her first rap name. She toured with J V. You remember the Bobby Roth Avila? Yeah, of course. They produced for Janet Jackson and all that. That was her first boyfriend. One of the Avila, which one was it, girl? It was actually Izzy. Izzy Avila. You know, <laughs> they wrote for Janet. Who else they write for? Who You know the Avila. They, of course. Major, course. major. Al Jabbar. One of them. those guys, I think it was um, Bobby, if I'm correct. I think it was him. It was one of the first guys that I ever heard play Talk Box. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah, mm -hmm. him. And that yeah. was, their dad had her practicing, performing, and go to the shows and, you know, this is like regular ABC now, but going side to side on the stage, you know, you don't stand in one place. You dance. Of course. You here and, and trying to make her a big, even taking her to church, right? They took you to church and try to get you on the church and, mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like so she sings. I got a singing song right now by her. Okay. That I'll show you after. And if I got this to Lady Gaga, I'm talking 20 million records sold. Okay. Like, not a fucking, I'm talking about nothing to do with Chicano rap, nothing to do with hip hop, a crazy, what's the the fat girl that got skinny from London? What's her name? What's that fat girl? I don't know, Oprah? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Adele. 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 Adele, okay, okay. That style of music. And, and her brother was the first gay artist on American Idol. He blew up, he's a drag queen performing everywhere. I mean, this dude's performing all over the world. Lives in Hollywood, major. Yeah. What's his name, girl? Yeah. Adore Delano. Uh, Danny Noriega. Danny, Danny Noriega, Noriega, and his artist name is? Adore Delano. Yeah, he's a drag queen singer who, he was on the Ruth Paul show. No shit. So this singing song, I thought I heard Rainbow Deep. Mm. It's the singing song, and I said, that should be the title, girl. She goes, I don't even say that. I said, it sounds like it. <laughs> that one part. So I'm just saying, because we've had a lot of the gay community Hit us up. And I'm like, hello? Hey. I'm like, what's going on? You know? <laughs> My mustache gets longer. Hey, what's up, homie? Are you down with the gay community? Well, you know my motto. You know, and they're like, what? And I'm like, the more gays, the more pussy for me. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Bring them in the ball, be gay. You know, most Chicano rappers are gay. You know, anyway. So, uh, okay, we're gonna go pause right there. We're oh, gonna come. Oh, no, 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 no. I want you to say all of that when she she's here. Was Kid Frog. I know, I know, but I want you to say that when she's here. Okay. The, the fans wanna see. The they fans. wanna see the real Miss Sancha? Yes. Go watch the video, but if you wanna see the Miss Sancha, she's gonna be right here right now. Right now, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let's go to some fucking. Hey, John motherfucking Alkins. Woo woo. Let's get some fucking commercials rolling. Let's make some motherfucking money in this building. Yo, make sure Tony, you call somebody, take somebody, slap the shit out of somebody, let them know that Royal Tits is in the motherfucking house. Oh, be man. back in Tits 10 minutes. Worth a million dollars. I love those titties. smile i want to thank oxydental that's oxydental hollywood so check this out for all your dental needs be sure to come to them because they'll be there to take care of you that's oxydental in hollywood check them out i 
and dog breeders, dog owners, and dog lovers. We are a family-owned, locally operated brown business right here in the Harbor area of Los Angeles, Southern California. We transport and relocate pets locally out of state and our specialty coast to coast. Breeders, we ground transport your puppy to your buyer while you stay at home stress-free. If you are now owner and you are moving out of state, let us take care of your dog and meet you at your new home. On the road, we stay in pet-friendly hotels so when they reach their new destination, they are clean and well-rested. If you are a dog lover looking to buy a puppy from a breeder but don't want to make that long drive, we got you. We transport pups by crate safe and sound. Sometimes allow their adult dogs to ride crate free in our brand new spacious sprinter van. We feed them, walk them, send photos and videos and share our location via Google Maps so you can see us cruising in real time. Check us out on Instagram at to live and drive in LA or give us a call at 424-378-9471. Call somebody, check somebody, slap the shit out of somebody. Let them know that Rodian Radio is live up in this biatch. biatch.
Cambodian radio. The patties are popping, and it's non-stopping. Tony the Wizard. somebody.
This is your Theo on Rhodium Radio. Pull your panties to the side and enjoy the ride. Tony A, the wizard. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Rodeo Radio, episode 115. And this is the podcast that slaps your cross your fat ass with a fat ass dick. And uh, once again, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump butt naked right into it. We got a special guest in the motherfucking building. And uh, let me go ahead and introduce them Royalty and Miss Sancha. Well, Tony A and Royalty. <laughs> I love sucking gangster dick, but I am Miss Sancha. Sorry to break all your hearts. What? She's not Miss Sancha? It's me. I'm Miss Sancha. You guys said I'm Miss Sancha. <laughs> you look better in person. Thank you. 
Wow. Nice tits. <laughs> nice tits. Re Thank really you. nice tits. Very wow. expensive. Well, nice to meet you, Tony A. <laughs> well, nice to meet you too. You've been a big I mystery see you here. I my strip club. Yes, plenty of times. <laughs> you wanted to give me a lap dance. <laughs> well, let's bring on the real Miss. <laughs> Oh, 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 someone's expensive hair. Whose hair is this? It's my hair. Okay, so is this Miss Sancha? No, this is one of Miss Sancha's uh, good friends. You okay. Miss I mean? Sancha's good friends and uh, acquaintances and um, I would say, as I call them, uh, salt patch. <laughs> Salalito. Wow, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I am salty. I Miss promise the home you that. <laughs> this shit is sweet like sugar. Oh, Miss the home girl. Okay. Well, we're going to bring on... Okay, well, let's give her her name. This is Marky. Marky. Yeah. How are you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your you. Instagram? Let me know your Instagram. Oh. She's big on TikTok. <laughs> okay. Baby doll Mia. Baby her doll Mia. Her sister left earlier because her man drove all the way from New York on his chopper <laughs> because she heard he was, she was here with Tony A. <laughs> and she was going to come and eat breakfast, you know. Booty and <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> breakfast? Is that what we're calling? Are we serving up breakfast? Break bread. Yeah, yeah. And um, her man came on his chopper driving a wheelie and shit. Looked like the fire. What do you call that guy? Damn. Oh, uh, 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 fuck. A ghost rider. Ghost rider. Yeah. That's right. No so, shit. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to bring the real Miss Sancho right now. And I told you guys, she's a complete artist. It's not just Miss Sancho. She's also another artist. She's also a singer, an actress, full thing. And now we ready to go full throttle. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, if you guys watch the new video, you go to the littleprofilerecords.com website or go to our YouTube. Check out our new baddest bitch in the neighborhood. Hopefully you guys will watch it during the breaks and during the show, after the show. Let's bring on the real Miss Sancha. Pleasure meeting you, Marky. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you love second nature. I said, oh, nice to know. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so, who, so who's coming you on next? Gang Tony? <laughs> we had to go gangbang right now. Yeah? I, I'm retired, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm already collecting a... Collect gangster dick. I'm already collecting a pension, homie. Oh, you okay. you know, oh, yeah, you're 50. I forgot your shirt. You're 52. 52 years old. Yeah, yes, sir. My grandpa. I love being a grandpa. I know you I do, love too. It. I love so, it. So, okay, so who, who are we bringing in next? Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> Here she Miss is. Miss Sancha in, in the, the building. <laughs> in the motherfucking Ooh, building. We got Miss Sancha right here. And also for the fans that, that, you know, we have a lot of fans that they've been asking for years. And tell them your name, your artist, girl. Well, my name is Monique Noriega, Noriega, but I go by Dia Monique and Miss Sancha. I have different sides to me, so. So Miss Sancha has one side of you. That's a, that's one side of me. That's the stripper side of me. Dope, mm -hmm. dope. Okay, now let me ask you this. How long have you been knowing Royal? And if you can remember, what year did you meet him in? I probably met Royal like in 2003 when I was doing my, my album. Okay. Working with Fingers. Going up to the uh, studio there, and he would, him and Low Pro would be up there, and uh, I'd go out to their studio, and you know, it would get pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, "Girl, I need you to be Miss Sancha." She'd be like, "Royal, I'm signed." You know what I mean? I'm right. Boom. Yeah. But she goes, "I love it." But yeah. <laughs> and I said, "I can't," you know. And she, I, I go, "Come on, girl," and she was like. I'll do it, but you can't say it's me because you're gonna fuck up my yeah. my business. Right, right. And we didn't. And her and me myself, we didn't know where this was gonna go. No. Right. But we knew that it was real. She loved. It started as fun, like a like a like a joke. Right. Yeah. Kind of like lean like a troller when they did that in Finger Studio. Right. Like, you know, it was Finger's masterpiece on that. You know. Yeah. And it started as a, come on, girl. And then when she felt it, her life came real like it, it 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 really was she felt freedom in writing right. and she felt freedom in, and i don't mean to talk for you but she felt freedom in being able to get out things that girls don't normally talk about yeah. and right. it was easier to talk about it because she wasn't being seen or judged as a person okay so she got to right. be free and i got to get it off like without people knowing that it was really me yeah but it was really like what i was experiencing in life 
as a stripper, as a hustler, as a, a gangster ass bitch doing shit, you know, setting fools up, <laughs> setting setting tricks up, well, getting, to... getting their money, doing what I got to do. Entrepreneur. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There you go, Tony. That's, hey, that's you the know right what's word. It's funny. I'm going to tell you guys, and this is no disrespect, but Capone's first tour bus, she gave it to him. That was her old tour bus. No shit. <coughs> my yeah. my investor at the time, I like when I did my first album. Yeah, I found my my mission was to find someone in the strip club that was gonna finance my album. Oh, okay. And so that's what I did. I found someone in there that, that believed in me, and he put up the money, and then um, he got me a tour bus. Uh, we went on tour and everything, and then I don't oh, know. I'm gonna I, tell my tour bus. I'm gonna cut you off. Okay, go ahead. Her tour bus was so sick, and. I was a little jealous because we'd pull up. <laughs> I got 20 guys with me. And there's this girl out hustling all of us. She pulls up her fingers. We're, we're, we're like all rapping. We're, we're thinking we're bad. You know, we're strapped up. She's gold chains. <laughs> pull out the Hummer. She pulls up in the tour bus with her whole album cover on it. This is before anyone did it. This is before Capone and all the guys had their or name. Or Little Rob. Anybody did it. Yeah. So she I pulls up and she goes, oh, it's my tour bus. I'm like, wow. We're like, Okay. And then she goes, hold on. Pulls out a stage off the side. And the top pops it has the speak speakers already from, from the bottom put speakers. And she performs here and performs on, on the top, top of the thing. Mm -hmm. So she would go Post to all the festivals and perform. On top of the bus, like it was a stage. <laughs> wow. I had speakers like a PA system set up on uh -huh. top. And I would perform and post up. And then just go anywhere and post up. And like we'd just bring a crowd. Oh shit! That's crazy. So, do you, do you happen to have any video or pictures of any of that? I stuff? do, and I'm actually putting together a documentary of my life right now. Yeah. So I'm going through footage right now, and I, I have a, some stuff of that, like me pulling up to gas stations, the lowrider shows, like different places, with the bus, and just going and performing at the top, and everyone's tripping out, like, "Who the fuck is this?" <laughs> 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 like, um, yeah. That's so when cool. I saw that, homie, I was like. My artists are gonna fucking tell Roy, where's our bus? And I'm like, I can barely got us to the studio, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, Scooby Doo guy. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Push, homie. Why are we pushing? Because, you know, just to see your strength, homie, you're tough. You know? <laughs> and the motherfucker backfired. Yeah, 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 you know? So she's, you know, that's, that's the the power of me and Miss Sancho would say, yeah. the power of pussy. pussy. You know? <laughs> Pussy's powerful, yeah. baby. That, that is money. That is money. Run yeah, exactly. Me. So, okay, so let, let me ask a question. When you first recorded that first album and you saw the response, what, what, what did you think? Like, I mean, was it, was it like, um, how would you say, fuck, these motherfuckers are really buying it. I mean, they, they're, they're really feeling it. I honestly, at that time, I was so into what I was doing with Diamonique. Yeah. Yeah. That I wasn't really paying attention as much. We have two separate views on this. Okay. I wasn't paying attention as much. And like, because I was in my own little world. You know, like as yeah. a young artist, you know, young artists, they're like big headed. They're cocky. They Very. think they're the shit. And I was that at the Bigger time. Than my head. I was that at the time. It's and big. I was just like, you know, <laughs> but I wasn't paying no mind to it. And then um, it was fun. I had fun doing it. And. Royal came back was like, let's do another one. I'm like, fuck it, like, yeah. let's do it, you know, like, and it was on the low, you know. I had I had a deal going, and he was like, well, we'll just let's do another one. I said, all right, cool. It was fun. I had fun doing it. And not like I said, I was able to to get my shit off as the the stripper life that I led. Right. You know, like, and and then it just went. It took off, and I didn't really pay attention as much. And then the third one. It was like, at that time, I was kind of like a cross of where, like, with Diamonique. I didn't really want to, um, I don't know. I, I got tired of, like, everyone in my ear. Like, oh, come here, come here, do this, do that. And it, I felt like uh, there was a lot of fake shit, you know, like yeah. the Hollywood shit. And I was like, do I want this? Do I not? It was teeter-tottering. Do I yeah. want it? talking in the Dominique world. Right, right. Yeah, like, she was right. mainstream. Like, and I, I, I was, like, right there. Like, I could have had it. But I don't think I wanted it because I don't think I was ready for it. Yeah. And because I didn't like a lot of the things that I was experiencing with the people around me. And yeah. Like, so I was like, no, fuck this, you know? So, yeah. So I still did music, but I didn't like, 
I didn't, I like, I, I was still doing my Diamonique thing, but I wasn't, like, pushing it as hard. I started taking, like, a backseat and doing, like, um, videos and, and editing and okay. producing Producer. and making beats and doing things behind the scene. And I right. loved it. It was, I was being creative, being able to get my creativity out still. Right. And I didn't have to be out in, like, the you know the scene where everyone's right. knowing all my shit. Right. So I liked it. Her and whole setup is just like fingers. Okay. Yeah. And she became the girl. Fingers. I I I got a lot of game from fingers and yeah. the Avila brothers. Yeah. And even quick, yeah. DJ Quick when I worked with him, just just watching people, um, I learned a lot, and um, I don't know. I like the behind the scenes. I like, right, right, right. And um, you you said something really quick that I just want to touch on because say that some young girl. Uh, wants to sing or she wants to rap maybe she's 16 17 18 years old is it very hard to make it in industry being a female definitely uh, it's a it's a man's world you know it's a man's it's a man's sport it, it is <laughs> but it's nothing without a woman you know right. like no yeah. that's why we're a good team you know like he balances well balances me out right and i think we, we're gonna do good like this time around since i'm i'm coming out as sancha and, right. you know? and she took full charge. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm a control freak. <laughs> no, he's not. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I am a control freak, cool. meaning because I dealt with too many lazy motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This girl works as hard as me, and yeah, I'm like... I don't go to sleep. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, you know, just dick. And I'm very... <laughs> but but um, I, I have my team that I've been... My, my my Mario Toltec does all my graphics. I mean, no one does anything with I do it with them. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Steve Vicious, who mastered hammers and all our credible stuff, always made it sound beautiful. And it doesn't happen just because like when people call fingers to get a beat like mine, they don't they don't know. How. I give them a you know, fingers. I give them a pain in the I'm a pain in the ass. Right, right. I like it my way. You know, I'm Burger King. You know what I right, mean? Exactly. And so Steve will send me a mix, and it never will sound right the way I like it. So I like. Change this, change this, change this, do that. I like mm -hmm. this number. At a minute, 30 seconds, I didn't like this. Can you fix this? And they were like, oh, okay. Patient. They have, and I have no patience. They have a critical patience. She has less patience than me. Oh, really? So, <laughs> so I, get, a lot of patience. I, I get a me. mix in. <laughs> and, I, I, and I'm, and she could tell you, we have a, we have a fifth, we're partners. Yeah. And I have... And and I'm transparent, meaning I'm like you can see everything. I don't need to hide nothing. Right, I don't right, care. Right. I I love this, you know. And I told her, so I sent her the mix without me even changing anything. I knew it wasn't right, but I wanted this. Right. I just got in. She's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna do it right now myself. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna give her some changes. No, I'm gonna do it my way. <laughs> and she took it apart, started there, sent it to me. I'm, no, I don't like it. I'm gonna send it to my guy. No, I'm gonna try it again. Like, I don't like it. I'm gonna say, my guy, like we did, like for a week back and forth. I'm yeah, like, a week. oh, I got a time. I got time. Yeah. I'm gonna be at Tony A's. I'm gonna release this record. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm biting my. And then I did the artwork, and I told you, um, what's his name? L.A. Icon. He shot the video. Shot the video. She, dope. she, thing. He did a good dope job. video came out tonight. But I wasn't ready to work with girls and knowing the makeup, knowing this. I'm used to working with dudes. We get a time and bam, let's get it done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's a process when you're dealing with women. Yeah, right. and this, okay. yeah. this you time the makeup, the hair, the like, yeah. it's different. I, I, I want. I mean, I, I just tried my hair on right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Exactly. You look like <laughs> <laughs> took me around two minutes, but da, da, you know. But uh, we <laughs> so your son even helped me. I mean, like, my spook, the way you know. Oh wow! <laughs> nice to meet your gay son. Oh, yeah. Joking. Right, uh, joking, brother. His son is not gay. Let me yeah, tell you. Yeah. I know he was attacking everybody <laughs> out there. You know, <laughs> it wasn't the only fish in the trays that he wanted to get at. You know, they, but anyway, so back you to look nice with the wig, though. You, huh? you look nice with the wig, though. Well, thank you, thank you, Tony. You got your now, I want to take a picture with you. <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> you yeah. know, just for your late nights. But anyway, <laughs> yes. But uh, so even with the artwork, because she does videos. She did the commercial we put on there. Anyone needs commercials. Right. She does audio, video, everything. So I told her, I told her, um, I said, here's the picture. And the pictures, because he took a fast, because again, I wasn't ready for women as far as, I'm always ready for women. But not right, right. <laughs> waiting for the makeup. I'm like, get naked. I'll care. They're like, no, I got to put this on. You're going to take it off anyways. You know? And anyway, so I'm watching the whole shit. And I, I went professional this time. I said, let's not have no break. Let's get some girls. 
from the agency, you know what? Let's shoot it in LA at a, at a, at a studio. She said, I like icons, so let's get them then. Boom, whatever you want to get. I didn't know these girls had a time limit. I'm used to girls wanting to kick it all right, night, right, right, party. Right. This girl like, who are you? You're another in royalty. I'm like, huh? you know, and I'm like, but I'm fat and sexy, you know. And we don't care, you know. <laughs> and they're there, butts are ready, they're practicing jiggling. Okay, and, everything, yeah. and they're doing the makeup, and they go, we shot that video in one hour. <laughs> one hour? That's all we had left, because the girl's like, I'm leaving at 8.30. I'm like, huh? You know, and no shit. we had a couple of our homegirls there. Yeah. Okay. They stood, and, but... But as far as the Nalga scene, that, that we had a couple of girls that are not, you know, okay. everything was there, of our people, and then we had, but we had some girls. So a couple of scenes that we wanted to do in the different rooms that they have there. Okay. We didn't get to do, but yeah. But now I know. Now I know. But it was beautiful, and we did that shit so fast. Yeah. And we said, you know what? Next one, we're gonna do this. And we're giving all the classics. We're gonna get Miss Sancha's Miss Sancha. Don't get this this video mixed up. I mean, this is a gangster ass bitch. From LA, doing with stripper ass bitch, you know. I mean, <laughs> some of your favorite rappers used to go to a strip club. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure I know. Believe them. it. And, I've, and, I've given a lot of the uh, your famous Chicano rappers lap dances. And she and said I, she was not impressed. I was not impressed by the size. Okay. <laughs> I mean, how did she talk? <laughs> Maybe that's why they're rapping. <laughs> yeah, they're rapping. And, you know, they gotta lie. You know, they lean right about their wieners too. You know I mean? Not just the rich, but their. Yeah, they, they were. So, they were. I was surprised. I'm like, packing. damn, girl. Damn, girl. Really? <laughs> hey, homie, what's up? Doing big? No, you're not doing big things. I heard. <laughs> you got a million dollars. It doesn't matter. Your wiener is small. You know. You know. <laughs> I'm married with kids. Are those your kids? How could that have reached? You know. <laughs> you, you know. Okay, let me ask you a question. As far as for the fans, at what point in time would you say that people? possibly started questioning that you were Miss Sancho. Was it almost immediately? It was years back. It was years back. And I I would be like, oh, shit. Like, because I didn't know what to do. Right, to be right. Because I wasn't. I, I wasn't, kept my word. I honestly was like, at a, there was a time, like, I was popping as Diamonique. Yes. And then I just kind of got, like I told you, I got tired of, like, all the fake shit. Yes. And yes. I got tired of it. And I just said, you know what? I want to do this and I started producing and I started editing and I started doing things behind the scene and I liked it because I was low key and nobody was bothering me but, but right. I could tell you when a lot of other artists all of a sudden other labels I'm not going to say names all thought well I got to have a Miss Sancha okay and they all started rapping but it was a fraudulent because this is a real stripper. This is a real what we're doing. I really right. was doing this so, shit. And these girls right. started making raps. I was really doing and then they thought they had to be gangster girls. Okay. So they started saying, Miss Sanchez fake. Miss Sanchez yeah. fake. Oh, this is fake. Fake. And then some of my rappers, when they would leave, they would go, You know who she is? Oh, yeah. so it was them. And yeah. yeah, they were. So basically, they were putting it out there that it was me. So, like, I was like, Like, shit. who? Tell them who. Tell them who's the like, bitch. Like, Brown Boy somebody who put me on blast after oh. your show and he didn't um, make it because a little fucking gay tire i mean pumped up tire yeah uh, and, and, and i'm pretty sure there's plenty other but, he, but she did a song with them as they try to put me on he? blast you know but i didn't care because i'm like they're trying to get the you know chase the clout okay and that's that's how i look at it and like i wasn't really trying to be the star at that time yeah you know and i was behind the scenes but then when, when i saw like a like I saw your interview with Royal and yeah. I started looking at and researching everything. I was like, damn, like I'm sleeping on something yeah. and, and it's me. And and people want Miss Sancha. They love Miss Sancha. And it's a part of me. It's not like it, it's fake. Yeah, it was funny and it was fake when he came up with the concept, but it's really, it's really a part of me. It's not fake right. at all. So anybody who don't like it, I really don't give a fuck. fuck. Um, right. If my, my mother knows about it and my father knows about it, I could give a fuck what anybody else thinks. Because right. those are the most people I respect the most. My stepfather, my mother, my, my father's passed away. My stepmother, she's my she's my gangster right there. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> the four people that raised me, that's all I care about. Anybody else, I could give a fuck. You know? Okay. Okay. So, and then a couple... Hold on. But you were doing the, the Cardi B thing before there was ever a Cardi B. Exactly. I okay. was doing it way before she was doing it. Okay. So that's why another thing that made me think about it, like, wait a second. Like, she's capitalizing on this. I have to think as a businesswoman. Yes. I have to think, like, 
wait a second, this is really me and nobody knows. Mm-hmm. I have to fucking reevaluate the situation and think like as a businesswoman, this is the right move for me because this is really me and they don't know. Right. But if I come and out. I always wanted to bring it out though. She knows yeah. that. Yeah, I've he, always he, come on, girl, he hit come me on. up like several to times her. throughout the to years. <laughs> And I was like, no, no, because I honestly, I wasn't really wanting to be the artist no more. I wow. didn't want to do it anymore wow. because I got tired of the whole fucking I fake hire you. Hollywood you shit. I got tired of it. Right. And that that was it. So it's safe to say that the artists that left you were the ones that started like pretty much. Yeah, it's running the mouth, yeah. Sancho. Yeah. Uh, Brown Boy, when he did your, didn't do your show, the next day he put up a song that he had with, with uh, when he knew my interview. He did a song with her, with Dominique, Dominique uh, one yeah. of his love songs, and yeah. he put on his story, guess who this artist yeah. is? It's guess like, who, like, just trying to... Yeah, trying to play with it. It was like, I did a song with will possess by herself. Yeah, exactly. You will possess. I will like, whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then she wanted to whoop Sancho's. I'm like, oh, come look at... Sancho told a few people, like, oh, you know, like, and it was like, bro, you, right. we were homies, like... Right. Like this is her life. I yeah. she told me uh, keep my word. Hey, bro had the concept of Miss Sancha, and he came to me with it. But I incorporated my real life with the with the raps. Yes, and that's that's and what it was. What brought it back beautiful was, like you said, Cardi B and stuff. Doja Cat. Yeah, Doja Cat. She danced to a song from two thousand three. Yeah. On her Instagram, she this girl gets three hundred million view, views. She on the played video. my Sancho album, the whole album live on her Instagram live. Wow! And she danced to the whole album. And she said, "Oh, she she inspired me." Yeah. And then she did a song just and then like she ours, copied it. "Freak Like Me." Mm-hmm. And I could have sued them right now, but we've hit management, and they're going to be working on some badass shit. That's awesome. So that's why the modern song, calling our girl name. How you do Doja Cat? We say we say on there. I don't even remember. Doja right Cat. Now, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sipping on this. Shit. <laughs> she she now. says her her thing, and then so we got the classic people. Where's the classic? We so, got the oldies, you know the the yeah. the sound. We got a song we might bring Shiro on or her. She sang it on already, no. and we're like, because Shiro's my good friend. Yeah, her good friend. Cammy James knows her, and so we know. And uh, we got a badass oldie that we're going to do a badass video to, but we might bring Shiro on it. We might. It's two different sounds. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and, John, we're going to open up the phone lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we're going to take a call for either Miss Sancha, Dia Monique, or uh, uh, (laughs) Royal Tea and Miss Royal Tea, La Sancha. (laughs) <laughs> I'm lost. Okay, I'm lost. I'm going to go ahead and take a call. El for, Sancha. Uh, El yeah. Sancha. So, whenever you're ready, go ahead and put the number up. What, and if you guys want to call and ask them either color, one of them color. a question, oh, this wiener's in your ear. Um, this one, oh, man, what's going down, right fat one? Okay. That's your. Okay, we got one. Go ahead and. That's that's Royals. I can't hear right now. This one right here. Just, I uh, can't hear. Yeah, here we go. Check, check. Caller. Or dicks in your ear. <laughs> what's cracking, motherfucking Tony A and Royal T? Oh, man. What's going down, homie, besides your girl? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. What's hey, up, brother? How you doing, man? Royal. What's going down, homie? Pretty good. Hey, I was just asking about, I, if I recall, didn't you have OFI on your label at one time? OFI was um, a good homie of mine. And he, had a, he had his own records. And what it was was, he was going to be the producer of Low Pro because he learned from Steve Vicious to make beats. And so I bought all this equipment. I, I spent like 20 grand and I bought all this stuff. This is back in the day when the first Apple computer was the square one. We bought everything. And I hired Steve Vicious and this guy named um, Dwayne, who made all the rock music for the, the wrestling CD, to come teach yeah. him how to engineer and everything. Because I was renting too much studio time. I had my first office, all my guys were there. And it's and oh if I wouldn't show up. I bought all this shit, I'm sitting there for a month and I'm paying these guys fifty bucks an hour. And this is back in nineteen ninety eight. Like fifty bucks an hour. Yeah. I'm, so finally one day he didn't show up again and he'd be like, I got five kids, I'm this and that. And um that's how I learned because I said, Man, just teach me. And that's why I learned to do everything. Okay. And then he came to me and said, Roy, I'm gonna go to jail. 
uh, he had his album that that album that he worked on. He worked at it during the time he was working with us, and he said, "Man, I'm gonna go to jail. I need a uh, thirty five hundred for a lawyer." And I said, "All right, well, you didn't even show up, homie. I was gonna give you a fucking job." Yeah. And you're calling me after the fact, and he goes, "I'll sell you my album for thirty five. This is back yeah. then. We didn't know what any records were sold for, you know. And I bought the album. He didn't go to jail. He won, won his case." And years later, he called me. He, he thought they had his own crew. He had a, a whole thumper and a rest in peace thumper, a bunch of other people in his crew. And they were kind of hip hop. We're going to get to that question later about hip hop rap. Right okay. And they thought they were better than us. Wow. Yeah, so there's your question, homie. Yep. So he was a homie. Yes, he worked man. on his music. I worked on mine. There we go. Call it real quick. Uh, where are you calling from? From NC. North Carolina. North Carolina is in the house. That's what's up. I thought yes. it was. I right. thought it was five himself. <laughs> okay, brother. Thank you, man. Have a blessed night, homie. <laughs> thank you, homie. But old five. Okay, tight. we're gonna take one more call. Go ahead. Caller, uh, Dixon, your ear. What's going on? Uh, hello. Yes. What's up, my girl? What's up? Sorry, people are getting louder in my house. <laughs> I can't hear you. I'd like to ask. I, I, I'd like to ask my a question. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Hello. What's up, homegirl? Oh, hey, what's up? How are you? Right, I'm good. Okay, next caller. Because that sounds like a UFO station. <laughs> so. We couldn't hear you, homegirl. No, no disrespect. We'll take those calls, but just couldn't hear you. Caller, caller, where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. I'm calling from uh, Bit City, LA. Yes. How you doing, bro? Uh, uh, who are you asking a question yeah. to? Miss Sancha or Royal T? Uh, uh, Rosie. What's up, so, homie? What's going down? I want to start. All right, man. Uh, first of all, are you are you aware of our Mexican? You're from San Diego. Yes. There's a uh, there's a uh, second. There's a uh, you know empty double uh, Santa Fe clan. Would you ever put them in your album? Would you ever mess Mex with them? You say mix clan. Is that what, what group Mexican, was that? Our, our Mexican rappers, you know, from Mexico. Oh, Mex okay. Oh, Would I, you ever include Mexican rappers from Mexico on your stuff? Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> All they got to do is hit you me know, up if they're uh, interested. I know, I know Little Rob has messed I know Little Rob has, messed, uh, has done collabs with uh, Tecan. Okay. You know, I know Little Man. One Night Owls a lot of stuff. I want to know if. Yes. I know I want you know, if you guys bring them up to the shine, you know, definitely, like, homie, bring definitely. them up to the stage. Definitely. You yeah, know, we talk about you're going to rap. Of course. Nothing but love, brother. If, they, know, if they contact me, I'm willing to work anytime. So I'm definitely that, that your answer is right. yes. You know what I mean? You know, but uh, hey, I, I, I want to add something really quick, okay? Uh, because you're talking about. You know, we talk about your kind of rap, or what about pretty much what you're saying is what about Mexican rappers, okay? I understand what you're saying, Mexican rappers from Mexico. Uh, just to let you know, because I'm going to give a quick plug to Shadow and, and Night Owl are putting together a podcast where they're going to be interviewing mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mexican rappers from Mexico. That's something new that's going to be coming. Yes. And I know because they messed around with, well, they did some music, uh, Shadow did some music with Tecan. Yes. And I just want to know, so you know, like I love, I love this podcast. I love the fact that you guys both are working together. And uh, and my next question for you, Tony G, is like you mentioned how you love sushi. You know, uh -huh. you love sushi. I want to bring you the best sushi. The, you're the best sushi experience. Well, I love sushi, I but a different kind. Wish, uh, <laughs> 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 Don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> but uh, Tony, Tony oh, A, yes. You always mention how you love, uh, you know, eating sushi out, uh, eating sushi. Yes. Uh, I want to bring to you the best sushi experience that I'm pretty sure you have not tried. Okay. And I mean, I'm willing to, you know, send you DMs and whatever, and they can invite you to the place I work for. Okay. Uh, and get you the best experience you could ever have uh, that, that you will ever you know complete. awesome L listen you can you, know? you can reach me at uh, uh 
uh, John, RoadingRadio at gmail.com or on Instagram direct. My Instagram is popping up. Perfect. You can reach me there and let me know that you're the sushi guy and we'll make it happen. And don't forget about I me, man. That and much I'm respect. Fat. Okay, but we'll, <laughs> much but, respect. And honestly, I love both of you. Keep it up. And come on, man. Let's bring this rasta up. Awesome, mom. I love you. Awesome, bro. Muchas right, gracias, bro. Buenas noches. Hey, John, don't forget to put up uh, Miss Sancha's Instagram official Miss Sancha. Yeah, but well, let's take one more call. Yeah. We're yeah. going to take one more call. Yeah. Okay, so uh, somebody call. And uh, if you got a question for Miss oh, Sancha yes, or Sancha. Royal T, uh, uh, if any of you girls want to take Royal T out on a date, uh, right now is the time. <laughs> So uh, let me you know. Wanna cry and get your hair uh, somebody call. Don't be shy. Okay, this is the first Challenge time we go. We, we, we take calls on Rodium Radio, and you guys are lagging. Tell Don't be shy. Do Here, we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> call our royal dicks in your ear. Uh, where are you calling from? Boing. <laughs> from LA. From what's LA. What's good? What's good, LA's brother? In the house. Oh, who's the question for? The question for Miss Sancha. Miss Sancha. What's up, baby? Yeah. What's up? So my question is, well, now that you came out before and you see you started uh, rapping in 2003, was there any other like female rapper or, uh, you know, rapper in general that you wanted to work with, but you couldn't since you uh, weren't able to come out or and just, you know, download, doing all this music, um, you know, in the behind the scenes? I actually started way before that, but 2003 is when I put out my first album as an artist before sancha um the dominique but the yeah diamonique and it was called diamond in the rough um no. but i can't i can't say of any any female artist that huh? oh. oh i can't say uh any female artist that i at that time that i wanted to work with um i was just i guess in my own zone at that time and i was just Trying to make you it know? work. Yeah, like, loving it. Like loving. I mean, you've been the, doing this. When did you start? How old were you when you started? I started when I was like 14, 15. And that was a long time ago. Um, hold on, uh, my hold name hold was on. Brown Sugar There's at not, that time. Censor that. Uh, John motherfucking out can censor that prison might get this. SPM might hear this and get a, you know get <laughs> horny or wrong. something. <laughs> no, uh, he's a crazy fool. You know? No, like I, I like honestly, like um, when I started, I I was doing a lot of um, talent shows and things like that when I was Sex coming parties. up. No, <laughs> when I was a young kid. Oh, oh. Before I was Miss Sancha, before I was Diamonique, I was doing talent shows i was out there performing wherever i could perform getting my name out there i even um at a time before i started working with the avilas i was i worked with um um as a rich rock from spanish fly i did a verse on one of his his tracks and i was i was working with these guys named um jaime and joe and they were working with them and i went by the name of brown sugar at the time so i i was chicana rap before anything but then when i got with the avilas the dad who was my manager at the time and i didn't know i was i was young i was i just wanted to rap i loved music i you know i grew up my my pops was an og he he put me onto easy e nwa um <coughs> sugar sugar hill gang um all that kind of shit grandmaster flash um run dmc but anyways i um I I I was doing the 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 Music. the talent shows and everything and then then after that like I just started you know I hooked up with the Avilas through a homegirl who I who I had in in my school and she was dating one of them Bobby actually she was dating Bobby she was like oh like so I would go hang out with them and, I, and then I I hooked up with Izzy and he was my boyfriend at the time and we were recording and the dad at Question. so you turned 18 and you met the dingo no before 18 <laughs> i was 16 when i started fucking with the avilas and then um shit where was that he messed up your train of thought i know he did fucking royal i <laughs> talked about me and you got excited i was joking <laughs> okay no. Okay, no, no, but for real, um, you were in high school. So I was in high school. I, I was Brown Sugar. Okay, so the dad when I when I signed with the Avilas, 
um, they were touring with New Kids on the Block, Mario Lopez. We were doing shows, tours all over, you know, with Mario, JV. JV. We were opening up, opening up for them. And I was really young. I was, like I said, I was 14, 15. I didn't know anything. All I know is I wanted to rap. I loved music. And I was, I had a, I had a good voice. I didn't know, like, how to project it and everything about it but i knew that i i was i had something in the and the dad bobby senior he he saw it in me but he wanted me to be more mainstream okay so that's when i started rapping more mainstream and that's when i started going okay get out of the the chicana rap style that i was doing and go mainstream okay and so that's when i started doing that and then from there the dad didn't want to fuck with me no more because I started getting into to trouble in the streets. And he was hearing, you're getting in fights, you're, you're partying, you're drinking, you're doing drugs, all this shit. And I was like, I'm not listening to you. And he, he was like a Christian man. They wanted me to be in church and this and that. And I, I was, but I was, at that time, 16, I, I wanted to do my own thing. Yeah, I didn't want to yeah. listen. So I was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna do me. Then she met the devil. <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet. But I, I, I was like, you know what? You're not my dad. You're not gonna tell me what to do. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Yeah. And I didn't know. They knew the business. I didn't know the business. And I just thought, oh, I'm gonna rap. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. But it's, it doesn't go down like that. Right. You know, it's a process. And I didn't understand it because I was so young. Yeah. So I said, oh, okay, fuck it. Like, you want me to do that? Fuck that. Like, so I said, fuck it. You I'm did out. Your own thing. Yeah. And, then, then, and then I was like, I had, to, I got with Barry Gordy's um, niece and she got me out of the contract with them. And then, because he was upset with me, like, you know, like, we helped you, mold you, right. and now you're ready to go. But I was like, because they have been I, practicing. Yeah. Like practicing her, like their dad was like, Mija, work the stage, do this. And he, he literally molded me. The right. Avila's molded me you they remind me of um the selena family thank you caller thank you uh-huh so you know that right that, that whole yeah that. so anyways the, um the dad molded me and i just you got condoms from my ear i stuff? didn't yeah <laughs> i didn't i didn't want to listen and i i told him fuck it do what you gotta do she was a bad sue girl me. at heart no sue me do whatever you gotta do and then i left and right. then after that then i just was like and i started going i i started doing private shows and okay. I had a, I, I, me and a few homegirls ran an escort we service <laughs> we ran an escort I, service and okay. we I, and then from the escort service I went to the strip club and then I started dancing I, I was all about that life you right. know okay. and so then I I said you know what I'm gonna find somebody in here that's gonna invest in me it's gonna believe in me and we're gonna put my shit out that's my goal that was my goal like I was like I was working at a warehouse making minimum wage and I said, fuck this. I'm going to go to the strip club. I'm not going to fucking bust my ass here when I can make this much over at the right. strip club. So I went over there and then I, you know, I evolved. I got fucking homegirls and this and that. And Let's tell them about this. I'm going to cut off because... Because you like girl. to talk. Yeah, I like to talk. Huh? <laughs> Ramble. <laughs> Roar! I know, but I have to I'm ask her. No, but I'm going to tell you. I want to ask her about her movies. Hold on. I she has an incredible movie on, on Prime called Monday 50 Awards. It's only a 17-minute movie. She's hard as fuck. Okay. Tell me who you're going to be working with on your next film right now. Who's, who's the homegirl? He knows Oh, her. the homegirl, Flockies. Okay. That's my homegirl right there. Flockies. You know, she, we were both in the movie End of Watch. Mm -hmm. She's from South Central. She's the real deal. And we're working on something together called Hoodways. And um, now... Okay. She's writing movies, too. Yeah. I had a question, uh, and I know that people that are into real heavy into Chicano rap will be interested. Earlier, you mentioned Essa Rich Rock, that you did a song yeah. with him. when I was like 14, 15. Uh, do, do you, if you could remember, what year was that? Was 90s, at least? Yeah, it was like 89, 90. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like 90. Wow. Because uh, I shared with you the story that I've known him when he, he was in Drew High and I was working yeah. with him. So much love, much respect to Essa Daz and DJ yeah, Tricks. Essa Daz, the homie right That's there. Rich yeah. we, no, I just did a, a feature he, he told for, me. for Spanish Fly. Yeah, the he new told album, me. The new project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he told me. We, I think we talk me. every so often. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll work. That'll right. work. That's awesome. This now, girl sounds it all over the place. I'm telling you, it's more than... 
I try to tell her when I when I had to convince her to say let's do this, like any which way you want to do it, girl. Because there's artists, there's rappers. This is a complete artist. Like I'm talking about from acting to movie singing. Her singing is another. I'm talking about like Evelyn's our homegirl. We're gonna, we want Evelyn on our on her album. Are you talking about the, the Tony G? Uh, oh yeah, Tony G. Uh, um, El Elvia. Oh. Elvia. Elvia. I, I oh, she like, knows Elvia. I mess up her Elvia. name, but yes. that's the homegirl. Sings beautiful. I go to the pride. I told him I, I hit him up. To, well, they hit me up today. I hit him up. They, you know, promoted you know a show, and I said, man, I, we need to go to your next practice because I wanted to rent them the bigger room because I wanted to bring people because I, I I enjoyed my day there. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Tony G. That drums. Rich G's voice is bigger than anyone people really know. Yeah, like. Yeah. More than just the rap songs he sang on, yeah. that dude's a real singer. You know? Real yeah, deal. you know what? So, uh, go ahead, go ahead, because I'm going to look up one of the questions yeah, I wanted to ask Yeah, look up one of the questions, but, and then now we, we can talk about Chicano rap because people are Social asking. media censoring. Let's talk about that. Okay, check this out, you guys. I want to let you guys know something. We had a problem just promoting Miss Sanchez's new out, new single. They would, Facebook says, my... And, and no disrespect to your brother, you know, he's one oh, of my wow. favorite artists. Last book, you know? <laughs> it's all good. You know, my brother don't um, give a fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to be uh, attacked, you know? <laughs> that's rough, you know? <laughs> I bring the message. <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> that motherfuckers, um, they wouldn't let us say bad. At, first, we did the commercial you put on your thing. You guys better get commercial on Tony because you're going to get censored everywhere else. This is the fucking show. The audience is beautiful. It's all, it's the fans that might've used to love me, hate me. Isn't that all together? Adore they're you. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and um, Facebook said, we, we went to go buy some ads. Uh huh. And they said, oh no. Cause they saw the old Miss Sancha album cover mm -hmm. doggy style. And they saw the ass. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they, and they said, nope, we won't play that video. So I said, oh shit. I called her up cause she does the video. She fixed it like this, bam. Put hearts over the ass. <laughs> Send it back. <clears throat> nope, we won't play it because now you're saying, uh, get the new single, baddest bitch. bitch. <laughs> and, they, and they said, because I said bitch, <laughs> freedom of speech is gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, thank you, Joe Biden. <laughs> That's another story. Remember I talked to Chingo Pling. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to get to that question. I'm going to be royalty for president. I'm independent. <laughs> We're going to make motherfucking jobs, oil, everything. I mean, anyways. <laughs> Escort Boom. service. Oh, yeah. Escort service. There fucking strip clubs. You know what I mean? Know you know, I'm going to have to teach wives. I'm going to have classes for wives that they need to let their husbands go to the strip club. They need to even come with or them. Or vice versa. Bring them. You know what I mean? Well, I don't want to go back to strip with Tony. You know what I mean? My moves ain't the same. Well, see, a lot of people don't know you're a male exotic dancer. Exactly. You know what I mean? You're in the break. You always got to let that. Of course. Strippers got to do what you got to do. Sometimes they want to cry. You know what I mean? That's because they on their lap a little hard. But, anyways, but, uh, but so they wouldn't let us. Then my son, because my son does most of the work, Mr. Michael and Tony over there, handling business, he put uh, the album cover to promotion. And they said, again, he couldn't put the album, couldn't put bad as bitch, you're typing, not even saying, just typing. <laughs> so he put B, B. I, X, 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 you know, yeah. uh, uh, dot, like, dot, dot. They said, nope. <laughs> so she had to put, if you look at my ad, it's a bad as B. <laughs> In the neighborhood, <laughs> they're like, "What the fuck?" So people are like, "Why is she naked? Where's the body?" You know, <laughs> and I'm like, "Look at your fat girlfriend, you fucking worthless <laughs> punk." You know what I mean? You see her body, you know, and and and, and these people are just so the sense senses are fucking unbelievable. I, I, I'm, I'm fucking shocked, homie. Right, right. What happened to fucking America? I'm not no, living you, you, in, wait, in wait, Russia right now. Yeah, you know? there's no more freedom of speech, bro. Yeah, freedom, no freedom this of speech. Gone. And that's all from you fucking liberals. I'm being honest. Oh, there it is there. <laughs> They're like, oh my God. Whoa. Who we'll banned him? Who cares? You know, like you don't even know who the fuck I am. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We'll we'll turn Black Lives Matter, a bunch of white people in front of my house. Yeah, you know, with their fist up. <laughs> you know what I mean? None of my black homies are in Black Lives Matter. Only I, I know some white lesbians are in Black Lives Matter, but I don't know. You know, oh, I think all I mean was his tits is a poor woman <laughs> black lives matter. I don't know, but oh, I'm just saying. I all I mean, you. shout out to my boy. I love you. Nothing but love. Bad boy, nothing but love. But go ahead. There you go. They're in a battle. 
Baddest tits in the neighborhood. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> no. Okay, cool, cool. No, check that. Give me that question. Give me no, that no, question. no. Are you sure? I'm ready, motherfucker. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Let me eat these. Me. Let me eat these. Nuts. These, um, what these the nuts. fuck? You want some nuts? No hairs on them. Oh yeah, you I know. I shaved them okay. for you. You know, it's such a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today. Let, 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 let's talk about today's artist. Today's no, wait. Mm. Did you throw all those nuts in your mouth? Damn. <laughs> let's talk about today's girl. artist. Talking about Chicano rap artists today. Okay, what do you think is missing, if anything, from Chicano rap artists today? Is there anything missing? Muslims? No. <laughs> you want these nuts? <laughs> okay. Let me tell you, I love a lot of them. And I hate you, them. No, let <laughs> me no, just tell you, I love a lot. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by some of them. Bella. Mm -hmm. She reminds me of Young Sancho with like the nasty look. All the gangster shit, if you listen to the gangster shit. Bella is dope. I see Bella mm -hmm. doing it. She needs to do some stuff, meaning hard work. Mm hmm. She's but, young, but, though. Yeah, she's, she's young. young. She's on it. Mm -hmm. She loved it. I loved it. I, 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 we were calling each other. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Check out Bella's new stuff came out this Friday also. We listened to it. But some of the songs, but then some of the songs were like, oh, shit, you know? Yeah. And I would have had her do it a little different way. Some things. Yeah. I told you. I even called you You're about You're a producer. It. Yeah. I, 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 I called you about it. I said, hey, I didn't like that, but I love that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. She's cool. Mm -hmm. Um... I, uh, Magic Girl, she reminds me of, this is like the same story, it's a young girl, and if you listen to the whole artist, this is a complete artist, what I'm saying, it's not yeah. just a certain thing, I hate that box. Of course. <laughs> and so, I, I, I feel Magic needs to work on, she, like, she, she started, I, I'm wrong, she started to work on original stuff of her own. Yeah. She doesn't need it. Who gives a fuck about it? Girl, you weren't born in the old school. You use the talk box. Turn that talk box out. Do something fucking new that makes Zap's kids go, damn, that yeah. <laughs> magic girl's bad as fuck. Yeah. And they don't have to be no uh, Zap bar bounce. I mean, we if we want to hear more bounce, like, listen to Roger. Right. Mm -hmm. If I want to hear magic girl, a young girl, no one's doing the talk box. A young girl, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I and you guys know on my chat room or Tony's chat room, but I take it over sometimes when he's talking. I, I sneak in there. <laughs> but, uh, no, they, I'm, I'm part of the regulars. You know, we're, we're, we're what do you call us? You call us something? Uh, the Rolling Radio Warriors. I was gonna get my shirt. The Warriors. Oh, I think I'm a warrior. You know, <laughs> but, but, you uh, always come out to play. Yeah. Uh, Where are you? I'm not talking about that. But uh, I said, uh, <laughs> so, I, so I said. Um, <laughs> So I'm impressed by Magic Girl. I just think she needs to open up and she will go further. She needs to be original. Magic Girl's you, dope. Yeah, she don't need to prove, hey, look, I could play the old school. Nah, you need them to say, I know your, your shit. Right. It, it, it don't even have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she could be amazing. But here's my problem, and, and this ain't about these two girls. Mm -hmm. I'm just working with Miss Sancha. I've been, part, I've been lucky to be part of Miss Sancha. Like, She's exciting me more than, I mean, not this is my wiener, but I mean, just, <laughs> <laughs> but exciting me. <laughs> but she's excited. Not, but she's not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, about um, working with her because she works. Of course. Like us. Great she, work ethic. I come yes. from a different time. Like yes. where you guys are, you know? Yes. So mm. it's different. My new artist crying. <laughs> she yells. You know what I mean? I'm going to take a dip. What? You better get your ass to my house. I got mm -hmm. a new beat. Can you send it to me? No. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and she knows. How do I work, girl? She's like, you're going to come again? <sighs> no oh, yeah. problem, right? I'm leaving her house at way. 4 in the morning. Yeah. She's happy. The music sounds good. But she's happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't talking about music. No, I'm joking. <laughs> just oh, joking. Shit. <laughs> but I'm just talking about music. Don't let them all just joking. All <laughs> no, I'm don't leaving. No, this girl, we, she knows. We work at the studio. And... and I'm building a vibe. She's like, what the fuck are we all doing all fucking night? Like, do, 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 do. <laughs> but our vibe is connecting, right? We're starting to, yeah. we got like six songs we're recording this week. We're awesome. Like, it, everything's like patterned out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So back to the question as the artist. As far as, what is the oh, about work thing. missing? Yes. These new artists that I show you my DVD, that I showed you shit, 
They're lazy as fuck. Say it a little bit louder to the mic, bro. These new artists, you motherfuckers, are lazy as fuck. You cry on social media. Why ain't in this artist? Why ain't this? Motherfuckers, fuck the pandemic. The pandemic is one of the greatest things for music. Mm-hmm. But fuck that. Shows the real. Before the pandemic, these motherfuckers weren't doing shit. You know they go, who's the face of Chicano rap? We're going to get to that when we come okay, back and break. Okay. Oh, but no, no, we, 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 I won't get into that round. But I'm going to tell you some things, some runners up. You guys say, oh, King Little G. Nah, homie, King Little G hasn't really did no tours in three, four years. Reality. He had great stuff. He did a couple shows in L.A. and he filmed them. And they're social media savvy. Like today, I saw King Little G's great. But Shadow did the other day bars and guitars. It was fu- Go to Shadow's Instagram, my boy. Shadow, he just did a Spanish song with Miss Sancha. Mr. Shadow is incredible. He did an incredible, you just watch that? Bars mm-hmm. and guitars. And Shadow had a stroke. His voice was strong. Like it's hard to rap sometimes live, like Al Capella. And he rapped with a guitar. So be, <laughs> King Little G does it today. <laughs> the guitar. The, like uh, the OG. That's cool, homie. But you know what I'm saying? But he has more power on the social media. So they're going to think Shadow copied him. Of course. Because this guy got triple the amount of views in one hour. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So the tricks, you guys have tricked your fucking self. Because when it came to building Chicano rap, and these artists are claiming to take my fame, Tony, and I'm going to get into it before we go to break. Tony G told you, Tony, and I saw you say, uh, Ese Rich Rock, I saw our Spanish flag. Mm -hmm. It's a good runner up. It was a song that, and I told people why they love that song. I I said, my statement was, it was the worst, greatest song of all time. The guy was off beat. It sucked as a song. But you know why? I, mean, I figured out. I studied it. I figured out why we thought it was so fucking great. You want to know why? We never heard no one in the art world say, Orale, ese. We never heard those words. So the fact in our first fucking life we heard someone say, Orale. And even though it was off beat and it was terrible, it was just like, did anyone see that? Did anyone hear us? You know what I'm saying? Right. We were proud to the fucking bone. I, I mean, I named all my shit Brown Pride and Rasa and all this shit. We were, wow, that was a record with our, and people were like, that shit sucks. We're like, nah, homie. So even when I hear it today, I know it sucks. Meaning offbeat, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, you, you recorded all your brothers. They were on rhythm. The motherfucker got the rhythm of the night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, rhythm of the night. <laughs> they were black. And the rhythm of the night. You know what I'm saying? So, when you hear it say Rich Rock, he's all big sounding like horses are galloping. He's like, bah, bah, bah. The beats over here, he's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, he can't hit that fuck up. Uh, uh. <laughs> but the fact that he fucking represented us to the fucking brown pride. The real Frost, not the man, the rapper. We are friends as human beings. Right. His kids, he knows I love his kids. I actually told him today I have a video when he first had rhythm. I let him use my video camera and he filmed it. And I and he left the camera tape in there. And then he we were all this drama and all this other shit. And I've always told him, hey bro, when I see you, I got the tape. And I got it, I got it in storage, but I have a little DV of him at, you know. And the fact that he got Cobra last m- month or a month, and his son was alone at home. I told the homie bad boy, hey, go, go check on his son, homie. He's over there and his dad's in the hospital. Fuck that, you know? Yeah. So, and the man love him. But he, but the facts are the facts. When he did La Raza, he didn't do, he didn't continue the movement. Even though he rapped La Raza, he wanted to be a mainstream black artist. Meaning not black, him turn black, but he wanted to be... He didn't care if the Chicanos listened to him. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to be MTV man. He wanted to rock braids. He wanted to move forward. S.A. Rich Rock and S.A. Daz, and I don't mean no disrespect, but they're not Spanish fly. S.A. Rich Rock, they weren't on that song. 18 was a bullet. That was the biggest song. They weren't on that song. Am I, you know, I don't disrespect their music because that album, I saw the gang of that music. That, they were fucking hard. Uh, Trust No Man, beautiful album. But they didn't continue the movement. You understand what a movement is? Making a fucking song in your basement and doing fucking heroin and getting high 
and never talking to people because there was no social media, so they were talking to shit. And I see a black man, Murray Alexander, selling the records, but not them. There's no fucking movement behind that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me, I had record stores, swap meets, started like you. I was traveling to Arizona, New Mexico, Albuquerque. I mean, I got the homie from Albuquerque I knew him for 10 years. Why? But we show actually longer. I knew his pops from longer than that. Because we were traveling from Sacramento, all these fucking places. Me, all my car, Andy Herrera, he got me my deals first BMG. I'm traveling saying, Chicano, Chicano. People are like, the fuck? I'm going to car shows. I'm like, Chicano, Chicano. I got my Brown Pride album, Volume 1. I'm taking Proper Dose, which was Mexican power, but Frank didn't make a movement. He made a song, not a movement. Then I get a deal, and this is before All Night I was and all of them. I got the major deal, meaning they were there, but I was traveling. I was arguing with BMG how to keep our records on the streets and to the stores and make a Chicano rap section, buying in caps, out caps, you know what I'm telling you? Right. Buying commercials on MTV, BET. We had low pro commercials in every city. I mean, uh, five cities at a time, because we'd buy them, and we were actually making a movement where Violet Brown took notice. Yeah. Then, which I love Violet Brown, but then I hate her. Because <laughs> you love her. No, I got to be honest with you, Tony. I told you, like, we had a conversation. I've been my friend since I've been a teenager. And she was my friend because she made me a lot of money. But she put Kool Aid in that mix, <laughs> and we had. And I know this Kool Aid. Uh, Kool Aid's a good person. Okay. It's just she didn't. <laughs> she didn't know what she was doing, and what she did was try to be a Jew and corner a market, which nothing wrong with that. It's what you know. You you gotta do it right. Uh, uh, let, let me ask you guys a question. Who is Silent Giant Records? That's Kool Aid, Kool -Aid and oh, okay. Edubs. Okay, I'm gonna say something right now. I had two of the artists reach out to me that they want to interview. Not at the same time, but at different times. Okay, I won't mention their names out of respect because, well, even though the IPO didn't respect me. One was a guy, he reached out to me, he said he wanted to interview, so I booked them. I believe the week of, I don't know how their so-called management got their number and canceled on me through text. The artist that, that contacted me couldn't even contact me. You know, wow. that's that, where I that's, lost, that's yeah. where I lost res little respect for them. Now, let me, I said, forget it, no, uh, no problem. This other artist, female, we talked. She wanted an interview. She was excited. I believed her. She sent me her pictures. We made the flyer. We posted. I get a text from I their manager. <laughs> yeah, uh, from their manager. Uh, uh, oh, she won't be making won't be making it due to their, you know, uh, traveling schedules. Nobody's traveling anywhere. Nobody's doing anything. I don't you know, know none of your deals. All right. That. So, but I'm going to tell you what this. happened. Who late is a hustler? So I'm not gonna blame that. Cool. Yeah, they just didn't want them here. That's what or it came why? down to. Like, I, I have no she has idea. Her own podcast and she has her oh, own, okay. her, their own radio. Yeah, so they just didn't want them here. The, oh I man, that's, well, that's, that's, that's what you're gonna tell what I'm telling you. Yeah, but I was trying to tell them what Kool Aid did terrible to our business is fuck it. We were on real radio, yeah. real radio. We had no yeah. problem, and then Kool Aid and, and Violet, they got together, and actually Murray Brunfield, the one that paid for both those better locals. Really? And then they wow. robbed him. Wow. Well, he's the one that put it together and said Kool Aid was a. She did used to do an afternoon show. Right. And Murray hit up everybody. Hmm. I remember, but we didn't want to work with Murray, you know, at the time. Right. And he, he got this show and he got, made her the host. He said, I'm going to pay for the uh, He paid for the hour. Right. Which is the logo. And then she burned them. And they did because right. she had her, her husband, who was a producer from 805. Uh, Edub. Edub. Good guy. They're good e people. E Edub is, is a good, is good, good dude. dude. I, I, I'm not telling people, but business, she didn't mean to fuck it, but she fucked it by, she locked it up when I used to pay the radio people, and we had we had songs everywhere. Like, you got to remember, there was, uh, just like Back to the Hotel, that was on every radio station. We had other songs going on radio, and then it came her. And then you would pay Sam Hernandez, who's a radio dude, I'm paying Sam, Here's 10 grand, start this thing. Like, I spent $90,000 on Sancho's logo. Mm. We were on 27 stations. And how music works, when you're indie, you hit all the small stations. Yeah. And then First. you make it back to L.A. Then you come back. You know what I'm saying? Because they're like, okay, it's proven. L.A. doesn't want to play nothing unless it's proven. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, yeah. when we got back, it becomes the Kool-Aid show. Oh, no. We won't pay you on Power 106. We'll pay you on our Potos Pedalocos. 
and, and which was innocent. Hold on, it was innocent at first. And we're and she's uh, syndicated 16 stations. So now this guy, instead of going this whole route of 27 stations, building this in Albuquerque and all these cities, now he's just going straight to Puerto Perilocos. And then they go, her and Violet go, oh, let's not make it the Chicano Rec session that, see, I used to hire, I'm mean, gonna cut that show real. I used to hire people to go from our central all the way to the bay. This is not what any of the artists do. Is I'm talking about making a fucking movement. Right. Because BMG used to send our product out. And just like if you sell something to Walmart right now, if I sell $1,000 to Walmart, I don't send it to the stores. I send it to the Walmart warehouse. Right. The warehouse spreads it out to the stores. I don't have no control what fucking stores I send it to. So I'd send my music to the warehouse, and they would send it to stores in Beverly Hills. They wouldn't send it to Compton. They wouldn't send it out Central. They'd put one in Chula Vista, but they'd put the rest in La Jolla. It's like, so my records wouldn't be selling in there, and they'd return them. And they'd be like, but you sold that over here, but you only sent one to fucking Compton or Al Central or, uh, you know, South Central. But you send it, send it, Chicano rap sells in the hood, not Beverly Hills. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, so you send it to Arizona, you send it to Scottsdale where the white people are, but you didn't send it to Phoenix or Tucson. So I had to hire these people. You ever go to the store and you see people with uh, the bread they're counting bread and stuff. They're just, they have a little calculator thing, like a little machine. Inventory, and, yeah. And, and you go, hey, you know what? Oh, we don't work here. Right. But they're just calculating stuff. Because they go and they tell Walmart where the product is best sold at. They have to do, Walmart's like, we don't give a fuck. You have to tell us. So I had to hire a guy who paying $4,400 a month to travel and because he was from the company. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then tell them, oh, okay, we've seen two CDs over here because they had to break it down, 20,000 CDs here. To, uh, and they finally, we finally made the movement. Before any artist you know, none of these artists, would, they just did a song in their garage. Right, right, right. I was doing the movement to the big, the, the, the man, BMG, Universal, EMI, So they made a section. To they put them in the right fucking store. So when if they ordered 10,000 CDs, you know what? 5,000 went to South Central. You know, you know what I'm saying? A okay. couple more to hear here. Okay. So that's part of the movement that's bigger than just a fucking song. Okay, so so pretty much, and I can agree with you. So you're pretty much saying you weren't the first Chicano rapper, but you were the first Chicano rapper that started the movement. The movement. And okay. the name Chicano Rap. Okay. I actually have a song called Chicano Rap. We had one of our, I was going to bring you the shirt. In fact, oh, do you have that, Miss that shirt? No, if you look at that, well, that shirt. Okay. We have Chicano Brown and Proud. That was one of our things. Our first, re our compilation was Brown Pride. I mean, and on our records, we started saying it because when we first did the Lowrider tour in 93, we were we would tell people it's Lowrider music. Hey, have you ever heard of Lowrider music? And us Lowrider music were like uh, uh, Cutie Pie. And, of course, you know, like uh, punk. I, I, I rap to, uh, uh, what's it called? King is a love. Or Jay, uh, no, uh, what's that called? What's it called? Juicy Fruit. Juicy. So I'd walk around, put headphones. Hey, you ever heard of Lowrider music? And I used to go, and now that was part of it too. I used to, when I first started, I would go with my green tape. Door to, when I left Lowrider, because I, and people ask me, Roy, someone asked me that day, Roy, how did you become a, a label owner? And how I did it was, and this is no disrespect to Bill Walker, and uh, what, what, when I say that word, we you can't see uh, allegedly. I was on tour with Bill Walker, allegedly, mm -hmm. and this dude was doing, uh, not this guy, I'll say Bill Rocker. Keep it safe. Bill Rock. Dazza knows him, you know? And um, I was like a little kid. I was 17 years old. I'm doing this stuff for them, and I'm running around, and this guy's doing coke. And Bill Rocker? Uh, Bill Rocker, you know? And, <laughs> and he's like, hey, bro, hey, brother. Oh, I'm like, what's okay. up, man? He's all, Rocky Bidia yeah, couldn't do nothing for me today, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, uh, you got, can you get me some uh, Coke and uh, some weed? And I'm, like, uh, uh, and I'm like, I'm like, I could get you something. I'm thinking, I got to get this man something, you know? And then I'm like, allegedly, you know? And this is Bill Rocker from Gump Bill, Records? Uh, Bump, yeah. And, and, and I said, I was oh like, I was a young kid. I was just amazed. I got a $500 check. Was the word Thump record, um, Bump Records on it. Right, right, right. Bump. And that guy owes me money. Because he's the Bump Gums. Yeah. <laughs> And he'll claim that he's a Chicano rap starter, right? And I, and I, um, oh, shit. And this guy made me a lot of problems, Rob, too. But I was so excited, homie. 
I still have that check somewhere. That was amazing to me. I thought I made it. I thought I was, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, I, right. I swear to God, it was like, you know, you see a right. real check, you're like, wow. So I remember I couldn't even drive to Pomona. I had the lowrider, the club, Majestic, shout out to Majestic Worldwide. Hey. They drove me out there in a five point rolling in my five point oh. You know, they drove hey. the date gold Danes. I I drove like I'm slow, I'm the new slow pain, homie. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. <laughs> right. I came in there and got my five hundred dollar check. But I went on tour and I just saw I said, Man, if this drugged out man could do it. I could do it. I could do it. <laughs> you know, and I uh, I was on welfare and I fuck, I just I made that green cassette. I started I, I put in stores. And they, back then, they would only take assignment because you ain't shit, right? Consignment, yeah, yeah. Put on consignment, and I come back, and I'm sitting at the swap meet looking, <laughs> and, and it was always Koreans running the swap meet, you know? And I'm like, hey, man, and I see black fools come, oh, shit, dog, mm -hmm. the fuck's that, homie? <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm like, pick up my green tape, and I had a, just a 64 cartoon on it. But in the back was pictures of me and my cousin, like a collage. And they go, oh, some Mexican shit? Like that, face like that. Like, even though they there. were bumping like this, it was more bounce. Like, oh shit, I'm from that six one. I'm like, oh shit, dog. Mexican <laughs> shit, you know. I, 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 I end up. Uh, so I said, man, I can't. I had my baby. I was 17 years old. Cause same, I was gonna make three dollars. They give you two dollars fifty cents a red tape. Right, right, right. I ain't gonna make no fucking money. So I started going hand to hand. And night I was doing his stuff on the side on his side of town, and we hooked up. And I couldn't afford to rent. I had a piece of shit car. I had an '82 Jetta. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, yeah. and, and uh, I, I had my little. Anyway, so I was like, "Hey, brother, if if we put money together, we could rent a, a minivan, cool minivan, and we could go like I was used to selling tapes." Everywhere. Right, right. And Nido said, let's go. But Nido would be faded, gang bang the fuck out. Like, of course, of course. We'd pull up. Nido get, who the fuck was problems? And I'm like, Nido, we ain't going to sell no records. <laughs> I remember one time we pulled into Oceanside in the military base. It's a lot of black people. Right. Nido was faded. He's just drinking in the car. I'm like, I'm like the, like, I'm with my business. But I know when I'm traveling, I'm, I'm in hustle mode. You know, me and my mom come. I told you, live in court, selling door to door. I, 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 hey, como estas? Get a pepinos? You know, I, 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 I'm ready to hustle. You know, night I was like, we, we stop the windows down. He throws the fucking beer out the window, <laughs> gets out, and it was like uh, we stopped by the base, the military base, Marine base. All these buff black dudes, 30, 40 deep. I mean, they're playing basketball. The military dudes, Sunday. We pulled, we just came from LA. We, we would come through Whittier, go to Sounds of Music, go hustle on the, we go, we stopped anywhere, homie. We didn't give a fuck. It was, I didn't give a fuck your gangbang. Hey, what's up, homie? I know how to, I know, I, I deal with real homies. Right. And I know how to respect any hood. I'd be like, hey, what's up, homie? Hey, homie, where you from? I'm from Sago, homie, but I'm selling my music. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna check out. Okay. Well, I didn't come out of crazy, so they respect right, you. Right, right, right. Check it out, homie. Oh, shit. Hey, homie, I support you. You know, we were young. So we pull into the day, and night I'll throw this beer out, big 40, pow, with all these fucking N-words and N-words. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit, these motherfuckers, are, what the fuck, homie? <laughs> and then, but they saw he was faded, they're like, hey, homie, just leave. I'm like, night let's go, homie. Right, but they right, were like, right. night didn't give a fuck. He, right, was, right. he was gangster with it to the max, you know? And <laughs> that's what we would do. We would, <laughs> you know, and, and then I would start going to shows and then I started bringing people and we do shows. Okay. And they start doing their shit and that's the movement. Nina was part of it. Shadow was part of it. And then Little One. Little One was another dude. Um, I went and met him and his brother, Martin. Beautiful dude. His, his brother, rest in peace, Martin. I remember, I remember we went to Little One's apartment and he goes, he had a, me and Nida were like, Nida was the gangster of all gangsters. So he would always arm people's ass, you know? Right, right. And uh, they would call me after, I'm the reasonable man. She knows I'm a, I'm a hustler. Is it, you know what I mean? And, and, and then little one goes, hey, Royal. He just got his little one, um, his first one, his baddest one. On his, uh, it was one of his first cassettes. And he goes, man, what do I do with this shit? Cause 
when you first get a thousand cassettes in and you're nobody yeah you don't know how to move it you're like what 10 boxes of 100 like you in your mind like, i'm gonna sell millions you know <laughs> then a thousand comes you're like holy yeah. shit <laughs> yeah you know I, my mom got one my cousin got one and they want it for free but you know so they were like, where I go? I said, I'm going to pick you up. I go to his apartment, Brother Martin's there. I remember going through his gate right there in North Park. And I started taking him to the spots. And the rest is history. The movement okay. started in Dago as first Chicano rap. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And we're going to come back with Shout out to Royal Night King. Out, Shadow, Little One, Mr. Sancho, all my people. You know what we do, Little Rob. You know I love you, but I hate you. I'm <laughs> just joking. Miss Sancho at the motherfucking building. Lopes we're in back the in ten minutes. Johnny Boy, take us away. We'll come back. D don't go nowhere. Go take a shit. Go, no, go, go, go warm up. Your I'm top, just getting drunk. Go warm up your top ramen. Come oh. back ten minutes. We'll be back. Miss Sancho. What it do, what it do, it's Mr. Little One chilling on Rhodium Radio with the one and only Tony A and John motherfucking Elkin, boy. Hey, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Shadow. You're watching Rhodium Radio with my homeboy, Tony A, the wizard. You know what time it is. Yeah, what up? This is Mr. Night Owl, and you're listening to Rhodium Radio with the legendary Tony A, the motherfucking wizard. Yo, what's cracking? Nosotros somos Aqua. Estamos aquí con Tony e, the Wizard. You know Rodium what it is. Radio, damn it. You know what it is. Yo, what up? This is Mellow Man Ace and Padrino. You tuned in to Rodium Radio with my man Tony A. Keep it locked. Yo, what's cracking? It's your boy OG Arabian Prince from the world's most dangerous group, NWA. I'm sitting here with my boy Tony A, the Wizard, on Rodium Radio. What's up, everybody? It's your homegirl, Magic Girl, and you're now listening to Rhodium Radio with Tony A. the Wizard. Yo, what's up? This is Bozo, a.k.a. Emiliano. You tune into Rhodium Radio on Tony Vision's YouTube channel. Let's get it. What up, what up? This is Mr. Soto. You guys are now in tune to Rhodium Radio right here on Tony Vision on YouTube. Yep. Check it out. This is MC Poncho on the MIC. Shout out to Tony A. the Wizard, Rhodium Radio. You already know. What up? This is DJ Trick, Spanish Fly, and you're watching Tony A. on the Rhodium Radio Show. Big G, Rhodium Radio, Tony A in full effect. Stay tuned, watch, listen. That's how we doing it over here. Yo, what up? I'm out here. This is Big Daddy Swoles. I'm jamming with my man, Tony A, the wizard, out here on Rhodium Radio. The podcast is off the hook. Check us out. This is DJ Clientel, and you are listening to Rhodium Radio with Tony A, the wizard. Yeah, 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 this baby bounce here with Tony A, the wizard. You are now tuned in to the Rhodium Radio. We do it for the people. You hear me? Mic check, mic check. Ernie G from Proper Dos. And I'm listening to Tony A, the motherfucking wizard on Rhodium Radio. And if you don't know, you should know. What's up, everybody? This is Soren Baker. I'm the author of the book, The History of Gangster Rap, in stores now worldwide. And you're listening to Rhodium Radio, hosted by Tony A. And make sure to check it out. We talk about the Rhodium mixtapes. We're here, Soren Baker, Rhodium Radio. Yo, this is Pretty Greg, and I'm chilling with Tony the Wizard on Rhodium Radio. Hey, this is Swifty Blue. I'm right here at Rhodium Radio with Tony A the Wizard. Stay tuned. It's the KAS here live on Rhodium Radio with the one and only Tony A the Wizard. What up, y'all? This is Kiki Smooth, the first Mexican rapper out of Compton, rich and ruthless, and you're listening to the Rhodium Radio with Tony A, the Grand Wizard, El Mago himself. Hey, Compton's in the house. What's up? It's quite the Yes Guy with my Harbor Auto Guy homeboy, Tony A, the Wizard, on Rhodium Radio. Yes Guy. Hey, what's up, Anthony? It's your homeboy, Duende. You're tuned into Rhodium Radio with my homeboy, Tony A, the Wizard. What up, what up? It's your boy, Baldacci the Beast, Air for Music, the face of LA, right here at Rhodium Radio. Make sure y'all tune in. Your boy, Tony A, the Wizard. This is Kelvin Anderson, owner of the world famous VIP Records. And you listen to my man, Tony A, the Wizard, on Rhodium Radio. Yeah, yeah, what up? It's Lil Black, you the brown super baller, and you checking out Rhodium Radio with the homeboy, Tony A, the Wizard. Yo, what's cracking? It's your boy OG Big Wicked, Real Ones Apparel, Orange County. I hear with my boy, Tony A, the Wizard, Rhodium Radio. So I'm make sure to peep it. Peace. Que tranza raza, aquí su servidor, simple and pecador. 
And you're listening to Rhodium Radio with my boy, Tony A, the Wizard. Check, check. What's up? It's your boy, Capital I, man, from the Mexican crew. And you're tuning in to Rhodium Radio with my boy, Tony A, the Wizard. This motherfucker's a legend. What's up, y'all? This is Christy Glove, and you're watching the Rhodium Radio Show on Tony Vision on YouTube. What's up? This is Mr. D on Rhodium Radio. Kicking back with the homeboy, Tony A. Yo, this is Santi the Boss. Tune in on YouTube at Rhodium Radio with Tony A. the Wizard. What's up? This is Leah Farsayer, a.k.a. the Dragon, the Serpent, the Spear. I'm on Rhodium Radio with my boy, Tony the Wizard. Hey man, Nick B and Eric B, the Baker Boys in the house, hanging out with Rhodium Radio, and the one and only Tony the Wizard. Tony the Wizard, aka Kylo Ren, right here on YouTube, Sundays and Wednesdays. Tony Vision, subscribe Tony now. Tony Vision, yeah, Baker yeah, Boys, yeah. Big baby. And we heard about this young kid from the Harbor area named Tony A, and he was a DJ, homes, and he was going in with with the big with the big stars, you know what I'm saying? And it was like one of us going in and infiltrating inside of all these MCs, you know what I'm saying? A rodeo mixtape is just mixed of different types of music, no matter what genre it is. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's like a, like making your own musical movie. When La Raza came out, man, I just, even the amount of sales of the single of La Raza that got moved out of the rhodium was it was crazy, bro, and that song just got played and was played in all the stands over there, and I was blessed to go back one time even to see it, and I want to say in 91 or 92. Although they were not black, they were Oriental, Asian, whatever you want to call them, they, they were cool, and they embraced everybody, blacks, Latinos, whoever came to the came to the swap meet the wanna buy music they were record people just do one two one two right about now easy e and dr dre's in the motherfucking house times are getting crazy it's really hard to choose it the rhodium's a spot to get funky fresh music easy motherfucking e and my homeboy dr dre mc ren is in effect and you know we don't play the rhodium is hitting, but you know you can't leave Until you get a deaf ass tape from Steve Oh Steve, oh Steve, oh Steve, just give me just one more tape Oh Steve, oh Steve, oh Steve, just give me just one more tape Oh Steve, oh Steve, oh Steve, just give me just one more tape Oh Steve, oh Steve, oh Steve, just give me just one more tape Yeah man, I came all the way down to the rodeo swap beat man To pick up one of the NWA tapes man And I talked to homeboy Steve down there man, and he said Lonzo, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You sure? Motherfucker, I'm ready, goddamn! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Hey, I see us in the motherfucking house. Y'all be like a dick is like it ain't shit. Cause I'm a player motherfucker named DJ Quick.
Hey, Tony, drop that. What, please? I bet. My name is The Croft, the C-R-A-W-F-O-R-D, the poet high C. Tony A, the wicked just as cool as a visit. Picking out his tongue, stabbing pussy like a lizard. Ooh, so sorry, homie, I didn't mean to say that. Steve is in the house. Come on, watch a play that funky dope beat. You know you gotta throw me some stylish ass crop coming straight from the rodeo. You are now about to witness Tony A. Get Yo, right about now, Dr. Dre is in effect. Cold tan shit up with my man Steve at the Rhodium Swap Meet. And we here to lay it on the line. To all them sucker niggas out there claiming our tapes and shit, we just got one thing to say. Welcome back, everybody, to Rhodium Radio. And you know when Rhodium Radio is popping, the pennies are dropping. So we're going to go ahead and jump butt naked right back into our episode 115 with Royalty and Miss Sancha. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Do that again. Oh, man. I like that shit. Oh, <laughs> okay, so now, uh, at, towards the end of the show, uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, take some calls after. Hold on, Tony, you haven't taken no shots. Uh, uh, hold on, I am. I got what it right here. What's going on? Huh? Okay, hold on. Hold on, pal. You know what okay. I mean? I mean, Jesus. You know okay. I know I made you a, a <laughs> drunk after, but what's going on? I mean. <laughs> okay, so the Miss Sancha video dropped today at 730 Tonight, yep. Tonight. Uh, you guys got to go check that out. Where, where did they look it up? Official Low Profile. Official Low Profile YouTube on YouTube. Go check it out. Go check it out. Okay, check so now, out. what can the fans expect? An EP, an album? When is that dropping? We're going to release another song in around three weeks with the video. Okay, so... Th and we're just going to continue that way. And then we're going to... When we get to around six, we're going to release the whole album. And... Uh, we, we're going to be touring this summer to Miss Sancha. People have been begging for Miss Sancha to tour. That's why I always bugged her. Right. You know, and, he did. And <laughs> I was like, I'm like no, come no, on. No, She's like, I'm too rich. You know? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, but you're not even touring. I got a sugar daddy. You know, I'm like, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it, it, it. <laughs> so, okay. So, so, so how many singles do you think you're going to drop before the album? Probably six. Six maybe singles. Maybe five. You know why? Because these artists are doing it wrong. You know, I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do some music business. School us. Today is your guys' attention span. Are, it's over. It's over. That's how quick Royal stops talking, the numbers start dropping up. That, <laughs> but I'm saying, when Royal this is what happens. <laughs> so, I want to keep your fucking mind thinking about me, because your girl will tell you about me. But I want to keep you talking, thinking about me. Every fucking three weeks, I want you to think of Miss Sancha. So every day of the week you think of me, every three weeks you think of Sancha. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, <laughs> but, so we're going to release and give you because we, we're here to work. We're not here to fucking be lazy. Mm -hmm. So boom. If I gave you the whole album today, guess what? It's These fans like, when's your next one dropping? <laughs> Ask any artist. Of course, of course. Right? They hear an album today. Well, what's out is new? <laughs> the fuck? I just spent a whole year <laughs> in my life, you know? <laughs> and that's what they're going to do. So we're going to boom, boom, boom. By the time the academic or whatever you call it, pandemic and <laughs> blah, 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 Dra Count Dracula disease <laughs> is over. Right. We'll be on tour. Fucking you bitch. <laughs> Miss Sancha, you know. Hey. Miss Sancha, you know, she's going to have to wear her gloves just to keep her fingertips clean. Right. <laughs> there it is there. <laughs> so, so, that's what we plan on doing. She's ready. Tell me, what you, you ready for touring, girl? 
I'm always ready. I okay. stay ready. So I heard, okay. Now, but this will be the first time, it, correct me if I'm wrong, that you will be traveling, touring, performing as Miss Sancha finally. First time ever. Wow. Yeah. See, now that's what people ought to go see. Because yeah. now they could go I think here. You just wear the thong on stage. I don't really know. Or if not, you I do. I, I do. <laughs> I don't like chocolate stage. <laughs> I'm not have to let you wear it, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> you see what the women want to see? You know, I'm just an innocent fat man right here. Right. Right. I want to see the booty. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I got to I gotta learn how to twerk and shit, you know what I mean? It's crazy. And I, I know that I was mad right now. The fuck we're all talking about twerking. <laughs> Stop hating. I love you, Nina. You're my boy. Stop hating. I love you. I love you. <laughs> so now you get to perform... Uh, meet and greet, meet and greet, everything. Sign the albums, sign everything. Down, autograph signing. That's dope. Miss Sanchez out here. She's ready to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we 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 had to tell you, and I'm gonna say in a bad. This is a badass bitch right here. She's crazy. You don't understand. We almost get in fights every bar we go to. This girl <laughs> drinks. I told her she had to calm down, drink. Cause she'll drink. She'll jump on your table and want to fight. We went to what point? We went to Halloween party, girl. <laughs> went to a Halloween party to her homegirl's family party. <laughs> And she was punking all the dudes there. <laughs> they were like, these dudes were trying to play Britney Spears and bring their girlfriends into dancing, twerking. They were, they were practicing the Wop Wop song. <laughs> and she's like, fuck this shit. This ain't gangsta shit. Put us a fucking easy, bitch. In and the way. Like, oh. All and that shit. And, she like, and so she took over the radio. And this white guy kept looking at me like, eh. you know what I'm like? <laughs> you can't stop when she gets faded. It's you over. can't stop me. Okay. You know what I mean? She's like uh, my other homie, Mr. D. One oh, she becomes like Mr. D's brother, a maniac, Bobby. Bobby gets Man. drinking, fists start flying. And, That's the homie. Hey, homie! I just got the prison. You know, it's a maniac. Right, right. Okay, now uh, gotta keep her smoking. For people that <laughs> may be wondering, is there any features on this album, Miss Sancho? Um, Mr. Well, Shadow. We have what? Shadow so far. Royalty, um, royalty. Sex appeal. Um, okay, Miss Sancha, part two. I'm asking Miss Sancha. <laughs> yeah, so so far we have um, Mr. Shadow, Royalty. Well, Sancho. Um, we're gonna have Sancho on there, and we have some vocals of Sancho. So okay. Sancho So we're oh. gonna we're gonna do what we do. That's so far right now. Okay. Um, this is just the beginning. I'm sure, like after this interview, there's gonna be. A few people, few people that hit us up, yeah. like they want to do it, and they're they're gonna be okay. excited and down for it. Uh, um, how many songs can we expect on the album? I mean, what, shit, about twelve. Yeah, 12, twelve, thirteen. Okay, thirteen's a good number. Thirteen's a good number. <laughs> and as far as uh, <laughs> shoot up the club, right? There. right. <laughs> and as far as uh, visuals, visuals for the majority of the songs, or yes, we're going for yeah. six right now. Yeah. Okay, but our plan is to do all, but. Yeah. We're gonna go for six. We're right gonna now. have six solid videos. We wanna be like little ones, six, six, six. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. I mean, so, okay, now this album drops. I know you've spoken to me. I believe she's included. You tell me or not about a podcast. Well, she's running the it's, it's Royal Team is such a uh, fan only fans. Yeah. Okay. It's and nice. so that's serious. Yeah. He's not playing around. No. No. We're gonna do that. Okay. Only She's fans. eating pussy and everything. Oh, I mean, doing things on there. <laughs> you know, and, and um, I mean, I'm like, I'm an innocent man. I, I don't. I'm he is married. not innocent. I, He's I, a liar. I, 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 you know, I I was offended because there's a table like this in the podcast, right? She wants to put girls on here for me and her to examine their bodies. I didn't know I was a doctor. You know, and, you know, or, or you can always lay down because you look like the guy from Operation. Remember that little? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm gonna. I, so she told me that she's bringing all her homegirls. <coughs> that you know, know, and I'm like, you down. know, let's do it. Now, can you confirm that? Definitely. Okay. I'm bringing my homegirls. We're gonna do it. Only fans, Miss Sancha. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Well, tonight. you're gonna give them what Miss Sancha's all about. Yeah. You know, and what royalty's all about. Exactly. But you, even though you're an innocent bystander, I mean, I'm mean, gonna be just drinking. We're gonna give them. We're gonna give them what they want. Right. Miss Sancha's about sucking gangster ass dick, mm -hmm. fucking bitches, mm -hmm. doing gangster shit. 
There it is there. What's up, Tony? Where you from, homie? Nowhere. Seriously. Doesn't make sense. That's what that's what that's what the people want, right? That's what the fans want. You guys want it? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We're going to give it like, to you. Uh, uh, for everyone oh, who like, don't want it and who every, everybody's talking shit, go watch another bitch. Yeah. <laughs> if you want some real shit, come watch Miss Sancha because I'm going to have all that. <laughs> there it is there. And then some. There it is there. You know, shout out to all the means. He just hit me and my boy out of means. What up, out of means? That's my homeboy right there. He took me to dinner. Motherfucker took me to Red Lobster, treat me like royalty. I mean, motherfucker, just, I said, I'm a patient. No. I, how did he say it? No. He whipped out his tits and he paid the matrix with his tits. He pulled his check out of that guy. <laughs> but the motherfucker is classy Freddy Blassie. You know what I mean? The motherfucker is, is a good dude. Yeah. Bad boy. Yeah. From Las Vegas. I didn't know they're, they're both my friends from Bad Boy. I know him longer. Mm hmm. And all it means I know him for years. He's followed our tour from all the Lowrider shows. And then I didn't know they were in a battle rap. Because you got to ask me that question before the thing about hip hop Chicanos. Right, okay. But let's get back to. Yeah, no, no. So, okay. So, when, so shout out to both of them. Okay. They, they're, 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 they had them talk. They kind of bothered, but they don't okay. need to fight over the fucking dictionary words. Get right, fuck exactly. Out of here. <laughs> you know, fucking rap from your heart and your soul, not from what you fucking read. Alienate your whole fucking family. Aye, we'll aye, get aye. into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, when can we expect this OnlyFans? Anytime soon? A week or two. Okay, so is this OnlyFans going to be the podcast? Or is it is the... Because uh, I know you... my radio show, which is... The, okay, your, your radio show. Okay. And I got the royalty. Basically, everybody wants me to be the president. You know? <laughs> I mean, look at the stimulus package. Blowjobs, massages. I mean, you know what I mean? Of course. You know, a day of drinking. Of course. I mean, we give you more holidays, you know? A exactly. Fuck, fuck a day off because the vibe is right. Right. You, you know go. what I mean? A day yeah. of Chicano rap. There you go. An old school day. You know what I mean? A weekend of all fucking. A fuck. I go. mean, switch. Switch. Just go to a different... Husbands and wives go to different houses. Yeah. And just keep it going through the city for like a month. Swinging and swapping. Swinging swapping. That's what we're going to... She... <laughs> That's what she she said. Bro, we're gonna be interviewing swingers, truck drivers, and I said, well, so we gotta set up at the strip club, you know? <laughs> and and uh, it's just gonna be a, a now these interviews on on your on your radio station. They're gonna be on both. Be. Okay, on both. So one of them's the only fan because for some reason I don't know why I I only thought because I'm ignorant of only fans. Is only fans? Is that just pictures? No, it's video. It's, oh, it's also video. Yeah, yeah. Okay. my my um. Andy Herrera, shout out to Andy Herrera, uh -huh. big Latin. He he is actually, you need to talk to that. That dude is, was the manager of Latin Shedder Brown. Mm -hmm. He got Greenside, one of their first deals. They're a big label. Um, anyways, he's part of OnlyFans. He actually works with management. And he called me and said, Roy, why don't you go to OnlyFans? I said, that's for girls. Right. Mm -hmm. And he goes, you know, for strippers. and Right, right. And he goes, no, we, they originally made OnlyFans for artists. Really? That was yeah. the original, but Crazy it enough. didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. Nobody wanted to pay for this and do this. So it was for artists to talk to their fans, and it ended up working for strippers and Better. models. You know what I'm saying? Better. They started making money. I mean, these guys are so fucking horny and desperate. <laughs> of course, I mean, they're on the internet. That's why podcasts work. They want to hear real motherfuckers have a conversation. Yeah. They don't want to listen to the radio, bro. No, because they yeah. text. Hey. And they're even, they're, they're, you know, I get people get mad at me for the way I text. I text in all capital. Why are you yelling at me? I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I don't even know the keyboard. And, and, and then I get people that, that can't even read or write, but they see me even spell something. Like, oh, you fucking, you didn't go to Harvard. I'm like, Jesus Christ. But then I see a white person text. Mexicans are real critical. I see white people from Harvard, and they're like, ESP and GBG and BBB and, and I don't understand what the fuck they're saying. I'm like, uh, what does that mean? Like, Are you kidding me? And I'm like, I don't know. What, I'm old. I don't know. You know, I'm not 52, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they have me on that fucking thing and it's crazy. So when Miss Sancha cast it, what's this? She goes, I'm down to do pornos and I'm down. I said, oh, <laughs> shit. Opens up a whole new door. I was like, Johnny O. I was just, you remember Johnny O? Yeah. Oh, my dream girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, let's do this shit. Uh -huh. So I was ready. John motherfucking Elkis, he, he already described. <laughs> I mean, how did this? I saw 
20 bucks in my PayPal. What the fuck is that? I want to be the other. I got that gangster dick, huh? Hey. And we started the website, the new low profile website is getting, it, it's built today. There's more stuff adding. You guys will be able to go on our website, something new and crazy, another innovation by my boy Lokes and me. Lokes is my my in my guy. He built it, you saw today, I showed you that Miss Sancho. When you click Miss Sancho's album cover, it takes you, it shows a list, Spotify, blah, 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 all the, all the things, or physical copy. Right, right. If you click those, it just doesn't go to Spotify and then you gotta look it up. It goes straight to the song. So if you happen to pay for Spotify or iTunes or whatever you pay for, it's gonna go straight to the song. Right. So they're gonna be loading that next couple weeks. There's so many songs to load up, but they're They're all gonna be there. So we're making it, and we started um, Spotify. Remember guys, if you go on Spotify, you go onto the low profile records, um, what do you call that, Uh, station? You know, Spotify, they make playlists. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got the low profile records uh, playlist classics. Or just go low profile and they play it. And we got Chicano rap. You could go play a playlist. You could play all Chicano rap from Night Out, Little One, Essay Rich Rock, Kid Frog. Everyone's on there. Okay. You know? It's building. It, you, you can continue to add songs. Okay. And then I got the radio show coming back where I'm going to talk shit and do my fat one and Jose Luis. Miss Sanchez is going to be there. She, she's my co host. And then we got, she's, she's going to be getting girls naked. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, oh, you know, it's, it's a good time to promote it. Fun. It's oh. a good time to promote it. Okay, I'm, now, question. I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty on this one, okay? Because I asked somebody this last time. You called me up and you started yelling at me. You go, hey, I, you know, I really like you and I'm a nice guy, but I got to really tell you how I feel. I said, okay, cool. Oh how in the fuck do you? That's what you told me. <laughs> I just listened. Okay, cool. I don't believe it. Go ahead. So I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Since the beginning, and this is for you as well, okay? And let's just say 1990, that's when La Raza came out, okay? Okay, since 1990 to 2020, 30 years of Chicano rap. Let's just say, let's just say it started. I'm not saying the movement, but let's just say it started 1990. What is it called Chicano rap? Okay. 30 years now, okay? Who would you say, now let me finish the question. Who would you say is the face of Chicano rap today? Here's what the fans are saying. Here's what the fans are saying. So I have to say this. And yeah. some people say, and this is not in order. Okay. Some people would say uh, Conejo. Okay. Hmm? So I'm, I'm just telling you what fans say. Hmm? Okay. Conejo. Some people will say uh, King Little G. None of love for Conejo. We, we know, I took him on his first tour. Right. We were homies. I, I, I got to finish. Right. Uh, King Little G. Okay. Some people would say Frost. Mm-hmm. Some people would say Frank B. Who? Okay. You heard me. Uh, uh, some people even said Night Owl. So you let's just say. Little Rock? No one said Little Hold, Rock? I'm not done yet. <laughs> See, I told, let me finish. I <laughs> can't. Okay. So let's go over these five. And then, and then um, so I said uh, King Little, Little G, Conejo, okay, Frank B, Kid Frost, and uh, uh, some people said Night Owl. There's a face. Hold on. And then. Uh, some people say Little Rob. So we have six to choose from, okay? You may not agree, but this is what the fans have said whenever I've asked them or whenever, whenever on the live chat name, or whatever. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm a pain in the ass. Okay, so now. <laughs> you're the Mexican curly for the Three Stooges. That's what we were. <laughs> okay, okay, so now, who would you say, would you disagree with any of those? Yes. yes. Okay, would you disagree with any of those? From my point of view? Yes, just for I would say Frost. Okay, Frost. The song was Frost. That was the part two. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Okay, but that's... When I when I first heard Frost, and like, even like um, Frank V and yes. the proper those, I was excited. You're saying the face of today, though. Oh, today? Of all. Of today. Since, of today. since, since 1990 to, to, to 2020. Who is the face that when people okay. say... I'm going to give you the face. Okay, for an example, it's like... Little Rob or, or Kid Frost, one of them. Okay, uh, I'll reality. give an example. That's reality. I'll give you an example so that you can understand what I'm talking about. When, when I say Some golf... Of faces you don't When I see. say golf, who's the first person you think of? It's Little Frost. Frost. Tiger Woods. No, when I say golf, like golf... I think of a white guy. People think <laughs> Tiger Woods. When we say basketball, people think Tyrone. Jordan or, Col- or Kobe. Col- Jordan. Okay, that's what I mean by the face. Mm. Okay, so you're saying Frost or Little Rob? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so now, when we say Chicano rap, who's the first person that pops into your mind? Hmm? Then you said the face. Yeah. Remember my lines. And I want you guys to listen very fucking clearly. Bitches lie. <laughs> Homies lie. <laughs> Rappers always lie. Numbers don't. Right. Tony, I don't even want to fucking say it because this person is not that fucking handsome. Wow. But does it matter if he's handsome? Well, no, it doesn't. Dick's nice. <laughs> listen, listen. He has a nice dick. Oh, really? Listen, listen. Does he have a nice dick? You're going to want to know about this. I'm going to check it out. Okay. <laughs> Tony. Yes. A lot of these men have been on your here. Right, right. I understand that. And this is, the, this is the... This... Tony, you're the voice of Chicano rap right now. Meaning, you have the platform. I run the game. This this is the platform. And all these people didn't want to say my name because I was known as the bully because these liars. Chicano rappers. Right. Numbers don't fucking lie. From Frost to everyone. What's your highest fucking number? The ugliest fat motherfucker, five fucking hours. Who has more... I outpassed all you motherfuckers in one fucking night. Numbers don't lie, my bro. Who was your highest fucking, your, your highest fucking number podcast, Tony? You can say it. <laughs> Who is your highest number podcast? <laughs> you got to say it, my bro. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Annoy me, motherfucker. <laughs> These are the facts. Right. Num do numbers lie, Tony? No. And I'm a, I was supposed to be a no one. No one gave me a shout out. No one gave a fuck. Everyone tuned in. Mm -hmm. We hit numbers these motherfuckers can never hit in their We're life. They're still tuned in. They're tuned in. What's up, my homies? I got love for all these motherfuckers. They all have a part in Chicago, but I have a part of building the game. Right, right. From That's inside out. That's a different story. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, but, so, and the part I build, we'll go to Little Rob. The numbers don't lie. He's outsold everyone. Okay. Including your boy Frost. So, uh, well, she knows me. Rob. I understand that. So you're so, saying. So the the face right now, I'm going to say is you because you're giving a platform. That, no, no, listen. It, 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 you can say whatever. If people go Chicano rap, they're going to look at, they're going to look on the internet. They're going to know you're bringing it to the game right now. All these rappers, they had to come here to get re recognized again. And the man that took all the numbers. Who is it? Who took the numbers? I want you to say it. Don't, don't let me say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got motherfuckers saying, oh man, motherfuckers are hating me. But the numbers don't lie. The work, the work is fucking amazing. Right. The fucking, the, the legacy is amazing. If I die tomorrow, I'm legendary, baby. <laughs> so the face and numbers, because remember, all these guys came on here. I took them out in one fucking day in their whole nine months. Yeah. I didn't make that up. I didn't even want to come on here. Being honest. The reason I came on here, because I've always controlled my own destiny. That's why I made my own radio show. That's why Ala Means, my homie, was say, Royal was the first of it. Because I just did things because I go, I knew you didn't give a fuck about me. He didn't give a fuck about that. And so I said, I'm going to do it myself. And right. I did it. So I didn't want to come in here until I noticed all my homies that I've distributed and helped and they've, you know, we've worked. They didn't say, shout out to my boy Royal. They were saying shout out to Little Rob, who they weren't even friends with. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? So the numbers don't lie. I'm not going to say I'm the face, but my numbers are. You know, so you're saying the numbers speak for themselves? My numbers are Mandingo. Okay. <laughs> Mandingo. They're just large. <laughs> right, right. The numbers are Mandingo. You know what I mean? You love Mandingo? Mandingo. Mandingo. Okay. I love Mandingo. Now, now, girls get turned out by. <laughs> look at her mom was excited today. You know what I tell your mom? What I tell your mom? It took the right man to turn your daughter out. <laughs> I told her that. Then first she said, "Wow." You know, it's another story, but I. Can tell. <laughs> but then, her mom's gonna choke me later too, cause my her mom mom's beautiful. Him. My mom loves him. Okay. Saying, All right. Saying, you know okay. Saying. But okay. Now, her okay. mom's a beautiful lady. She, she she tried to get at my heart, homie. She made me guess at the end. <laughs> she made him guess at the end, and she mm. brought him salsa. You know what they say? The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So there you go. See what I pull it out. I'm fucking fat now. You know. <laughs> but listen. So the man, I'm gonna say, it's not me. 
you, Tony, and I know you didn't want to take that, but the game died. When my mom died, I stopped. 2007. I didn't have nothing more to prove. I had 150 albums out. Top of the fucking market. I don't give a fuck what they say. They couldn't touch my numbers from any artist. They, What's your most selling record? I don't know because I would have to do so much research because my whole shit sold like a cult. If you bought Mr. Sancho, you bought Little Rob. If you bought Little Rob, you bought OFI. Someone called today about fucking OFI. That record's 20 years old. You hear what I'm telling you? Yeah. People start asking about, oh, when I got did your show, I sold her on 100 OFI. Uh, they went to my website, lowprofilerecords.com. Plug, plug. And uh, <laughs> they bought physical copies. They have so much on my catalog that they didn't have OFI. They start looking for weird stuff, I'm like the lowest stuff in my catalog, which I know it's lower, meaning I'm not just no disrespect to none of my artists, but they wanted to add that to their collection. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. G-Lo, G-Lo's and... So, the voice, you brought it back to life. I mean, you woke a giant, not the sleeping giant, but the real giant, <laughs> back to life. And so I'm going to give you that, that award. I feel I could give that to you. I've been impressed. So, homie, look at me. What did they say? They said I'm a, what do they call a dude that's all about himself, maniac dude? Which I never was in public. I, was all, I always said, I was the only artist that could say, hey, I would pull over and say, hey, this is my boy Night Owl. I didn't say, I'm royalty, because it's easier to, it, it's actually easier for me to promote you. Hey, my homegirl Sancha. When I called you, I'm going to bring Sancha on. Right, right. I said, you're going to bring me in to talk again. They know I'm going to talk shit. You know, mm -hmm. my boy Sancho, that's that's Kush boy, uh, that's little bandit, you know. Put your fucking mask on him, you know. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> but it's easier for me to so I promoted so now when I came on, I'm finally like, you know what? Okay, I, I, I was impressed. I, I'm thinking first I want to thank the fans, thank you motherfuckers for watching me. Mm -hmm. I, I was impressed. I, I was ready for fucking pure hate, like fuck royalty. Because mm -hmm. I always said, fuck royalty. I'm like, right, give the fuck, you know. But he said, fuck with And they're like, hey, Ro, you cool, motherfucker. You're real. I don't got nothing to lie about. So the voice, <laughs> the face right now, 52-year-old motherfucker, might look more handsome than me, wrong muscles, Tony A. Well, you know what? Because you're in all the videos. Look, let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you, but I will say this from my humble heart. That's for the fans to decide, and I'll leave it at that. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Let's make it better. As a promoter, Thank you guys for even King Little G deserves it. Cornejo stepped up his game since I known him. He was on the bottom of the barrel, yeah. and he did a fucking incredible movie with the, her, her. She knows the people that directed that movie. Right. David Ayer. Yeah. yeah, I worked with him, and he's amazing. Amazing, and, and you know what? I I wanted to Cornejo. We've had our up and downs. But we respect. I, I hear his respect. Cornell's and we, G. Yeah, we both respect until we've had our things, and we used to hang out. And uh, I was very impressed. The movie, overall, the storyline sucks. Mm -hmm. If you want to go fantasy movie, mm -hmm. fantasy. I'm, like, I'm not involved. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. First of all, you're never gonna have the paisas take over the homies, and you're never gonna. The homies are never gonna have to have black dudes help take over. The paisas. That doesn't happen. That's fantasy fucking so that's a wreck. But let's take it to Hollywood. Let's let's get out of the <laughs> dumb, hateful shit. Right. <laughs> I was impressed. You, you didn't watch it at first. I watched it. My whole family watched it. Yeah, you called me, you told me. I was it. excited. I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. And I, as much as I wanted to say, you know, me and Cornell are driven, we dissed each other. And I said, and I was like, I wanted to I I, I was kinda Excited for him. Yeah. I wanted to call him, say, hey, homie, congratulations. Thank you, for the you, you are bad as fuck. Like, he came off Cornell hard. Like, oh, yeah. show up. He did it, yeah. He, <laughs> he came off hard to that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like when he cut the girls now. Like, that's too much. But but the, he it. played his part one million. Mm -hmm. so I, I was excited. So he deserves it. Night I was been putting it down. Says, I'm brown to the bone. <laughs> I, man, that record, when I heard that, I was like, oh, shit, you know? And we knew, it, we were in different parts of, it ain't today, social media is so big, it makes the world small. Back then, just San Diego was our whole world. Our mind was, we couldn't, LA was like, 
I'm gonna tell you, it's so crazy. When I first used to come to LA, go to Moore Alexander and Sunset, when I first turned 16, driving my car was cassettes. My mom used to make me a lunch. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. and be scared if I'm gonna run out of gas because yeah. Disneyland was all, all orange trees. It was no fucking, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So we come through LA, like, Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I mean, they're gonna break down, what's gonna happen? It wasn't until like they called AAA, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm walking, I'm, you know, a fat Mexican kid, I could have got molested in Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I got a demo, who wants to help me? I'm a rapper, you know? So that never happened? <laughs> Maybe, you know? <laughs> Only fans. I'll never tell, you know? Oh, but, uh, you know, I could have been molested. A lot of women get molested. Oh I had nice Chi Chi, I'm in Hollywood, you know what I'm Just saying? Little. So. <laughs> So, um, okay, I gotta ask you the next part of the question. So, Frost, he deserves it. Okay. The motherfucker, regardless of the bullshit we could take, we could take a path on anyone on some bullshit. Okay, okay. Here's the, the part two to the same question, okay? When it came to Chicana rap or Chicanas, okay, people would say, again, the fans, not me. Some people would first mention JV. JV. Some people would mention uh, Miss Crazy. Some people actually mentioned today Snow the product. You know, I'm mad about what you're saying right now. Hold on. I saw that when they asked you that, and if you would have fucking paid attention to your shit. Hold on. I don't pay attention. Look, look, look I got my time right there. Okay? I watched it. No, that day. Okay, let me finish, bro. I, that day, I called you. Anyways, let me finish. So, and then. I'm being abused. So, <laughs> his words are mean. The new, I'm a new kid right now. I'm a young kid. <laughs> okay, so here. Social media. JV, Miss Crazy. Snow the product. Some people even went as far as Who saying, are these artists? Okay. Uh, some people even went as far as saying Reverie. Um, uh, Reverie's so, finding nasty like Miss Sancha. Okay, hold on. Oh. So, so, there's, oh, shit. so there's four of them. There's, there's, there's four of them. Do you agree with any of those four? No. Um, I'll give flowers to all of them. Okay. Because I want to fuck. But. <laughs> no. Wait, say, say that a little bit closer. I'll give them, four, I'll give them all flowers. All beautiful women. They deserve flowers. Okay. I'll give it to JV. But JV was not part of You know JV. Right. I know JV. I was going to work with JV. That was going to be a... I was doing right. my... She was I'll doing it with JV. JV. But JV was blowing up. Yeah. But we know JV's a white girl who was a stripper who was not into being a rapper. You know that, Tony. She was really a white girl? Yeah. I did not uh, know that. Uh, Damn. Tony, am I lying? Um, I want you to be honest for once in your life. <laughs> you yeah. fucking she liar. Have you she? been lying she to John motherfucking Elkins? Seriously, she was a white girl? Yeah, she was, it was John Elkins' daughter. Fuck? <laughs> Don't believe his ass. <laughs> Don't fuck? believe his ass. Stay away. Damn, she JD, was a, I was she was a Bill Walker creation. Yeah, from Thump. I don't, I don't know what she, she was. was. Okay, you okay. tell me if I'm lying because I told her what you said. She's Chicana. I don't want to fucking rap ever. I don't give a fuck about this business. I tried to help her out many times. She right. was great. I would, She could rap. I mean, I would go to the show. I used to open for her. At that time, she was dope. Yeah, she, she was, was dope. one of the best. She was the best at that time. Yeah. She was. Yeah. Massage loves her. Okay. We're going to give JV. JV was the first one I knew of as a girl rapper. Okay. She kind of rapped. So Miss Crazy came after Mrs. Sancha. Yeah. Uh, Miss Pinks came after Miss Sancha. Now, when you say came after, like wanted to work with? No, came after. Ne never had a record. And you would understand, say, Jimmy, Eric Kings? Yeah. He was a guy, when my mom died, he made his label. He used to buy records off me. And he called me, Royal, uh, if you didn't want to do it, I would have helped you out. He even tried to copy me and made a Brown Pride record. <laughs> and used Payaso, one of my artists, <laughs> to be on this compilation. He's my boy. I got no hate towards towards Jimmy. He knows. I've called him before your show, after your show. Well, I'm telling you. See, when you ask about stories, and then you're looking at a 20, 30-year deal. Yeah. Okay. So, he was a kid that we sold record to, to his boss, not to him. And he watched the game. And he loved the game. That motherfucker's full game. But he made these artists. He tried to make his own low-profile records. Okay. Be honest with you. Well, maybe you inspired him. Yeah. Okay, like Capone. Like, that. And like, like Capone brought me his demo. I showed him. I'm not dissing Capone. Capone's put in work. I told you guys a story about him already. He's hit me up tonight. We're going to have a meeting this week. We're going to do a Rasay night. 
So I'm not hating on you're making it sound like hate. It, these oh, questions. I'm not no. even talking. No, no, I'm saying Chicano <laughs> rap when we when we when we break down people, because see, everyone's been scared to talk. But when we break down people, people feel like because you say something that they might not feel they get bothered. Yeah, you you, you can't I'm not walk, hating on you can't walk people. on eggshells, bro. Yeah. I'm on eggshells and I crush them, but I'm just saying. I'm fat, you know what I mean? But I give them all their flowers. Like yeah. I eat Conejo Promise. from from night out to Conejo to they all deserve it. Okay. But there's a person that made a movement. Yeah. And those were, those movements weren't created without this movement being made. Right. So when you ask me the question is if the I face. was so uninteresting and I wasn't the the face and the voice, why are my numbers higher? Okay, now let's get back. Only one that might beat me is a Cuban that'll be on here soon. But I mean, oops, I'm not supposed to say things. Oh, but go ahead. Wow. <laughs> okay, so da, 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 me stop. I'm, I'm, and then, these are the way of the walk. Anyways, you're you're hilarious, bro, and I love it. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Tony. Know, Tony, bro. where's your fucking drink at, homie? <laughs> Hold Put on, your drink now. on. You know? Okay, okay. So, oh, so the God. face of Chicana rap yeah, today is who? Okay. So the face of Chicana rap today is who? Okay. There is. I'm gonna say this in an overall face. Yes. There's two faces. Okay. As a girl that made an actual movement. Okay. Meaning, they got Capone to make a Miss Pink's, and got a. Uh, Urban Kings to make, and these guys won't admit this shit, but there's okay. a track record. You could miss, go, Miss, Miss Pinks. Miss. I, I, I No, I'm saying it's a miss. We were Miss Sancha first. Oh, yeah, no, no, oh, 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 I'm telling you. Yeah, we had Miss Sancha. Okay. Then there became a Miss Pinks. Then there became a Miss Crazy. And there actually was another crazy. Really? There's misses all over. Yeah, you know, another Miss Cray that was <laughs> Lakote was another artist okay. of Capone. Okay. Who had a girlfriend. Lakota. Who he raps with her now. What is her name now? Uh, Thug Angel. Thug Angel. Okay. She's hard. Gangster bitch. I mean, from the hood, like right. real shit. I mean, she rapes that dude. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we got a case. Not she that. rapes the <laughs> No, no. The this fuck? Guy, not Capone. Oh, okay. Uh, so. <laughs> What I'm saying is, a lot of artists, JV was like a, let's say, a mainstream 10 yeah. years before everything. Yeah. Okay. So I give that to JV. Because without JV, the way we went to, oh, that's kind of hard because then we go to Teardrop. But tear, Teardrop but, and JV. That's but it. JV was more complete. Teardrop was a girl that wrapped the verse and never did nothing else. Right. Her boyfriend, she, I know the whole story. I was, ma my manager was Double TX. <laughs> So, yeah, her man, Beto. Beto, didn't let her rap. Okay. She asked if she was going to fuck ODM, probably. ODM's a maniac. I'm joking. I'm joking, ODM. I'm oh, joking. Shit. He's oh, shit. He's a maniac. But, so, tear, but Teardrop exploded to a new level because of that verse. Latin active was humongous. That record was humongous. Yeah. Right, right, right. So, right. it's kind of, that's a toss-up to both of them made a movement, mm -hmm. but then no one came out for years. Even yeah, us. A long time. Then, let's get out of the 90s. Mm -hmm. 2003, Miss Sancha, and then Miss Pinks, and then Miss Crazy, mm -hmm. or double Miss Crazy. And Reverie just came out. It's a whole different style. She's doing her thing. She's traveling. I know her DJs to work at my sessions, mm -hmm. and they travel the world. Yeah. Uh, so, if you want to go to face, Of uh, not face, but the beginning of, of girl Chicana rap, I would have to give it to who would you pick between JV and them? I, I take JV because she actually did work, she actually performed, okay, she toured in Japan. Everywhere. JV, JV to me was doing her thing. Um, did you kiss her? No, okay, I did not I didn't because at that time I was too young, okay, and I was kind of, did you, you want know, to? I had a boyfriend. Did you want to kiss her? No, I didn't. No? I had a boyfriend, liquor. No, okay. I was not <laughs> trying to do that. Was, JV I was part like of a I scandal said. though with the young bucks. She had them get naked so uh, that's a long story. Yeah. I was like it like when when I was opening up for JV, it was mm -hmm. a lot of low rider shows. Did you ask me if I wanted to? And at that time, no I didn't because I didn't know you. But I was, well, you can ask me now. I was opening a Bro, lot, I was on tour with Mario Lopez yes. and Gerardo. He was like, Yes, awesome. We were doing we were doing all these shows everywhere. 
and JV was the queen at that time. Yeah. You know, and and, so, and I was 14, 15 mm. opening up. Like, I didn't. I JV was around 48. No, I'm joking. Damn. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. No, she wasn't. Okay. Younger than 52, but switch, switch, switch your gears here. I'm going to So JV's the woman of. Did the hard JV work of the gun around. Put it down. Okay, there yeah. we go. That's dope. But, Miss. Now, I could give them. Now, let's give them all flowers. There's right. not that many girl rappers. Okay. Okay. And I'll give. I'm gonna, I know. I, I not study. Too many Chicano I rappers. eat and sleep all this bullshit. Let's go to Miss Sancha. That music was out of face, was out of thing. Blew up bigger than all. It sold more than. First of all, it sold more than all these girls rappers. Okay. That, that's a fact. Without a face. Without a face, without an interview, without anything. That's amazing, homie. No face. Now let's go to Miss Pink's. Negative person, a little bit, because of the... No, 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 no. I met her and I've talked to her. And I said, hey, I'm very... I, I, I walked up on her at a car show. And I grabbed her hand. And I said, what's up, girl? You know who I am? I looked at her with a smile. You know, it's a smile. And I said, I said, you know, girl, I'm proud of you. I said, you a hustling ass motherfucker. What Capone needed you because she did more work than Capone. This girl would go street to street, hustle to hustle. I'm, I'm talking about this Chicano rapper that you love that just stay at fucking home. Miss mm -hmm. Pink was in a tour bus, getting shot out, everything, going cities, even more cities than me after I was burned out already, you know? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Was 10, 15 homies, but just rolling, hustling ass bitch. Made Capone a few million dollars. She hustled. So, I so give her the flowers as a hustling ass bitch. She actually didn't had more balls than and that's no disrespect on the, the people that make jokes. The clique, uh. Then the whole all the homies in her, her camp. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect to the homies, but that bitch traveled mm -hmm. and willing to fucking handle any with anybody. She's even been fought with a dude. Yeah. And didn't get knocked out. <laughs> oh boy. So I don't know. That <laughs> but so I give her flowers because she's a hustling ass bitch. Must even respect. She deserves respect. Clap for her. There you go. There you go. Hey, there she deserves it. So now, uh, so, uh, now let's go. Let's go to Miss Crazy. Okay. Miss Crazy. Ms. She Crazy. takes pictures like royalty. I look very sexy in my pictures. She looks very sexy, and she was a big woman. I met her. I was like, damn, you royalty or me royalty? I mean, <laughs> but her pictures were amazing. <laughs> but let's throw that dumb shit because hers don't even matter. People could diss her like I just did. Say, fuck it, she's a fat girl. She does. Man, she had the women loving her unbelievably because she spoke like Miss Sancha, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. She spoke to the women about the relationships and their heart. Respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That made the women say, we don't give a fuck. What anyone yeah. says, yeah. you are a goddess. Mm hmm. And that, I, I won't say bitch because she's such a goddess that, I mean, she raps in Spanish and English. Mm -hmm. She was traveling, she was touring Mexico. She fucking deserves it. My like, brother loved Miss Crazy. Her brother, tell me about, what's his, what's his name when he dresses like Miss Sancha gave uh, you? Um, Angel Baby. Angel, look at that on YouTube. That dude was crazy before YouTube. I mean, <laughs> it was amazing. We try to bring he all this. Like he loved Miss Crazy. Yeah, so, you know? so then we're going to store the product. <laughs> okay. Energy. She wants to lick Misancha. Uh -huh. She actually got a track. Misancha got a track from her. What's the girl's name that sent you a track? Was most of them on her? Which one? I remember you were supposed to do a track. Was uh, some DJ girl sent you a track? Was uh, Snow the product on it? Oh, Charisma. Charisma sent her a track with Snow on it. I wasn't impressed. But Snow the product, hustling ass woman. Mm -hmm. A man, a beast. I mean, she became a man. But, you know, especially with a girl. But <laughs> I'm saying, she's been on TV you shows. She's been working. Am I lying, though? Snow, Snow is a beast. You she's had a bigger that. dick you than can't. some of the rappers. I mean, they're she's strap, I mean, she's hard. Yeah. And, hey, her work, that's more than all the Chicano rappers you've had on this show. Mm -hmm. Like Royal T, she's traveled, grabbed her balls. <laughs> <laughs> and traveled the world, right or wrong. Yes. So, I think. <laughs> no, you can see. Well, I, I don't know. Regardless, she had a, but no, I don't lie to you, homie. You can do your homework. But she's traveled. They, they spent a lot of money that didn't work the way they wanted to work. But as far as Chicago rap, she's successful. Right. Okay. You know? And who? what's the last artist you said? Reverie? Traveled the world. Who else? I think that was it. Oh, now let's go to. Remember, I said there's two faces. 
Those are the old faces. Right. Sanchez was the new. Now let's give the new face. Bella. Okay. But I think Bella, and I don't know Bella. I know right. you know Bella. I've talked to you many times about Bella because right. it, it, it excites me because I, mm. I was part of creating Miss, uh, Miss Sanchez. Uh, so I, I love the women. You understand, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, so you guys don't know I'm not sexist, I'm not that. I come from my mom and my, my sister, that's it. You know, so I don't ever just, my jokes are jokes, but reality, I'm here to empower women. That's why I'm giving them all flowers. So Bella, I'm impressed. I've hit her up one time. She wouldn't hit me up. She's like, fuck that guy, probably. I know. Then, <laughs> before, before she ever came to this interview, I saw a rapper. I was like, damn. Right. I didn't like when she did the hard track. I told you that. Mm -hmm. I said, damn. Like When I heard her first track when she's walking, it was kind of old school. This is what I felt. I was like, I told you about this too. I was excited. I show, I, she showed me and I showed her. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, I said, man, I was so raw. It was beautiful because it was kind of lyrical. Mm -hmm. It wasn't she kind of rap, but it wasn't gangster, but it was hard. She was herself. It was herself. Yeah. And I didn't know where she was going, but I liked it. I was impressed. I was like, the video, like, oh, she looked kind of cute, young girl. You can make something happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Then her next song that she just put out, the video, not the songs. I thought, like, I don't want to hear a girl being so hard. You know, I don't kiss the tip of my gun and... I was like, uh, it just didn't excite me. Right, you know? right, right. So I said, you know what? I'm not done with her. Remember I called you? I said, she needs to change it a little bit. I like that first one, but this one kind of went hard. Remember I told you that? Right, right, right. And I, then I, her album, I, I watched her interview. I'm very impressed by her. Mm -hmm. And I said, let me hear, I said, I went and got her, listen to her thing, her EP. And I was like, okay, she's hard and there's a good track and she's, I like the story. The I, I hate that I can't remember the name. What's the song about her life that things she's been through? I don't remember the type by the title. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yes. Remember I told you that. Yeah, you were telling and me. This song, ah, fuck. I, I have it on my phone, but I was like, I like that. Play it for me, because I, I believe that might be the one that my boy AMG produced for. Yeah. Oh. It, it's it's okay. a good about her song. It's about yeah. her life. Yeah. And it's like all the struggles, and I was like, man, I'm impressed. I mean, that's what I liked about it. Like, hey, you're raw. Yeah. But don't lose it, girl. Don't. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fat, ugly dude, so I'm real critical on women. I, I can never fuck a fat woman. I, I, what am I going to do, Russell and shit? You know what I mean? So I'm a very picky individual. Uh, my, my taste I just, is... I, I I'm like Mike visual. Tyson. My, my taste is extravagant. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luscious. Devastating. It's spicy to your ear. But anyways, I'm like, girl, get on your workout. I see your face a little chunk. I see it. But you nice look. You're too young, forever me. Yeah. Don't look at me as a sugar daddy. You know, you you probably <laughs> should probably shoot me for she saying what I'm saying. Like I'm just saying, she's a little gangster girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. But <laughs> she's a beautiful little girl. This is a real business girl. I wish I could talk to you for a second. Get on, get get on your uh, uh, get on your your workout. Get on your workout. Get back to your first song and a life song. Because girls out there don't want to hear a hard you word. It's harder. Bitches live a, and I'm going to say it like that because you guys, I know you girls talk like bitch. I, I, I listen to these girls talk. Mm -hmm. These bitches live hard lives. Harder than, they, they do the struggles and piece of shit dudes and all kind of shit. So girls want to hear your struggle. That struggle was awesome. Uh, and when she explained it, the story was fantastic. And the one, that first song, if she does that, next level. Yeah. Um, okay, I want to switch up gears here because I want to ask you something real serious, okay? Um, hold on. No, no, ho hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know you're going into your meditation, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be like busy, but I want to go the fire of the sun, the holy moly. <laughs> oh, shout out to, um, what was the guy you had on here? My man. He's going to get mad at me because he said I didn't say his name. Oh, no, the black Mexican. The black Mexican. Mm -hmm. Frank Nitty. Frank Nitty. Frank Nitty, shout out to my boy. What's up, Nitty? Okay, so I'm going to ask you one more question, and then we're going to go to calls, okay? Okay. okay. How does. Can I get the sweat how, from my balls? Oh, God. <laughs> calls and balls and all that. <laughs> rapper. I'm a rapper. Wow. <laughs> hey, if you got, if he never comes on Rodeo Radio again, now you guys know why, because this motherfucker doesn't let me talk. <laughs> he loves the okay. rating. He loves the okay. rating. <laughs> okay, so. What happened? 
on okay. a thing. So, so, so it's just a rat. Anyway. A rat. Right. <laughs> don't trip. Hey, shit. Okay. So now, how do you want to be remembered? What What do you want your legacy to be? You. Um, that I that I put a lot of artists on, and that um, we had a good fucking time, and that I wasn't a serious motherfucker and I had fun. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like okay. when you hear me talk and you actually know Royal T, you're gonna know I try to help people. I try to get our raza to another level. Okay. Like I've never changed up. Um, I was in a group when I first started. There was no Mexican rappers, all twelve black dudes. I never said the N word. I don't have to. I'm mean, not me. I, my right. life is my life, you know? Um, and that's mainly it. I try so, to try so out my people. So you want to be remembered as helping your people, giving people opportunity to open doors for them. Okay. You know any artists that put more artists on than me? You know, that's a very good question. I know some people would probably debate. Now, me, I don't know. Okay. Oh, like, no, I'm asking. No, you I, know. I, I don't. I didn't ask you, you know. Right. Hold on. Willie Wonka. Uh, or uh, what's the guy side? What's the side? What's the, the most smartest guy in the world? I Einstein. Yeah. He goes Einstein. off the of numbers. Ronnie Dangerfield. Oh, yeah. I went to his last show before he died. Beautiful man. Maybe that's why he died. Yeah. He you showed up. <laughs> I get no respect. Your fucking face will never get no respect. <laughs> he died in jail. That was the last word he said. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, 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 but, no, but you know what? But that that is true, though. That is something oh, to think about. Shit. How you know who can I beat you? I made it? careers. I put people on. I lowered myself as an artist. Like when you asked me, proper dose. I was so excited. Right. I gave him free money when I first started, and then I, my song, Luisa, who's that about to win a six hundred? Blunt, it's the royal memory because I gave him that song. That's one of his best songs on that album. Then I give to the Rasa run this motherfucker hell yeah. To the we we did this, we both did this records, and um, I just kept giving my artists my records because I saw as an artist when I went on tour, and I saw the way the women and I saw the way the business was. I saw that these women didn't want to see a fat dude sing a love song, so I made my alter ego, which was Sancho. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's better for a little cute guy to sing a love song. There's a fat dude to the wind. The <laughs> just a man with blonde hair blowing in the wind going, <laughs> I love you. You know? <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> I throw kisses and the crowd's moving from side to side. <laughs> for the, <laughs> I'm, can, I, can I throw out the number, John? Yo throw, throw out the number. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take some calls real quick. Take some calls. Uh, uh, as we wind down, we got Hopefully about... Hopefully calling for Miss Sancha. Okay, we got a couple of more minutes, and then we're going to... Miss Sancha said, send some dick pics. Tony A said, yeah. <laughs> Royalty said, nah. Okay, everybody. So, once again, everybody on the live chat, uh, give, give us a call. Okay, we got a caller. Okay, caller. Royal caller, Dick caller. Here. I can't hear. Go ahead. Who that thing? Yes. Oh, nice. Caller. Caller, caller, my what better guy's in your uh, ear on what, me. What's your name, man? Where are you calling from, brother? My name is Nate and come from Colorado. Colorado's in the house. How you doing? Colorado. Go ahead and really ask away, brother. Um, yeah, my question is for royalty. Yes, can um, I help you? You want to know uh, what was up with that uh, Busy Bone and Kalipa Thugs? It's coming now. I, I just played with the Sancho the other day and um, sounds good. I just, it's going to come out soon. I just didn't, like I told Tony, if oh. you listen to this interview, I, didn't, I could have put out these records a long time ago, but I needed my family back together. I needed, you know, that's, a, that's another question for Tony, but, you know, legacy and talk about, uh, <laughs> Mr. Sancho sold more records than all your fucking famous artists that you talk about. There's facts. Okay, He's who? next to Little Rock. All of them, homie. Okay, Dr. All Dre, Easy e DJ Quick. Chicano rap. Okay, then be more all specific. Of all of them. Okay. <laughs> All of them. Be oh, more oh, he sold more than a DJ Quick last 10 fucking worthless albums. <laughs> Let's be honest about it. Chicano rap, homie. Mm -hmm. Your homie in the interview. Hey, the question is for him, oh, bro. Sorry, Come on, me and Tony in another discussion. Dude, watch this. Look at Tony. The question. Remember you had that dude on your 100th episode? What's the guy's name? Soren Baker. Great dude. Mm -hmm. But he runs a black podcast, right? He, he, he runs a podcast. Okay, I want to tell my rasa. I want you guys to listen to this. No, listen to this. It's a big deal. Oh, right. And I, and I told Tony this. And Tony confirmed this. That guy's been doing podcasts for four years. You've only done it for one year, right, Tony? Yes, one year. That guy's interviewed from 
Dr. Dre's son and Ren and Yella and all these black artists, DJ Quick and High C and and um, who's that? Bubba, that's my pimp. What's the name? Um, Sugar Free and all these guys. For four fucking years, Tony's been doing it. This is flowers for Tony and for Chicano rap. Tony's did Chicano rap for one fucking year. And he has more viewers, more video plays than that dude in four fucking years off one year because Chicano rap, we ran the fucking West Coast as soon as I got signed. Tupac died in 96 and fucking like I was signed in 97 and we took over the whole fucking West Coast to 2006. We were just signing autographs on Sunset Boulevard. There was no black rap. The black rap here was not, there was nothing here. You know what was here? It was in a, why don't you back that ass up? Uh, who was that? Juvenile. Cash money. Cash Juvenile. money. Juvenile. When I got a deal, they got a $30 million deal. I got $20,000 deal. I know, but, but answer his question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Chicano rap this man Tony A has outdid this so called mainstream that Tony A loves Chicano rap fucking faded that shit in one fucking year cause we ran the fucking west coast and when you guys say west coast legend you better mention names like Night Owl Royal T Little Rob Shadow Kid Frost um, the G fellas rest in peace Low Pain because we ran the fucking west coast I'm tired of hearing hey, all these old hey, fathers agreed Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, no, so, real soon give me your question, that, brother. Uh, that collaboration with the Khalifa Thugs and, and Busy Bone. You know, that shit's going to come out, homie, but I just, like I told you in earlier, if you listen to this, this show, I didn't like doing it without my brothers, homie. And I could put out this shit. I own this shit. I paid for this shit. I, I need to make my money back, but I'm just not, it just doesn't feel right. So I reached out. They reached out. We, we talking, and we're going to release some shit. Don't trip. Busy Bone ain't going to get no unhired. <laughs> that motherfucker was praying a hallelujah in the studio. You gotta see that on my DVD. That motherfucker, please pray the Lord, my father, my son, and the kids, my daughter. I'm like, holy shit. I said, hey, homie. He tried to come with all these raps and all these lyrics. I said, bro, that's when your boy and Frank Nitty came. I didn't pay him to ever get a hold of Frank Nitty. I got a hold of him and he tried to cut another story. But, but, uh, Okay, you it's gonna come out, my boy. It's gonna come out. We're gonna make sure you get a copy in Colorado because I want all the women to swallow in Colorado. You know what I mean? Okay, so, so they can expect in 2021? 21. 2021. Okay, homie, you heard it. You heard it here first. Well, Rolling Radio, okay. Royal Taste Exclusive. So, uh, Miss Sancho. You sound like Nida, so hateful oh, to my tits. Like, <laughs> hey, Nida was the first one. I have a sense of humor, too. Oh, okay, brother. Hey, listen, uh, you're going to have a blessed night, homie. Let's go to the next caller. Slap your fat ass with a big dick. <laughs> yes, caller, go ahead. Yes, uh, Tony, here, y'all. Right here. You. We got another caller. Caller, Royal Taste Exclusive. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. good? Wait, no. Hey, what's up, man? I just want to tell you that I love your show, man. Hey, uh, uh, I'm really glad you're back on, man. Oh, you're on, man, doing what you're doing. Uh, but my comment is uh, Royal T. Thank you, uh, The legendary Royal T. Oh, hey, Royal man. T. Um, what's up, brother? Why don't you shut the fuck up? You talk too damn much, homie. Damn, homie, you talk more than a, you talk more than a fucking hyena. Oh, hey, man. Hey, I make much, you homie. fucking listen hey, and you fucking love it. I could just imagine you it. in the back of a cop car. Oh, hey, man. Royal T, I could just imagine you in the back of a cop car. Well, you can car. imagine your fucking hey, self, hey, you little right snitch. Hey, right next to the you can hey, imagine hey, you yourself. I mean, you love up, listening. Homie, you I mean, are you excited? You're worse than the am I making you famous? <laughs> am I making you famous? Hey, go, go do some oh, fuck your fuck girl, homie. Shit. Your girl can tell you she <laughs> fucked this fat motherfucker, homie. With a bad ass All right, next color. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I made that dude famous. He's, he's loving. He's like, hello, ah. hello. Color. Royal. What's Yo, up, homie? Okay. That was Carlos. <laughs> that was Carlos. He won. That was Carlos. Oh, fuck you, Carlos. Oh. <laughs> that was Carlos. Oh. Yo. You remember you denied him for doing the show here? I tried to bring him. He said, fuck that guy. That did sound like him. It was Hello? Carlos. It Hello? Sound like him. He was hurt because somebody. John, do we have somebody on? Hello, caller? Yeah. Yo, where are you calling from? What's man? up, homie? Hey, hey what's up? Uh, this is my penis from uh, Sacramento, Califa. What's up, homie? Hey, put hey, your girl on the phone. For royalty. What's going on? Uh, she's not here right now. Oh, man. Damn. Let's call her on three-way, homie. Hey, royalty. You know how we do it. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Got a question. I got a question. I know you've been around since, like, the 90s, and uh, you're doing, you're working with a lot of um, artists. Are you wondering, have you ever worked with uh, Toker from the Brown side? Uh, me and Toker, we had mutual friends in Tijuana. We're cool. I've always yep. respected him. Um... 
he's never talked shit about me on the show. So, yeah, I guess he kind of respected me. Mm -hmm. um, Toker, rest in peace, Toker. He's one of the last realest motherfucker I ever met. Yes. Um, and um, his whole crew, I've been on tour with his, with his family, with his people, all good people. Tony G, I go to his practices. I mean, uh, um, uh, Rich Garcia. Ah, man, I, I know the producers he was using. One of Night Owl's producers, um, Chris Gunn, amazing producer. I nothing. I know nothing but good things about that man. You know what I mean? He was one of a kind. Yes, yes. That's what I can say. Rest in peace, uh, Toker. Rest, Rest in peace, in peace. Toker. Long you know live I mean? uh, Brownside. You know what? I'm going to give Toker. Let, let's cancel it all. Because I'm going to tell you, all the rappers were scared of Toker. No, and I believe that. <laughs> and, and his mouth was even more beautiful than mine, and that's hard. <laughs> that dude, no. I'm an alpha male. He was the alpha. You know what I mean? I was like, he took her. You know what I mean? I mean, he is the man of men. That man, when he speak, and the love for his son, it makes me cry, his son. If, any, if his son ever does any music, I want everyone to support him, even if it's not as what you think. Right. But he deserves it because... He's never gonna, he's gonna miss his dad forever. His dad was a beautiful man. When it came to his son, regardless if you had drama with the dude or whatever, yeah. and if you had drama with the dude, you're probably quiet about it because right. the drama was real. But uh, little tokes, much love, respect, homie. I, I wish the world for you. I'm yeah. sorry your dad's not here, yeah. you know? Okay, brother, thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and take another call, Johnny. Let's see if anybody else calls. This will be our last call right here. So let's see who's the lucky Fucking caller. Carlos. Yeah, so. Uh, some Carlos going to call me. I'm a comedian. You? <laughs> you're not a comedian. You just look fucking here, can you? Okay, caller. Roll the dicks in your ear. Um, <laughs> hello, where are you calling from? What's, what's up, what's up? Gardena, California. Gardena, Gardena Harbor, Harbor area. The the what's up, homie? Hey, Jay in the house, man. Just saying, what's up, Tony? What's up, Royal T? What's up, Miss Sancha, man? What's up, Legend Talk to and Miss Sancha. Oh, man. Oh, Sancha, you need, you need to do a... Uh, Don't follow the mic, girl. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Calendar, uh, man. We need a calendar out here. Well, we need a calendar. Do one with all my shirt off and everything. You know what I mean? Coming. Tony wants to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, how does that guy have such an incredible... You know what? Well, this no guy muscles. sends me selfies every damn morning. What? I have no, no choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like hey, what's up, what? What's up, homie? Hey, hey Royal. Hey, hey that, that West Side song. West Side. That was that, 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 that was that was. Yeah, yeah that was that a song back in the day, man. We used to bump it. I just want to say what's up to all America's you guys there. Keep it real. And anybody that calls and talks shit, you ain't, you know ain't about shit. That's all there is to it. That's nobody it. to say to nobody. Gracias, homie. You know, you know what? Everyone knows I'm about my people only. I look at I could have changed every which way. I could have helped a lot of other kind of artists. I just want my people to win, homie. You know, we've been losing in every That's which right. way. We're not even in the fucking history books. I'm telling you, my podcast, remember, my radio show, I'm going to turn it to royalty for president. I'm serious because I'm about my people. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm about my, I'm not even a That's joke, right. Tony. Like, I know. Uh, no, I'm, uh, no, I'm not. You know, <laughs> Tony knows. <laughs> Tony's hey, an incredible motherfucker. <laughs> you guys don't have no clue the things that Tony's starting to deal with, I deal with. It's a lot of hate in our own people, and we need to change that. That's why I joke, That's joke. Right. I tell people if they can't take my jokes, they're just a fucking asshole. You know, if you can't take yeah. Tony's joke, you can't take oh, that dude. You gotta have a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, one brother. one request, one request for me, one request, one request. What yes. is it, Sancha, can you blow me a kiss? I'm watching the TV screen. There it is. There, oh. you were the <laughs> only <laughs> person that asked for that. You and you were the last call. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Sancho, man, Gardena hey, Sancho, in the house. Gardena's in the house. Hey, Sancho, why don't you bust one of the verses that you got? I mean, just hold on, hold on. Why don't you bust the verse right now? Let's see, let's see what you got for the homie. Nine out of ten motherfuckers is a rapper Same on the inside, different color rapper Only a handful really is a factor right. The rest gon' get your sad cause you an actor Why can't you see that you meant to play the background? You got a free sound, hey, we loaded that down I'm coming rugged and raw, I know you like that I'm so old, original, and they gon' like that You got an album in the stores, but you can't rock a show Got a video, same hoe, sliding down the pole 
flow. Got the same watch, same chain. That don't mean a thing. Yeah, we see that you ballin', playing a rap game. Why did you choose to do music? It's like you only abuse it. You can use it when you fluent before you lose it. The radio was a record before they broke it. And I'm going to rake the shit before they pop it. <laughs> there you go, that'll work. Let's give a hand clap. That's right, that's right, man. Let's give a hand clap. That's such a fade. I'm right, faded right, right, right now, so you know, I might have faded. Hey, Tony, you, you, you know it was a young dude. Hey, hey, go ahead, Johnny, hang up now. We're good. All right, homie. You know, we can take, take one more call. Let's take, you sure? Good. It's a fuck. Okay, yeah. that's it. Then we can shout out to you. I'm on the way. Okay. I hope they told us. I rap on. Okay, one more caller. 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 Roll your dick in your ear. I hope it's a fucking hood. Let's go call him. What's up, dude? Yo, yo, caller, you there? Where you calling from? Choke your neck. Okay, hold on, hold on, caller. Hey, how's it going, Tony? What's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, homie? Good, man. How, how you doing, man? I'm good, good brother. You know, I'm blessed. I'm trying to get out of here so I can go get my fucking drink on. <laughs> what, what are you calling Take from, man? Drink, I want to say a shout out to, uh, to Royal Tea and uh, Miss Sancha. Yes, yes. Uh, you're yes, from yes. Las Vegas. Las Vegas in the house. Hey. Las Vegas. I'm going to click on you. Here, uh, I'm a bad boy. Home of Royal Tea in the casino. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your question, brother? Okay, I had a question. Um, You know, once this uh, pandemic stuff goes on, it goes away. Will you guys be performing out here in Vegas? We're definitely looking forward to performing in Las Vegas because we, we, we I mean, we might perform just in the suite, right, Sanja? I mean, we, we get the right girl. You know? We're going to perform wherever the camera's at. <laughs> there it is there. <laughs> <laughs> there it is there. Baddest bitch in the neighborhood. Been... Baddest bitch in the neighborhood. <laughs> there it is there, Take bro. one more. Take one more. Take one more, Tony. Take one more, and then we'll give one more question. <laughs> and, and we're out of here. Okay, after this, yes, cool. I'm going to take one more question, and we'll get your question. Okay, right, good afternoon, cool. bro. Gracias, man. Gracias, Gracias, Gracias. Vegas in the house, Shout brother. Out. Thank you, baby. Okay, one more, Johnny. One more, then that's it. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up, what up? Who's this, and where are you calling from? Is Where's this the hoochie? Where's the hoochie? Right here, baby. I'm from Compton, California. <laughs> Compton's in the motherfucking Compton's house. Compton's in the house. Compton's in the house. Where the hoochie's at? Oh, man. They're in the What's back, up, baby. What's up? Hey, hey. What's what, you want to drop a new mixtape? New mixtape, we dropping albums, homie. What the fuck, we we ain't no beginners, it's albums, baby. Come on. What you doing, though, homie? What, the, what's your name, where the homie? At, Man, we, when we leave here, you know we gonna they pull a train Lightning. somewhere. We gonna pull a train somewhere. You got some girls over there, homie. We're coming to use and abuse them. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, right here on Long Beach Boulevard. Oh yeah, they you know, twenty four seven. If they from Compton, you know, For you know they love to be abused. Get, you'll get a right price. You have to pull the heads. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want the hair pulled, ass spanked. You know all that kind of shit. <laughs> Anybody like Sancho? Is that what they like? All right. Do they want a hey, nice what's up with your home girl? She's right here. You know what I mean? We got a home Go girl. Go ahead, talk to her. Get, 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 throw her a question, man. What's up, baby? Oh, yo, girl, bro, I said, what's up? Tell her, let me get her number. Get my number? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. 1 800. How much money you got? Oh, there it is here. <laughs> yeah, enough to make you rich. Okay. I got to see the bank account numbers, though. <laughs> then we're talking, homie. My bank account uh, number is 8. Okay, let, 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 okay. let me set this up on me real quick on my phone. Hold on, let me go to my account. Hold on. Okay. First, let me start with your social security. Shout out to the wizard and everybody in that bitch. All right, homie. Much brother. love, He's homie. Yeah. Compton. Thank you, baby. Thank, high, you. Man. Thank you, baby. Thank you, homie. Okay, brother. <laughs> Give me some questions on them. No, royalty. <laughs> We had a couple questions. We'll give me shout outs, homie. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with your ass. Shout outs. That's a four hour interview, so we're good. <laughs> He's like, you ain't taking so I'm trying to go 10. <laughs> I was going to put my dick on the table. Hey, look, oh. my, you're going to be back by popular demand. <laughs> so you're going to be back. Hold on, we got new artists. We got all kind of things. Exactly. Man, man. And then when her album drops. We're about to bring Sancho. We got Sancho in the back. We're about to bring all kind of shit. Yeah. That's how we do it. So when the album drops. So, yeah, of course. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give a couple of shows. No, you, you know what? Let me ask one more thing. Let's push. So you got a single coming out in about three weeks? We got a new uh, single coming in three weeks. Okay. Have you guys shot the video for that yet or no? Oh, we're about to shoot that in a week. Okay. Yeah. Next week. Not next this week. week. Next week. Are you shooting that out here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, and bite me this time. Right why, why did you laugh? No, he time? didn't. No, he didn't. Right. You know, and he saw the asses and everything. If you got, if you guys go right now and watch the new Misanta videos on the low profile YouTube official. Low profile. You know what he texted me? Invited? About? No, I can show you the text. I can show you the crazy. I can show you the text. He just said. He said, "Do you know anybody that has a low rider out in LA?" Because I'm shooting a video. That's all he said. Ah. I invited he's saying this now Damn, because bro. I called them. I said, come on, homie, I got to oh, make you women. Me. He's like, you know, bro, I'm not into women. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know that, right? You guys know Tony ain't into women. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> His son might be. I don't know. Anyways, come Tony on. Tony seems tell like he's a stud right here. I don't oh, know. Oh, damn. He's a stud. He's a gangster right here. I don't know. Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> Tony, you touch playing footy then? So, <laughs> so in three weeks, right three weeks of single drops. Single, new single drops. Today okay. is a single, Friday right, the single drop, right. the new video drop tonight. And in three weeks, we dropped the new one. Okay. It could be the oldie song or the Spanish song with Sancho, we, I mean, was, was Shadow. Okay. And um, we definitely... 2021, the album drops. Album drops. Summer, hopefully all Tour. this pandemic Tour. bullshit is over. Yeah. Tour. Yes. Okay. Yes. Really. Awesome. You forgot to mention Chingo Bling. Oh, 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 I know, but you're going to come back. Okay. Okay. So here's what we're going to do OnlyFans page drops soon. A couple sure, of weeks. And one week it'll be announced on the lowprofilerecords.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. We also got the LPG radio show, which is going to play all your favorite Chicano rap artists. Starting from, when? Um, the radio show? Yeah. We'll start in one week. We actually started it, but it actually come on the on the on the we have the players getting built right now is this going to be pre-recorded or live i pre-record everything but I, I i tell people when to call in okay like it, it's it's a radio show that it's 24 hours non-stop chicano rap west coast classics meaning we're west coast rap but i'm saying of course all your favorites and and oldies and old school i mean we keep it it's always been that way i got a lot of shows recorded and we're gonna record them much. awesome awesome and then we got the royal tv president podcast right that nothing to do Always stay for main Chicano rappers right here on Tony A. He's the man. My podcast, I'm going to, I, I'm Chicano rap. I'm, meaning for my own world. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to talk about it. Tony A, this is the man. I, I can't over talk Tony. He's the man of this. Mm -hmm. I've told you since I met you. Have I lied? Have I told you that? I said, hey, I wanted to work for you guys. I said, man, you're a fucking team right here. So my thing is, why go get something so beautiful that helped my community? You don't understand. I want everyone to win. Of course. I, I told you, I want Bella to win. I want oh, yeah. Night Owl's the number one dude. I want Shadow. I want Little One. Yeah. I want Kid Frog. I want, uh -huh. You know who we didn't talk about? Uh -huh. I really? Why well, did? I want Soto to win. Because at first, I wasn't a fan of Soto. Uh -huh. Because I didn't know him. When I heard you guys talk, I was like, well, they pray than a guy I don't know. Cocky. I'll be a little cocky. Then I started like, Looking around, I'm like, this dude is everywhere. Yeah. That turned me on. Like, we didn't talk about lazy artists. Did I talk about lazy artists? Yeah. They need to start moving around. Yes. You need to start going. I used to go to cities. It was $90 in my bank, like I told you. Right. And just fucking dude. go and hustle. These dudes need to make a name for them, not just in L.A., which you can make a living just in L.A., LA like King Lil' G has. Right. Mm -hmm. But you need to travel and spread it. So... Like I have homies coming like, oh, I don't know that artist. I'm like, what? They're as popular as me, but not in those cities. Right. Because right. they know me in those cities. Okay. They might not know these guys. So the artists need to get all busy. And after the pandemic's over, I expect all you motherfuckers to get off your fucking ass. Because look at, you could pass me. That's why I, I talk my shit. <laughs> if I did all this work and I'm an old fucking, fucking old fuck. You know, I knew this was going to happen when we were young, when we started something fresh. You know? I still fuck your girl harder than you, fucker, because you, you guys are sensitive. Whatever it is, I'm not. I'm not sensitive. I'm going to pull your hair and, uh, and you start crying. And if they're not complaining, tell you to stop, you keep going, homie. Let the bitch cry. You know what I'm saying? She wants you. You like that, right? You know? They keep crying. And they write a song no. about it. Yeah. yeah. So, so, if they're not crying, meaning they're not complaining, uh, Stop! If right. you stay and stop, you stop. Right. But if they ain't, you're like, you sure, girl? And they're like, keep going, you know? <laughs> you keep going, you know? These guys are like, Facebook said to stop. <laughs> because their social media tears. <laughs> you know what I mean? I might get banned from fucking. You know? Shit, man. <laughs> okay, uh, back to your shout outs. Back to your shout outs. And then, Miss Sunshine, oh, you can go. Shout out to my boy, Night Owl. Little one, 
Adamin. Do I say his name right? I don't say his name. Enemies. means I call him Jelly Beans. He's chubby. Oh my god. You know, bad boy. He calls him Bad Bunny. Okay. And you didn't even let me talk about fucking rappers, hip hop. I gotta say that. Real no, quick. no, no, no. I'm gonna say that one no, thing. You, I'm gonna take one minute. Okay. This I'm tired of motherfucking <laughs> Chicanos coming on this show and say, you know, I'm not Chicano rap. I'm the next fucking level. Well, first of all, homie, name me a fucking a fucking successful Chicano hip hop artist. Can you name me one that's more successful than Little Rob or Kid Frog? Shut up, outside. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> Name me one. I can. Yeah, you but can. I'm not going to get into it because I'm going to give it away. Okay? okay? I'm saving that. That's Chicano. Yes. I'm not talking about 6 9 Your favorite artist. <laughs> <laughs> but listen. That's more successful. Here we go. More successful than that actually listen to being Chicano. Here's the thing I want to tell you guys. Us And they go, when they came on here and said, I heard people, Hey, we're in the fucking podcast. Talk around the corner. She's not gonna kiss you. Anyways, so, <laughs> so listen, listen, here it goes. So, get back to the thing I'm telling you. What we talk about, and, and us, and when the guys come in here, go, oh, you gotta rap so simple, I'm so complicated. And I go, listen, homie, what we rap about is from our heart, our soul, our nanas, our tatas, our family. They understand what the fuck Night Owl says when I'm brown to the bone. They understand it. And they listen to it because they believe it. They understand. They know it. When they say, um, uh, ese va, you know, the 18 with the bullet, we fucking know what the fuck you're saying, homie. But when you go fucking a little piece of shit and you happen to be in the fucking bottom of the hood and you go, I'm going to go read an authoris dictionary and I'm going to say words that my nana and tata will not understand and my tío, my tía, my cousins, and you become a complicated piece of shit, and you're a hip-hop dude. <laughs> you alienated your whole fucking people. You're up, and then you don't sell no records, but you're here going, I'm not Chicano rap, I'm so much better. Homie, you can't afford a car, you live at your nana's house, you're fucking broke. <laughs> You're all worthless. <laughs> you should have read the, the the meaning in your fucking dictionary, stupid. Because you're <laughs> fucking stupid. You fucking don't know how to connect to make your people believe you're a fucking moron. <laughs> I When I rap, motherfuckers still in their stomach. They go, what? Bro? <gasps> Royalty's big ass stomach. It's big cheese. <laughs> they understand basic words. They understand my heart, my soul, and what I mean. And when you're fucking complicated, you're a fucking moron. Blacks ain't gonna buy you, whites ain't gonna buy you if your people don't buy you. So you alien, you you gotta come slowly. If you wanna graduate out of that box, you gotta start from your people and then move out. And go, Shh. He said, and then move out. <laughs> <laughs> move the fuck out, homie, get out of here. And, but, so that's, but if you start from here, you're gonna fall here. I've seen a lot of artists, that black artists have helped them. Because Chicano rap is very sensitive. We need to understand you, feel you. Like Carlos Zo, him calling in. To, no one talked trash, but that guy's so ignorant. I mean, he put tattoos on his face, so his face was fucking ugly. <laughs> he's not even Mexican. You know what I'm saying? He's like, no, oh, he's not Mexican. No, he's not. He's, um, what, what do they call that? Guatemalan? It just, Guatemalan. Oh, shit. Cool. South American. South American. He's Latino. No Mexican problem. But Obama let them in. He deported us, but he didn't let them in. Shout out to Chingo Bling. Chingo Bling, I talked to him. I told him, I, I gotta say it, Tony. We're gonna talk about it deep later. But I just told Tony, I said, hey, homie, you should have talked about, you shouldn't embrace the negativity of Donald Trump saying you you started hating on Mexicans. I told him about it. I told him a whole, we gave, I gave him my, yeah, I gave him a royalty speech. And I said, <laughs> we got 10 minutes, so let's go wrap this, wrap this up. And, and I said this, I said, look, <laughs> fuck Tony hours. Fuck Tony's hours. We got, yeah, hey, hey, hey Johnny, when I say cut it, we're no, going to end. No, no. We're going to end. Okay, no, so I'm joking. 10 no, minutes. No. Come on. Girl, let me get my shot. We exactly. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for, go for like three hours. <laughs> fuck that. We're going to come back. Listen, listen, we're going to go. I told, oh, I told um, Chingo Bling, I said, homie, you know, you explained it wrong. Donald Trump, the way he talked, was a piece of shit. Talk. His policy was right for our people, meaning a lot of jobs and a lot of shit. Not everyone's a boss like me. There's only, like you. There's only, or like you. 
everyone's, anyways, everyone's not made, built to be a boss. Some people want to work and go have fun with their family. Right. Nothing wrong with that. But he got, he, I, I told me, explained it wrong. You, you got, you started hating on our people on the hate that he came with. Right. That's the wrong way. Okay. That's why I'm independent. I don't, Biden's a human piece of fucking trash. You know, if he was assassinated, it wouldn't be because I said it or anything, the FBI. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, this yeah. motherfucker, you gotta remember, they go, I heard a lot of fucking Mexico. Well, 400,000, that's the wealth. You got a stupid. 400,000 is not much money in the real world. When you, you could own a fucking little taco shop and you make more than 400,000. Well, 400,000, if you make 400,000 on his tax record, that means you're only gonna make 168,000. And out of 160,000, you gotta pay all your fucking workers. You gotta buy tomatoes and kind of salad. You gotta buy all the shit for your restaurant. You're broke. And that was him being nice. So that was him being nice saying that. The next time, because everyone's so much more broker if you go with that policy, you're going to be at, let's break it to 250000 You know how much you, if you take 60% for 250000 you know how much that is? Not even seventy grand. How can you run a fucking business? So, and get people jobs. So then his policy is, let's raise minimum wage. Everyone goes, yeah! <laughs> and let's raise corporate tax for the businesses. Everyone goes, who gives a fuck? And they go, and let's keep it locked down. Now you're locked down running at 40% <laughs> and you're you're paying more taxes for your business <laughs> and you have to pay your workers more. So guess what? There's no more jobs. So now the motherfuckers that went to college oh, for 20 that? years are that were waiting to wanted to make hundred bucks, sixty bucks an hour. Now they're working for fifteen dollars because it was a million jobs, now there's fifty. Yeah, now there's fifteen oh, jobs. Man. Now there's out of a million jobs, now there's twenty thousand jobs. And guess what? Starbucks like, hey, we can only pay 15. Well, I went to college at Harvard. Bro, all we got is this job. You want it? <laughs> and that's what it become because all the other for now we're working for food stamps. So that, fuck that money. And let, let's erase what I said. Just like, oh, best PM. He deported with Obama more Mexicans than all presidents combined. They built the fucking cages. So any Mexican that liked Obama, and they're gonna fuck themselves. Because if you look at the fucking policies, he did this fuck, he did the damage to our people. He sent ICE, he had paisas go get licensed and sent ICE to their house. I know I had about 20 members of my family be deported from this stupid fucking shit. Yeah. So Trump wasn't even president. I don't like Trump, right? but the policies gave my people job. I told, I told Chingo Bling, I go, bro, Trump's a human piece of shit. His work ethic for the jobs, money, he's a money hungry dude. But him being a money hungry dude helped everyone make money. Mm -hmm. So that's all I said. I said, explain it right, homie. That's why me, when I run for president 2024, <laughs> Tony, I'm going to ask you now, will you be my Monica Lewinsky and you be my vice president? <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> but, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know how I will. <laughs> <laughs> so we, <No>. we, <laughs> so we running. For 2024. Okay, shout out. All right. Shout out. Go ahead. First, I'm going to give a shout out to my son, Michael and Tony, my grandkids, Mr. and Isabelle, the smelly, the welly belly, the woo woo. <laughs> and she loves that. You know? She's one and a half. She's been walking since she was eight months. Very intelligent. Both kids are mm -hmm. incredible. You guys seen me follow my IG. Um, shout out to Miss Sancha. Shout out to Marky, my mm -hmm. wife, my rappers, Sancho. Kush boy, little bandit. Um, everyone that's in my fan club, my I don't even call them fans, they're just my homies. Okay. Night out little one, Shadow, shout out, Shadow. I pray for you, my brother. I'm glad you you're feeling better. Frank Nitty. Frank Nitty came on here. Nah, we didn't even get into that, but no big deal. Shout out to you, Tony. John motherfucking Elkins. Shout out to my daughter in law. I got so many people. <laughs> who who told me? Uh, shout out to I, I, I said I gave him a shout out earlier, Alonzo. Shout out to you, homie. Thanks for being down with. Thanks for being down with my boy Night Owl. And um, let me see, Tony G. Shout out, homie, for knowing who the fucking vendor of Chicano rap. You could go read that. Who the fucking nominee for Grammys? Gee. Who the fucking motherfucking Sony PlayStation? Go to LowProfileRecords.com and you're gonna see that. And go ahead, Miss Sancha. Miss yeah, Sancha, go ahead. The floor is yours. Anybody you want to shout out? I want to shout out to my my prima, Leticia, ha having my back, Marky, um, 
low 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 profile <laughs> records you know fingers um all the fans out there they've been waiting for this shit Dion Monique Sancha fans Monique Noriega that's that's me this is it and let's go baby that's it what about Latin hip hop? What do they call Latin hip hop rap? The Instagram home. Oh yeah. And your brother. My brother. What's up? What's up, Danny? What's up, bro? Um Latin Latin hip hop dot Latin hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fool right here. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for everybody, you know, tuning in. All the fans. Um, we're ready to do this. Let's get it. All the Sancha fans, let's go. Everybody who's hating. Just blow. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put your Instagram on the description so where people want to follow you or whatever, you know, okay, they'll, cool. they'll be able to follow you from the podcast. Thank so you. once again, I'm going to make mine really fast. Uh, once again, I'm going to give a shout out, first of all, to Royalty, Low Profile Records, also to Miss Sancha for coming on, Dia Monique for uh, blessing us with the interview. So uh, next time, I'm going to have her here by herself so she don't get cut off by, <laughs> you know, Curly, you know. <laughs> So other Thank than you, that, Tony. Thank you. You got it. Uh, John motherfucking Elkins for making this thing happen. John motherfucking yes. Elkins. Uh, much love, much respect to him. There you go. My boy DG D Daniel uh, Media Clips uh, for taking pictures. My son B. Scanners for helping me promote this. And everybody that I didn't mention, you know what? Have a blessed night. Uh, one we'll more get thing. Back. No, no, ain't no one more <laughs> thing. <laughs> you went ahead and took a piss and didn't even wash your hands. Okay? Don't give me that crap. Check my hands. Nah, don't get out of here. Okay? <laughs> Okay, everybody, we're out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, everybody, we're out of here, John. Take us away. Tony.